So. Something, yeah, something, what up, Big shit, King, something, something. I'm sorry, Doug, but I'm not really in the mood for a stream today. Can you try again tomorrow? Look, <sighs> when the shit king calls, the shit comes. Hey, Doug, do you have any femurs? Hey! Shadrain Rot and I are collecting them for reasons. Open to all donations. Collecting them for raisins? Chat probably has extra bones. Yeah, you guys don't eat all your bones. Don't be selfish. All hail the kitchen. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's get some Undertale music in this motherfucker. How loud is this? I need to be kind of quiet. Well, Doug, oh, wait. you know what they say. I sure don't. As core. What are the Undertale songs? Uh, Battle Against a True Hero. That makes sense. Get a lot of Undertale music. Do I have Spear hey, of Justice? No. Doug, Spear of Justice. You were 20 minutes late. Therefore, you must wear the bunny suit How late was while I? you get divorced live on stream. Well, I don't make the rules. Hi, Doug. Terrasun isn't feeling it today. We all good for tomorrow instead. Everybody, we good to rain check this thing? Everybody, you guys aren't busy tomorrow, are you? I'm sorry, everybody. Tarzan's not feeling That's today. What she said. Let's push it back. Eh, that kind of worked, Fubarian. When's laundry day? The problem with laundry day is I came up with the idea and then I don't want to get drunk anymore. Graduated first grade. Are you proud of us, Doug? Congratulations. Laundry Day, the concept of Laundry Day is really great, but is mostly funny if I get blackout drunk. That's, that's, that's the value of Laundry Day. Lobster with breast implants. One is a crusty bus station and the other is a busty crustacean. Keep Arkansas safe. Wait, Barry, are you telling that to me to keep it safe from chat? Or, or are you saying that chat needs to keep Arkansas safe from me? Because I'm going to do cruel and unusual punishment to the Arkansasians. How do you, what is, what is a person from Arkansas called? An Arkansas, an Arkansanite? Yeah, whatever you guys are. In general, safe space. <laughs> okay. No, Arkansas can't just be safe. Arkansas is up for grabs, dude. Look at it. How can you, how can you not want to invade Arkansas? How could anybody be looking at this map and be like, oh man, I'm going to pass up this. Open the fucking Close the gates! <laughs> okay, that was like 20 seconds before somebody closed it. <clears throat> Buckle in, everybody. One. Two. <laughs> I thought Twitch broke, and we weren't ever gonna stop it. It went on for another like five seconds. 
Jesus Christ, man. None of this is working correctly. I can't close. Maybe? Okay. <laughs> Moomin Top Hat, you traitorous motherfucker. Giving farts to the peasants, unbelievable. Fortunately, a loyal fart baron, Swift Assassin, came in and closed it. Thank you, Swift Assassin. All right. Well, that's the fart gates. Well, if anybody was trying to sleep in the background, we solved that. You're, you're ready to go for the stream now. Cool. I don't know who you're 07 ing to. I don't know if you're one of the peasants or one of the fart barons. You have to at who, the person who you're saluting. I don't know whether you're the peasants or the fart barons. Be sure to identify yourselves. Um, I didn't do the thing where I set up novel AI. One sec. America will be ours. I need revenge. You guys fucking destroyed me in the last one of these that we did. 1984, I <laughs> It's not really... It's not meant to be like a sexual thing. When we 1984, you guys. I am going to 1984 to a five second slow mode, though. Nineteen eighty four, the book was definitely not about you have to wait five seconds in between your Twitch chat messages. We want Arkansas. Why Ar what is the what is the interest with Arkansas? Other than Barry Bebop lives there. Is that it? Okay, if you guys start at Arkansas, that can be your special resource. Wait, Barry, are you here? What does Arkansas have? I don't know a fucking thing about your state. The Sock Lord, thank you so much for the 12 months. Oh god, it's too fast. Good nature and quartz and rice. Okay. Okay, but if you if you get that, it's all one resource. Good nature and quartz and rice. That counts as one. Um, alright. Let's see. I'm trying to think. Is there any anything else I need to do here? Um uh, I'm I'm trying to get some quiet music in here. Oh fuck, Barry, I meant to DM you and ask, what do I do? Whatever. What I, what I hey, should do Doug, with for AI videos to make Doug, them editable. The person who is many months late to the joke. Uh, yeah. Well, it's probably fine. Yeah, <laughs> next time. <laughs> One of these times I'll remember. Um, okay, uh, only other thing I gotta do is open up Novel AI. Let me do that real quick. And then we will begin. As we start off, I will explain the rules of what's happening for anybody who missed it, um, who missed the last one. This is going to be another artificial intelligence battle to take over America. Slightly Florida. different rules, Doug, but mostly the same. Research Florida man. He will be a Trump card. I have another proposed rule, but I, I, I think I have a good way to make this work. I think. Um... So, uh, we're going to be racing to see which of our two empires can take over the the United States. Um, you should, dis while I set up Novel AI, it's worth discussing amongst yourselves what state you want to start with. Wait, well, actually, hold on. Let me, let me give the, pre let me give the premise first. Um, you can't start in the Western half. And the reason, here's the, here's the problem. Here's the problem. Okay. America is too big. We did this with Europe. Europe has more of like a, let's say, a defined center, and you can access more of them more quickly, right? There's 50 states here. It's too, it, like, it is a lot, right? So we should, we kind of want to pick a region. So what we're going to do, <clears throat> the setting for today's battle is post-apocalyptic America. Every state has broken off into their own little country. And you and me are both going to be forming empires trying to reunite the entire state. Probably first to 15 states. But to give it a sense of direction.
We're going to say that there's a modern uh, modern California gold rush. Gold has been discovered in California. So if you take California, you instantly get two points. One for the state Just and one for the resource. Just got a one hour, 24 minute Peggle speed run. You bet your peg at sign joining that Peggle tournament. Hell yeah. It's in two weeks. So we can start somewhere on this side, but that way we both have a singular goal that we're working towards. That way there's still the chance that you and I cross paths and cut, or maybe maybe you don't go for California. Maybe you guys are thinking you're just going to try to take the tri-state area. That's also fine. Ohio is really far, though. That's the only problem. So what I'm thinking is we have to start right of these states. Like if you pick Arkansas or Iowa or Minnesota or Louisiana, one of these, then you can choose. Ohio is so far. Ohio is a terrible idea if you're trying to get to California. I mean, I guess we can fight over the tri-state area. The tri-state area also is like... What even is the tri-state area? This is not a joke. I am not joking. Before I made this map this morning, I thought Ohio was here. I could have sworn Ohio was like in the center of the country. I didn't realize it was up here. I don't know anything about America. I, I know some something about this part of America because I've lived here. I don't know geography, though. I literally had to look up probably 40 of the 50 states today to, to write the names. Michigan, I knew. Um, What other one said? I knew Florida. Texas, I knew. I had to look up Arizona. Nevada, I, I second guess myself. I think I knew f six of the fifty. Oh, Alaska and Hawaii. That was like seven and eight. Anyways, I'm good at uh, I'm good at stuff. Let me set up novel AI. So you guys need to pick uh, where you're gonna start. You don't have to go for California, but the idea is there is a kind of like direction that we're both theoretically moving towards. Um, I don't have a cap on how long I'm streaming today either. So theoretically, we could go longer and do like fifteen points. So if you guys started Ohio, you'd have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that actually kind of works. If we start in this general region, and we're both working our way towards California, maybe 15 points is the goal could work. Again, I'll, I'll explain how this works in, in a second. Let me just set up novel AI uh, real quick. Uh, but for now, decide what state. Okay, don't just yell Ohio. Give reasoning, guys. Have conversation. Use use your intellect. Use your brain. Why Ohio? Why what other state? Think of strategy. Remember, whatever state you start with, you get a special resource related to that state, okay? So you can come up with, like, even if it's Ohio, like, why? What would you do there? So are we out of time and California still has gold, or should California have computers to set? We're going to say California is gold. Straight up gold rush. I was trying to figure out the setting for this because like the year 1000 doesn't make sense because the states wouldn't exist. Modern day doesn't make sense um, because I don't want everybody to have modern weapons. And so we're doing post-apocalyptic America. Minnesota for hot dish and the state fair. Can we start in a gaseous state? What does that mean? Oh, I get what that means. Neil Armstrong, Ohio resource. Okay, so if you do Ohio, you get Neil Armstrong. Uh, now, you guys can vote on what your resource is. Maddie, thank you so much for the 12 months. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, all right, hold on. Logging in. Let me just set this up. We LeBron is from Twitch. Ohio. Good work, Ken. So that's the thing, though. If you if you guys start with Ohio, are you going to start with Neil Armstrong or LeBron James? Okay, we got module. Do we want to do module? Should we do a module for this? We could do history. I, I don't know if that would work better or worse. The first state, Delaware. Was Delaware the first state? I don't know that. I was, I've started reading a biography about Benjamin Franklin, and I'm learning about the history of things. It is. Oh, interesting. Chuck no, we're not. We're not doing rats. In Florida rats just brings rats and everything. Man army and weaponized alligators. You can weaponize alligators. You would have to research that. You only get to start with one resource. As a reminder. Um. Do 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 do. do. So I'm thinking we either it leave it. Good to get America back. <laughs> you guys could name <laughs> you could name your empire Great Britain Returns. Great, 
Great Britain round two. Revolutionary War round two. Maybe that's what mine will be. I'll represent the Brits. I nah, I can't do that. I'm wearing an American flag t-shirt. We'll do no, we'll do no module. Great country of Texas, Texas even was a country for a couple years, right? Um, all right, we'll do this. Let me make it really big. Can we make the Dakotas into Mega Dakota? Yes, if you guys can merge the Dakotas. I think that, is that how big I had the text last time? I want the text to be super huge. Uh, something like that. All right, we should we be good. Dominate you. And then we'll do Victory this twice. Will be ours. Um, novel, AI, yeah, I don't know. And again, I will explain what we're doing in just a sec. I have to log in on this? I'm logged in on the other. What? Okay. Thanks, You're good. Duke Doug. Now my dogs are having panic attacks over what was spewing from my phone. <laughs> well, look. Shouldn't have opened the fart gates. It's not my fault. Can't blame me for another person opening the fart gates. You know that I have no control over that at all. Doug, please <clears throat> destroy Chicago for my birthday. <laughs> Look, man, if I work my way up, where even is Chicago? Illinois. If I work my way up to Illinois, I if I end up owning Illinois, I promise After I will destroy these, Chicago we do for world you. World domination with all the places we've conquered. Yeah, eventually we could do this. The problem is we need it needs to be sorted to find. We could do world next time. You have to own all you have to take over all seven continents or something like that. I have to get something out of it though. I'm not going to I'm not going to destroy Chicago unless I that gets me a resource of some kind. Maybe I burn it down for copper or something. Cuz I'm not just going to burn down one of my cities. Get all bust. I'll bur okay, I'll burn down Chicago if chat controls Illinois. Okay. <clears throat> Let us begin. As a reminder, this is one of those streams where I'm going to have the alerts paused a lot. So most likely the alerts will be really far behind. So probably just don't give me money. Uh, go put money into a different joke hole. The joke hole today isn't going to yell back at whatever you say on your money that you put into the joke hole. Okay. <laughs> today, round two of Doug and Twitch chat take over the world using artificial intelligence. The way this works... You and I are both a brand new empire in the post-apocalyptic America. This is 100 years in the future. America is fallen. How do we phrase this? Fallen? What do you say? Whatever. The government of America has collapsed. And in its place, all 50 states have broken up into small federalistic tribes. You and I will each be starting our own empire and attempting to be take over, attempt to be taking, attempt, what the, what, my brain isn't working. Attempting to be taking over as much of the country as possible into our own empire. Whoever has the be, bigger empire at the end wins. Tentatively, it's going to be first to 15 points. We're not going to have time to take over literally the entire thing. Um, America has been freed by America, exactly. And now two beloved Americans, Doug Doug and Twitch Chat, are going to come in to try to reunite it. Mall of America, Pepe Hands. <laughs> Yo, F's for Mall of America. I guess Mall of America still exists. That's in uh, Minnesota, right? Where's Mall of America? That's definitely a special resource if you guys get it. Okay, so we're both gonna start with one state. That is the beginning of your empire. On your turn, you are going to be able to tell the AI whatever you wanna do. You can invade one of the neighboring states. You can try to form an alliance with a neighboring state, which would bring them into your empire. You can research a new technology that you can then use going forward in the battles. Or you can do whatever the fuck else you want. You can burn down Chicago. You can go play pickup basketball with LeBron James. You can do whatever you want. Or I guess LeBron James, Jr., Jr., Jr. We'll say it's 100 years in the future. <clears throat> so on your turn, you can do whatever you want. If you take over a state that joins your empire, your empire grows. Okay. The way the scoring works, for every state that is in your empire, you get one point. Additionally, for every special resource that you have either earned or research, uh, researched, you get an additional point. So we will both start with one state and one special resource. Um, okay, additional rules. Um, additional rules. So we'll both pick our starting states in a stack. Uh, the way the kind of turns actually work. So again, on your turn, you can invade a country, form an alliance, research technology, or do whatever you want. I'm going to try to, in general, and I know you guys will all yell rigged and whatever, I will try to 
continue the AI until there's some clear resolution of whether or not your turn worked or not. However, whatever happens on the turn is what happens. If it decides that there's a mystical god emperor who breathes fire, that's reality now. If it decides that you guys have jet engine airplanes, you have that now, right? Whatever the AI says happens, happens, right? So, you, so to be clear, here's the way to think about it. On our turns, we have to follow the rules. The AI does not. Whatever the AI does, it can do what it wants, and those become canon the instant it says it. Uh, with uh, with some obvious ex uh, with some obvious exceptions, you can only gain two con uh, stu not countries states. Maximum of two states gained per turn. If it says you took over all of America, no, that doesn't count. That just ruins the game. Um, but otherwise, we attempt to go until it resolves. Your empire. You start with one army of ten thousand musket men. This is one thousand years in one hundred years in the future. Uh, society is shattered. All modern weapons are broken. You're going to have to re-research them. So we're going to say we have shitty old muskets that we all found laying around our states. You also have one special resource to start out with. Again, new technology. Um, if you want to research new technology, if you want to use something new, you actually have to spend the time to resource to research it, and the AI has to uh, the AI has to agree that you learned how to do it. But again, if the AI says out of nowhere, it's like, oh, you have a girl boss army, which is what happened last time, you get the girl boss army. What the AI says is truth. If your army is defeated in battle, you're going to have to wait two turns to rebuild your army before you can use them again. Okay. So uh, if you try to invade um, Ohio and Ohio stops your attack, then you can't use your army for two turns while they recuperate, right? Miscellaneous rules. You can only interact with contiguous states. So you got to work your way. You got to expand your empire. A maximum of two states gained per turn. If weird shit happens, you got to build off of it. Again, the scoring is one point per state, one point per rare resource. Tentatively, we'll do first to 15 points wins. Going to first to 10 points took us like four hours. So theoretically, this takes like six. Uh, oh, for Hawaii and Alaska, we have boat technology. If you have a coastal state of any kind, of any kind. We're going to say we're going to say the top is coastal. If you have a coastal state of any type of any type, then you can go to Hawaii and Alaska, but you cannot go to Hawaii and Alaska from Kentucky. Yeah? Makes sense? Yeah. Okay. 15 is too long. Look, we'll adjust it if we need. The only other rule that I am uh, creating for this particular one, yeah, Canada drowned. That's part of what happened. That's the reason America shattered is cuz Canada drowned and we were lost without the Canadians. Okay. The only other notable rule here, the piece of uh, the piece of additional data, is that there's a gold rush going on. In this 100 year future, gold is incredibly important. California has discovered gold again. So the first empire to actually take California will not only get California as a state, they also get the gold, which is an immediate second resource. So you don't need California, but if you can get to the gold, if you can complete the gold rush before me, you immediately get a one point advantage. Otherwise, you do whatever the fuck you want. That's the whole idea. But I'm Canadian. Uh, all the Canadians escaped to Minnesota. You guys are all alive. Don't worry. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I think I know where this uh, is going to go based on what I saw in chat before. But what state does chat want to begin their empire? Again, I'm going to say it has to be, uh, it has to be, let's say this line, middle or on the eastern half, eastern half of the country. It could be Texas, could be South Dakota, but you got to, you can't pick these because it's too close to California. Okay. Uh, if you want Rhode Island, okay. Ohio's the most popular one. Rhode Island. Do, 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 do. I'm seeing a fair amount of Florida. Florida, you're a little bit bo boxed in. Arkansas. Arkansas is good. Texas, yeah, Tex Texas is, would be strong. To Oklahoma, we have to fight a predator. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sansa, Michigan, love. East Dakota. If you start with North Dakota, you can immediately hey, take South Dakota and form Mega Dakota. Pope back here if we research boats. Um, no, we'll say the Pope is dead. Sorry, F for Pope. Oklahoma, please. Look, I don't think people are like as stoked for Oklahoma as you are to, to just as a warning so you can emotionally brace yourself for the fact that nobody's going to vote for Oklahoma. Uh, okay, th these are the most common ones that I am seeing. 
Minnesota for the Canadians. Okay, that could be your special resource is Canadians. All right, these are the most popular ones. Oh, yeah, let's do New York. Open the five York. gates. We did. Okay, of these ten, uh, what state do you guys want to begin your empire within? Then we will decide your name, and then we'll do the same with me. How about South Dakota? Mount Rushmore would give us a head start. Hey. <sighs> Who went first last time? I think Twitch chat went first last time. I'll let you guys go first again, just so you know, George when you're making your bet here. about how this society is going downhill due to Twitch chat slow mode. <laughs> sure did, book, yeah. 1984, where he details how the fart gates should be forever open and slow mode off. Ohio is so far from California. Are you sure you want this? Because if you go Delta Texas, I would probably go South Dakota. The of Undertale has some music that might fit in with the other Undertale songs. Yeah, Legend, I've listened to it. Or knock you down. And okay, maybe between the Chaos King. Between Texas and Ohio. Yeah, I definitely listened to, to Undertale. It's a great soundtrack. Between Texas and Ohio. I mean, you could go Ooh, back for to... Ohio, I guess. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm busy today. I have to stream, otherwise I would have said yes. Damn, looks like Texas might actually beat Ohio. Arkansas has the highest divorce rate, no joke. Chat must keep Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's actually good to know. All right, how about this? How about this? You guys start with Texas. I'm gonna start where I'm gonna start. Um, once, uh, how about once a once one of our two empires claims California, then Ohio instantly gets another second valid resource. They get LeBron James at that point. LeBron James four. How his son right now is like twenty, right? How many LeBron James sons would there be a hundred years from now? It's like LeBron James number six, right? LeBron the sixth. Okay, after California, after the gold rush is finished, uh, there'll be a second LeBron James gold rush over to Ohio. Or whatever the hell else you want in Ohio. I don't care. I'll go for LeBron James' sons, 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 sons. Five or six. Well, if, if, they, if they make a new LeBron every, like, 20 years like LeBron did, that's five more LeBrons, right? We would be on our seventh LeBron in 100 years. His son is 16. Oh, I thought his son was older. Scott the Waz is in Ohio. Okay, <laughs> the second goal rush will be Scott the Waz, LeBron James, and uh, Neil Armstrong. I guess Neil Armstrong's son. All right, Twitch Chat's empire is beginning in Texas. Why is it doing this? Magic wand. Why? There you go. Oh, you almost got some of Hawaii. Accidentally, would have given you that. I want Hawaii. You know what? I want Alaska first. Guys, give me Alaska. All right. Don't be mean. You know why? Because Pitbull's playing there. Wait, color should be here. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think I do South Dakota. South Dakota has, uh, South Dakota has the, the Mount Rushmore, right? I don't actually know where it's that slowly is. slowly peasant wants some parts. Keystone, South Dakota. Well, how does that help my empire? Hold on, if I take South Dakota, what the fuck do I do with that? What do I do with, what does Nebraska have? Does Nebraska have anything good? I don't know anything about this part of the country other than they're like have a lot of corn. They're giant mechs. Hey Doug, can I can my the same name as my dad? We watch your streams and videos a lot, and he's currently at his 100th round of chemo. Just oh, want shit. to say thanks for entertaining my dad and I during these really hard times. Heart. Very Doug, happy to help to out. Hope you guys feel better America. soon. Thanks for playing. No. Uh, Nebraska has rocks. Hold on, I gotta look this up. 
Nebraska Wikipedia. A lot of today is going to be Doug Doug and Twitch chat. Doug Doug, who doesn't know anything, and all the Europeans <laughs> learn about what goes on in the other states of America. Um, we, okay, so I would have railroads. What's my birth rate? Oh, that's okay. That's too much information. Economy. We've got, we've got, we've got sorghum. We've got sorghum. Yes, that's huge. Known as broom corn. Okay, wait. If I take sorghum, what? Okay, what would your guys' resource? Because I could offer sorghum to Wyoming. <laughs> Wyoming, Wyoming fucking loves sorghum, dude. They'd be in. Uh, I guess let's start with you. What? Okay, what special resource do you guys want? For Texas, what do you want as your starting resource? As a reminder, our armies are both going to be 10,000 musketmen. We have, like, rusty old muskets that we found. Um, that's your starting thing. You, uh, Texas has guns, oil, delicious barbecue, uh, lots of animals. Texas has Dude Perfect. You can start, yeah. This is 100 years, set 100 years in the future, so it'd be Dude Perfect's son. But yeah, you can just do cowboys and cowgirls. Um, okay. What is your starting resource? Okay, we'll do Texas barbecue. Cause that, that could be an interesting like way to, to form alliances and stuff, rather than just like more like more guns is fine. But again, you already have ten thousand muskets. Uh cowboys and cowgirls. We have NASA. Oh shit, you do have NASA. That's actually that's actually wild. Interesting. Technically, you have Chuck Norris, although he's not. Chuck Norris isn't actually from Texas. I'm pretty sure. No, you can't have Tesla. Tesla's spread out everywhere. Um, cow. Look, cowboy hats would be included with cowboys and cowgirls. Um, oh, you got a lot of oil. Texas does have lots of oil. NASA's gone due to apocalypse. No, not necessarily. What about Mandy, a very real member that's not an Eddie D's nuts joke? Eddie D's nuts. Got him. Arthur Morgan. Arthur Morgan is not from Texas. Okay, I'm not seeing anything else that would like garner any kind of widespread response. Oh yeah, like um Tex Mex food. Oh. Texas food is crazy good. That's kind of all no, I don't want to do I don't want to do politicians and stuff. I let's keep Anything politically charged out of today, please. I we I don't think that is going to add anything of value at all to this stream. So let's keep it to non-political stuff, please. Um, I was seeing a lot of uh, Ted Cruz's. Like, no, no, let's. That's fucking lame. No. Okay, last one is Sandy Cheeks, which doesn't really make sense. Okay, of these seven, uh, oh, you do have Whataburger. I mean, look, there's multiple here that are like. Food based. I think you can do Texas cuisine, which covers barbecue, Tex Mex, and um, uh, what's the other one that you just mentioned? Anyway, Texas food is pretty good, although people are pretty strong on NASA. Okay, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you vote NASA, this is gonna be a hundred, this is a hundred years in the future. So, NASA, I guess, what, re what do they have? You can't, like, you can't just, like, send nukes. We're gonna assume NASA does not have nukes or anything like that. NASA's a huge advantage. Let, let's be clear. What would that actually allow you to do to start out with? Rockets. Does NASA have rockets? I thought they just shoot spaceships into the into the uh, space. Because there needs to be some limit on this. Um, satellite imagery. Let the AI decide. Okay, that's fine. Within reason, okay. Let's let's say this is this is like post-apocalyptic NASA. You guys still have the core team and the core resources, but you don't have everything that you would have right now. It's got to have some sort of uh, of limitation. But with that being said, you guys got NASA. Congratulations. All right, your starting resource is NASA. If you got if you guys get NASA, can I have um Can my Mount Rushmore be giant mechs? You you were saying no before I even said anything. 
Come on, that'll be awesome. It should be on par. So it should be it on par with your guys' thing. In the US. Give us divorce papers as our starting resource. If you take Arkansas, sure, it is right next to you. Um, I guess it's, it's not really realistic for a hundred years in the future. Um, the problem is that if you guys start with NASA and I start with f fucking sorghum, <laughs> okay. Uh, what else? Do, what else does South Dakota have? Kool Aid. <laughs> All right, we're doing Kool Aid. Wyoming fucking loves Kool-Aid. They're in. Wait, no, this is what happened last time. I took German beer the last time we played this. I want something that's not a drink. Is it... For anybody who lives in South Dakota, do you guys have anything other than Mount Rushmore and Sorghum and Kool-Aid? That's Nebraska. Oh, damn it. Am I on Nebraska's? Why am I on Nebraska's page? Okay. What does South Dakota have? Uh, economy. It's the fifth smallest economy in the U.S. Okay, agriculture. I, maybe I do have to do sorghum because it is like it is the bread and butter of South Dakota. I guess. Proclaimed leader of America. Can you even name all fifty states and capitals? What about territories? What about the Doug? Where is your brain today? Can Look, you smell? Because she she smell. I'll remember the the names of all the states in America once my empire consumes them. Okay, fine. I'm doing sorghum. Before you talk shit about sorghum, sorghum is used as animal feed in this country. Very important. All right, you guys down there have NASA. Who cares when you can't even feed your animals, all right? Sorghum is the backbone of my new empire. I begin with sorghum, and I end your old with NASA. Let's play big fan. Here's a coffee duck. Thanks, Roof. All right. Uh, let, me, let me color my, my boy. Um, bam, 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 bam. All right, I think we're ready to begin. Oh, the only thing we have to do, how long is this taking? 30 minutes, Jesus. Um, sorghum is Nebraska. No, it said it in, in South Dakota too, right? Oh, God damn it. So it's just corn? <clears throat> we're going with corn. Okay, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take Nebraska. Get that sorghum. Texas, uh, the last thing we have to do. The of all omelets here, cut every egg. <laughs> last thing we gotta do is come up with our names. In the uh, in the last battle that we did for Europe, I you guys were the Empire we of Chattistan. Can take Canada without diplomacy. Canada is drowned. Everybody's in Minnesota now. You guys were the Empire of Chattistan. I was Dugtopia. What is your empire's name? You can go with the same one. That's fine. You keep it running. New Ohio. <laughs> That's going to be confusing for the AI. I want it to be one word. We need the AI to have as easy of a time as possible. Because if it starts referencing... We need it to be able to differentiate. You can't be Ohio. You can't be Ohio. Ohio is a different state. Texas. Uh. South Virginia. Wait, Texas? Empire of. You're saying Tahiti. It should have Twitch or chat in it. Twitch Haiti. Ohio. Chat America. I like that. The Chaxis powers. No. no. <laughs> uh, Chatussie. No. Twitchistan. Do Twitchistan. The Lone Chat State. That'll be your nickname. 
Again, I want it to be one word just to make it easier for the AI. Uh, because I'm worried it'll start breaking up the name into different pieces and it'll get, like, even harder to follow, you know? The Chatinator. <laughs> California. Chattanooga is actually pretty good. Can we start in a gaseous state? Chatsylvania. <laughs> so confusing. Uh, okay, I'll get one more. Chat Arkansas has the highest divorce rate. Chatlantis. That's awesome. Are you guys got to grab Arkansas at some point, apparently. Um, okay, Chattistan, Texas, Chaxis. You can vote for up to three, by the way. Just do three different messages with the number. Um, Chattanooga's great. Chatsylvania is great. Chatlantis is great. Those are my favorite, but up to you guys. Texas also works great because you're starting with Texas. A lot of good options here. A lot of good options. Um, oh, my God. I didn't even think about it. South Dakota. Easy. <laughs> Does Mexico Easy exist? name for me. If it doesn't, will we be able to vote from Florida to California? Yeah, we're gonna say we're gonna say the other for the sake of simplicity. Look, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to be a dick to Mexico or Canada here, but there's already enough shit going on in the map. The map is already big enough that I am simplifying things by saying in 100 years Canada and Mexico went underwater. Um, Whatever you and all do, the Mexicans no moved you as a resource, it'll cause a civil war in Chattanooga. to New Mexico, and all the Canadians moved to Minnesota. So you can pick up your brother in once you're there. All right, congratulations, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen. You were here at the forming of Chatlantis. <sighs> Today, a new empire begins. We won't stop the wars for Ohio. As well as a brand new empire to the north, your arch rivals. The South Dakotans with their corn. By extension, we also get the Looney Tunes thanks to Space Jam 2. Oh, that's kind of true, huh? Yeah, there's a lot you get from Ohio. All right. <clears throat> well. If we do Alaska, do we get all of Canada as well? Uh, no. Canada's underwater. Somehow Alaska is not underwater, which doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, for the sake of this game, sorry, Canada. You guys are all... You, well, that's Chatlantis, I suppose. <clears throat> to kick this off, turn number one. You guys will go first. Again, on your turn, you can choose to invade a neighboring state. Every state at this point, as a reminder, this is 100 years in the future. The government to shattered. Every California state has become their own little country. So has the highest <laughs> divorce rate in the country. And it is up to you to convince the leader of those states to either join your empire or to take it over, not give them the option, and then they join the empire of, what is it called, Chatlantis. Um, you can also research new technology. Or you can do whatever the fuck you want. The first empire to take California also gets their gold as an immediate second resource and second point. Uh, our bonus resources start with corn for me, NASA for you guys. You are uh, welcome to incorporate those if you would like. Otherwise, uh, you can you you cannot. We both have one army of ten thousand musket men. All right. So at the moment, in terms of military technology, all we have is muskets. You've got ten thousand people who have muskets, uh, and that's it. And these are like old muskets. So if you want to get more modern shit, you got to research it. Um, NASA, within reason, you guys can do. Uh, you can let's say shoot missiles or send a space shuttle somewhere. I guess I don't know why that would help you. All right, chat, your turn. What to do? I will now look through. Lot of invade New Mexico. A lot of people want to invade New Mexico. A lot of people want to invade Arkansas for the divorces. Marry NASA. <laughs> Send a space shuttle to New Mexico. I guess, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this a is this a military space shuttle? Like, are you sending a space shuttle to their capital to try to like kill their leaders? We'll say that the king of New Mexico lives. You know where his his palace is. Or is this like a friendly? <laughs> what's the point of this? Are you trying to like? Are you trying to like be nice to them? Is it for an alliance? The sea. We need old Mexico. We impress them. Okay, send a space shuttle to New Mexico. 
to impress them. Send a space shuttle that crashes into the New Mexican <laughs> uh, Grand Palace. Whatever one you want, you can go for. Uh, hold on. Send the space pope. You need to research a space pope first. We have to steal the moon. We can literally fly to California. You can't fly your whole army. NASA doesn't have that te technology. You could send somebody from your country. We both have an emperor or an empress, whoever you whoever you would like to designate as, as your leader. You could send them to California if you would if you'd like. I guess. That's sneaky. Um, research. Okay. <laughs> Designate a space pope. <laughs> you can you can create a space pope and then next turn send them to California. Um, mine oil. So like that would be a new resource you guys would have if you get it. Uh, <laughs> send a space shuttle to the moon. That will not get you a point, but you are welcome to do it. Um, win the Super Bowl. At this point, the Super Bowl does not exist. Uh, baptize the moon, shuttle to Nevada, get Area 51. Again, you could only send a person. Um, you could shuttle the emperor to California if you want. Okay, I'm going to say that shuttle only lets you go two spaces away. So you could go up to Arizona if you want, and you could take Area 51. So two spaces away from your empire borders, you guys can shuttle to. Send the emperor to Arizona. Um, okay, I've got, no, let me give you one more. Reform the NFL. Okay, if that works, that'll be a new special resource. All right, those seem like the most popular one. You've got nine options. What do you want to do? To vote, just type one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine into chat. And if you want to vote for multiple, you can vote for up to three. Um, just do it in multiple lines, right? So Hello, one, chat. and then nine, and then four. Florida also makes olive oil. Ooh. Didn't know that. Really? You're going for Space Pope? <laughs> it's like, shouldn't you be invading a country? Greater Britain. Uh, Greater Britain. That's such a good name. We'll say you can rename states to Greater Britain if you want. Okay. Is novel like good? I haven't used it, but I know you use it a lot on stream for the memes. I've had a great time with it. I think it's great. Um, I've used AI Dungeon, Infricate, and Novel AI. I think they're all great. N novel AI, from what I've seen, has like the best customization and like uh, help with developing the story. So I, I really like it a lot. Um, okay. <clears throat> on the very first turn of the America Don... What do we call this? What is this stream? I should come up with a name. Dominate the... I don't just want to call it Risk, because it's not really Risk. It's similar to Risk. No, just in general, this concept of a, of a stream. Uh, AI attack. The AI Inquisition. <laughs> I feel like Inquisition is a sort of charged word. American Domination Percent. New America. America Battle Royale. It's not really a battle royale. It's, it's two empires fighting for America. Chatlantis goes to war. Okay, we'll just call it AI Invasion for right now. Okay, on the first turn of the America AI Invasion, Twitch chat has decided, instead of invading New Mexico or Oklahoma or Arkansas, instead of sending a space shuttle somewhere, they are going to... Create a space pope. <laughs> the year is 2100. America. I have to write like an intro thing. America has shattered. Those ice and condensate? I don't know what that means. So we are death stranding this. Yeah. This is easier. This is easier to read. It looks better. Who cares? <laughs> Look at how much cleaner this looks if it's 2100. 
That just looks so smooth. We must establish a feudal economy, Doug. This is step number one. Let's split the difference. That looks like, it just makes me think of like a, like the address of a house. It doesn't make me think of the year 2111. But it's not true, Doug. Jesus Christ. Um. <clears throat> Okay, uh, the year's, uh, 2021, 20, it's this, whatever, the year's 2122. There goes chatter. music and stream. I try to do that with d and and it's a hassle. Just started watching your stream. Hey, thank you, Dalek. Finding your YouTube and it's been a blast. Appreciate it very much, thank you. Um, yeah, I use a stream, for people who don't know, I use an Elgato stream deck for music. I really like it. Uh, the land is in chaos. Um, technology has regressed massively, but amidst all, but amidst the strife, two new empires emerge. The empire of Doug, Co Doug Coda and the empire of Chatlantis. This is the story of how Chatlantis took over the American states. We'll say... Reunite, oh my God, I'm dumb. Reunited uh, the states, I don't know. I'm trying to keep this simple so the AI has something to go off of. Um, cool. <clears throat> this will be the opener. We'll do the exact same thing for me on my side, uh, except we'll swap it. So that way, so we'll both, we'll both have like our own storylines going. Let's fix the spelling of amidst. I'm not fixing it for me, though. That'll give me an advantage. Um, so we're both going to have our own, like, story that's going, but both of them will have the other uh, Empire referenced. If we need to, uh, we'll we'll reference it again. But, um, <laughs> right. um, but this is how we'll, we'll kick it off. Okay. <clears throat> to start off, um, Chatlantis decides... Hold on. Are you guys... What do you mean by Space Pope? <laughs> you mean that you are... <laughs> You you pick a person and you de like you what is decides to are you building it? He goes to self explanatory the Pope of space right but right what does that mean? Up uh, is he from space? <laughs> so chat to start off, Chatlantis decides to elect. Okay, Chatlantis uses the NASA administration to elect a brand new space pope. He will be responsible. What will he be responsible for? What, what theoretically, and the, and the program has to say that you actually do this. What would he theoretically uh, do? They hope he will be responsible for, let's see, uh, managing alliances, I assume. Yeah, we can ally the states. Managing alliances and <laughs> taking over the moon. <laughs> Okay, I'm always going to phrase these as like you're attempting to do this thing so that the AI resolves it, right? So to try to start off chat, let use the NASA administration to elect a brand new space pope. They hope you'll be responsible uh, for managing alliances and taking over the moon. Let's try with that. <clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. The beginning. She? Okay, fine. For context, in the Europe one that we did... The Pope was a woman, which just came out of no. It was the AI was literally like the you guys have been like chasing the Pope in a forest or whatever, and then out of nowhere the AI is like, by the way, the Pope is a woman, and that was that was it. Okay, let us begin. 
The year is 2122. America has shattered and all 50 states have splintered into their own small governments. The land is in chaos. Technology has regressed massively, but amidst all the strife, two new empires emerge. The Empire of Doug Coda and the Empire of Chatlantis. This is the story of how Chatlantis took over North America and reunited the states. Scroll up. To start off, Chatlantis uses the NASA administration to elect a brand new space pope. They hope she will be responsible for managing alliances and taking over the moon. However, when they meet her at the space station, they find out that she isn't who she says she is. She's actually an old friend of President Bush's, and she wants to take his place on Earth. Okay, let's continue. I'm not, I feel like it hasn't resolved yet. Meanwhile, Doug Coda is continuing this conquest of Africa. No, no, hold on. I'm invading Africa and Japan, apparently. All right, let's go back from this. If it goes totally off, we reset it. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, Doug Coda. No, no, no. This is not about Doug Coda. When the president finds out this information, he decides not to run again. After resigning from office, he tells the world about that Chatlantis plan to take over the moon so they can eventually <laughs> invade Earth. Wait, okay, so this is, there is a president somewhere. He also reveals that Chatlantis plans to kill everyone in order to make way for their colony. Not only that, but she has taken control of America through a covert operation. The United States Space Command is now under the power of Chatlantis. <laughs> okay. You guys have Space Pope. <laughs> And apparently you have the United States Space Command. That's a resolution. We're calling it there. There's also a president of America somewhere. We don't know where yet. Maybe he'll pop up again later. No, you have United States Space Command. What does that even mean? Did you get the Pope? When they meet her, okay, so your your Pope is at the space station. She's actually an old friend, but she but she says she isn't who she says she is. Do you do you have the Pope? I feel like all you have is United States Space Command. I mean, you definitely have United States Space Command. The Pope is now president. No, 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 because the president he resigns, but it doesn't say that she's. We still have the Pope. All right, I will give you both. But that's pretty generous, and so in the future... We get a turn... Wait, or do we say that you have the Space Pope and that she controls the United States Space Command? I guess we'll say they're two separate ones, that's fine. Again, we're, we'll approximately apply to 15 points, but if it's going too high... Okay, we're saying that. All right, so you guys have you guys have Space Pope who controls the United States Space Command. We'll leave it at that. So she has a bunch of resources at her disposal. Uh, and that way it's just the one point for today, or for that turn. Okay, um, meanwhile... Your territory stays the same. For me, the smart thing to do would be to go for Wyoming, because then I can work my way towards the California gold. But if I take North Dakota, I can form Megacoda... And North Dakota probably has more agriculture. What does North Dakota have? North Dakota. Do they have sorghum? I just want, I want to start my empire with Megacoda. Sorghum. Okay, there's no sorghum. I'm invading. I'm invading North Dakota. Guys, pick Arkansas, so we start with Walmart's private plane fleet. Walmart is HQ'd in Bentonville, Arkansas. This is the story of how Doug Coda took over North America and reunited, reunited the states. To begin... Hey Doug, Chicago is where my wife left me and where we divorced. Happy birthday. They dreamed of uniting.
Everything useful comes from Ohio. We should get resources bonuses. <laughs> Marster 10,000. Okay. Once we reach Oklahoma, we will harness the power of tornadoes. I don't think you get to control tornadoes once you have Oklahoma. You're leading the narrative too much. We need to give it something so that it has direction. If it's too open-ended. I did the same thing with you guys, though. Shoot. I want to give it like three, two to three sentences. Shut if we take the, the main thing is Doug legally has to tell us his address. <laughs> That's true. You can create a new law that says that. Uh, the main thing I want to do is give the AI a clear impression of what we are trying to do. That's the hope. And if you don't like how I'm writing it, then you can always say rigged. Let us begin. Uh, no, no, no. Spear of Justice. No, Asgore. All right, I'm up. To begin their conquest, the Doug Coda leaders set their sights on North Dakota. They dream of uniting the Dakotas into one Mega Coda. So the Doug Coda general marches their 10,000 musketmen into North Dakota and began to attack. North Dakota was a place of great fear for the Doug Coda army. The citizens had been living off the land since they were kicked out of the state after a failed attempt at conquering it. The people that lived there were not farmers or soldiers, but survivalists who could hunt and gather food as needed. Their weapons were crude bows, spears, and swords made from wood and metal scraps. They also had access to guns that could be easily made with tools found around their homes. The Dakota General knew that these primitive weapons would make his job much harder than it should be. Hold on, I have guns. What? Oh, wait, so you're saying they just have bows and spears? He decided to go straight for the town of Stanley. The General walked up the dirt road to a large wooden sign that said, Welcome to Stanley, which read, Welcome to Stanley, the only major city in North Dakota. Is that true? Stanley, North Dakota. Okay. Oh, it's, it's real. The population was 2,300. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> As he approached, two men came running towards him. The general thought they might be armed and dangerous, so he drew his sword and raised it above his head. One man tripped over the other and fell forward onto his face. Strong opening from North Dakota. You're supposed to say, go away when you see me, said the first man. What? How do I know if I'm going to kill you, replied the general in annoyance. Just do it. If you don't, we'll shoot you, yelled the second man. The general sighed, knowing that this is going to be an interesting fight. He lowered his sword and held out his hand to help the fallen man up. The man got to his feet and stood before the general with a wicked smile. His face was covered in blood and dirt, but he didn't look too bad. I'll go, but you won't get any information. All right, we're going to try to get this back on rails. That's when the South Dakotan army attacked. Here, I'll keep it more railed. That's when the general ordered <laughs> the South Dakota army to attack. <laughs> Unironically rigged. We have to get it back on rails towards the thing we're trying to resolve. Let it run. All right. We'll let this go s three more. And if it hasn't resolved, then we're, well, I'm going to put it on, on some guide rails. <clears throat> Why is that? Asked the general. Because, answered the man, it's my home and I can't tell anyone anything about it. Now go away. Fine. I'll leave. But don't expect us to come back. No, I want to come back. Is that, Wait, am I leaving? Hold on. Don't just leave. With that, the general turned around and walked away down the dirt road. He left the general. Wait. He left the general, the North Dakota, and his men behind and marched further into the town of Stanley. It was a small town, barely larger than the village he'd grown up in. Okay, that's when the general ordered the South Dakota army to attack. That's not resolved. He's still in Stanley. He walks in Stanley. I didn't lose. What are you talking about? Look, if it was like he turned around and walked away, the fact that it says he went back into Stanley, he's still in North Dakota. How on earth is that a failure? It's not resolved. He talked to some random guy who tripped. That doesn't mean it's resolved. We need a resolution on whether the attack works. Or at least whether or not the general leaves North Dakota or dies or something. It says left. No, it says he turned and walked down the dirt road. He left the general behind and marched further into the town of Stanley. That's when the general ordered the South Dakotan army to attack. A few hours later, the battle was joined. The Doug, 
the Dakota army launched volley after volley of arrows onto the townspeople's defense line. Over a hundred of them died instantly from the barrage, but the survivors weren't done fighting. The remaining warriors charged the line and managed to push it back just enough for the next wave of arrows to be fired. And so it went until the Dakotan army finally broke through the lines. Okay, they ran into the homes of the villagers and started taking them by force. Taking the villagers by force? Some of those that resisted were killed, others tortured for information. Soon, everyone of value in the town was taken prisoner. The general then gathered his men together and told them to take the prisoners outside and put them on display like animals in a zoo. Okay, we're... I think I, I think I beat North Dakota. When they were lined up in rows facing the townspeople, the general addressed them. This is what happens when you defy me, shouted the general. Now you will show us your respect and bow to me or you will all die. Dude, my general's a fucking badass. A little bit of a maniac, but he's badass, dude. After a while, the general grew impatient. He wanted to move on to the next town, so he ordered his men to start killing the prisoners. They started swinging their swords and axes wildly at the prisoners. All right, at what point do I win? I I beat the town of Stanley, but it they didn't say. <laughs> I'm not clear what's happening. I beat Stanley. You killed a town. I haven't taken. I can't. I can't say that I've taken North Dakota. That's not fair. I have taken Stanley. You committed genocide. Well, the general committed genocide. Don't put that on me, okay? I I didn't train him to do that. Uh. Geneva Convention. Now, it's 100 years in the future. Geneva's gone. Can I have a special resource of Stanley up until I get all of North Dakota and then I lose it? But that doesn't make sense because I wouldn't have lost Stanley. I guess I... But I killed everybody in Stanley. It's not really a special resource anymore. <laughs> it's not very special because my fucking general slaughtered everybody. Three more. And if it doesn't resolve in three... How about five more? Five more uh, uh, lines from the AI, or five more uh, generations from the AI. And if it doesn't clearly resolve it, then we say it's done. But for the future, I'll, I'll tell the AI. Hopefully the AI will make it easier for me to invade North Dakota because I've already murdered everybody in Stanley. That seems fair to me. It even said at the start, the only town that matters is Stanley. Yeah, that's kind of true. Okay, let's see what happens. I basically took the most important town. I kind of have North Dakota. Okay, let, let's continue from here and see where it goes. But this time, the people of Stanley had had enough of being terrorized. They stepped out of their homes and joined the battle. They fought against the Dakota army as best they could. Oh, but the numbers were too high. Okay, come on. I win, right? I still beat Stanley. In the end, most of the people of Stanley were massacred. The general was shocked and angry. He ordered his men to stop and ran into the crowd. There he saw a young boy. I don't like this. I don't like that my general's a war criminal. The general knelt down beside the child and put his hand on his shoulder. Don't cry, son, said the general. Your mommy is in heaven now, and she'll never hurt you again. <laughs> okay. So, do I get North Dakota? <laughs> I think I do, because Stanley... Because Look... I could go either way on this, honestly. Okay. Do I get North Dakota? Vote logically. What do you what do you genuinely think I should get? The argument for yes is that I took Stanley, and it said Stanley's the most important town. The argument for no is like there isn't definitive leadership or army victory. You got a Sith apprentice as well. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna reference. I'm gonna reference the kid. I'm gonna reference the kid later in mine. You know what? Okay, let's let's say this. I gave you guys Pope. Oh no, but you didn't get two resources. Okay, we we've been generous with both. Uh, actually, less generous with you guys. Anyway, we'll we'll try to look. Let's obviously Alaska, with guys. a lot of this. It is really hard. We to have reach. to interpret Our it as best we can. Freeze to death, and we would have oil. Uh, but you guys are being generous right now by giving this to me. So I will try to be generous with you guys the next time we have to resolve, uh, what the fuck is going on. Uh, so we're saying I took Stanley, I get North Dakota.
Wait, if I spend a turn merging North and South Dakota into Megakota, can that be a special resource? Or is it just automatically Megakota? I'm doing that either way. I want to start with Megakota. All right, back to the Empire of Chatlantis. What do you guys want to do? Jesus, take the wheel. Dopo, thank you for the five gifted subs. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Research nano machines. That seems like a, a big jump. I'll allow it, but they have to Can be used within reason. Nothing Texas, like absurd. Please. Walter White in New Mexico. Yeah, you can go for Walter White's son. Uh, what do you want to invade New Mexico? You do have, as a reminder, you do have Space Pope. Pow, 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 truck nuts, pow, pow. Send the Space Pope to Nebraska. Wait, <laughs> <Hey>, why? <laughs> or did you mean Arkansas? Let's only invade the chef and start with his hat. You can send you can send the space shuttle two away. You can send space pope wherever. Spread religion to the moon. I let's assume that there are not people on the moon. Unless unless here's what you can do. You can send the space pope to the moon. And if the AI decides there's people on the moon, that can be a whole state that you get. But you can't say that there's people on the moon. Land of the divorce. Yourself. Um, send the space pope to the moon. How about, okay, what do you, what do you want me to tell the AI Bring that you're trying to do? Oklahoma would give us many F5 tornadoes. To cre I'll say to create a colony, and we'll see, we'll see what it does. Um, because I want to, like, again, I want to tell the AI, like, what you guys are trying to do. Uh, to create a space station? Colony works. Um, take over the... I mean, I guess you can take over the moon. I'll say that, too. Yeah, or explore, we'll say explore the moon for resources and try to take it over. We need moon cheese for, <laughs> for enchiladas. Um, decimate Oklahoma. A lot of people want to invade Oklahoma. And again, you can go to country... You can go to states and try to form an alliance. You don't have to invade. Uh, research trench warfare. I'm going to say you already have that. Create a new religion. Create a new space religion. Try to ally Oklahoma. <laughs> Sacrifice the space pope to Oklahoma. <laughs> I mean, Oklahoma would love that, dude. Uh, how many you got? You got nine. Let's give you two more. Um, ally Arkansas. Uh, marry the queen of Oklahoma. So you can, you still have an emperor or empress. I wrote Oklahoma, but all right, here are your options. Research nanomachines, invade New Mexico, send the space pope to Arkansas, send the space pope to the moon to create a colony, invade Oklahoma, create a new space religion, try to ally Oklahoma, sacrifice the space pope to Oklahoma, ally Arkansas, marry the queen of Oklahoma. Okay. So it looks, you're, looks like you're really interested in, in the space pope. Uh, this is going to be very open-ended. We don't know what's going to happen on the moon when you get there, okay? It's, uh, again, the way this works is that when we are telling the AI what we want to do, that needs to follow the rules and some sort of logic. But whatever the AI says happens after that point, that's canon. So if there's aliens on the moon and you meet them and you ally with them, sure. The moon is added to the map of the United States. You can, you can take it. All right, you are deciding to send the space pope to the moon to create a colony. <laughs> I'll leave it open-ended on, like, what, what you want to do. Um, okay, so that means we're back here. You guys just got the United States Space Command. So it'd be something like, um, okay, it would be, like, with the Space Pope. If you all elect me as the next Doug Doug spokesman, I will never pause alerts. With the Space Oh God, they sunk Canada. Space Command. 
Uh, Chatlantis now decides to take over the moon. Take over? Does that work? Doug, I am scared. What if this happens in real life? I don't want to go to Minnesota. You're going to love Minnesota. You're going to love my Minnesota. Col okay, we'll say colonize. Colonize the moon. I'll say they they hope to establish, to form a new state and research advanced moon technology. So I'm going to leave it kind of open-ended so that the AI has uh, possibilities to work with, right? So I'm saying colonize plus new state, advanced moon technology, all that stuff. So sad the research that moon oil. Texas. So the space pope. You're sending the space pope, right? Yeah. So the space pope loads up into her space shuttle what and if fires you gold in, say Utah, and then lay waste to California. Do you get gold as a resource twice or just once? You can have multiple gold, I guess. We just need we need the AI to like clearly to identify that you've got a special thing. I think the alerts are very behind. Uh, is everybody okay with um... Ohio's resources burning rivers? They should never be underestimated. Yeah, again, alerts are going to be really far behind today. I recommend not giving me money. Unless you can predict what we're going to be talking about like 40 minutes Doug, from the time you give me money. New Mexico, can we have blue substances as a resource? Uh, end prediction? Okay, sure. Is this the original poll? Is this one from a while ago? Doug won the prediction. So this is the first Texas one. Right. Won you all. There you go. Prediction's over. All right. Uh, what's a good space song? This one. This is a good space song. Doug, I saw Pitbull at Hershey Park. He was shaking his booty with the Jolly Rancher man on stage. No, I Google IT. It was two weeks ago. Jealous. All right, you guys are up. With the Space Pope in the Empire and the United States Space Command under their control, Chatlantis now decides to colonize the moon. They hope to form a new state and research advanced moon technology. So the Space Pope loads up into her space shuttle and launches her ship towards the moon. On her way to the moon, she gets attacked by a group of Chatlantian ships. Your own? Betrayal! Rigged! She manages to take them down with ease. Oh, and lands in the middle of the jungle? There she discovers a massive secret base hidden under the jungles. Wait, are you- hold on. Are you on Earth or are you on the moon? Are you on the moon jungles? Maybe there's moon- maybe there's jungles on the moon now. It is 2100. Inside, there are thousands of Chatlanteans waiting to greet the Space Pope. Once she arrives, she's greeted by the Chatlantean leader, Dr. Teeps. He explains that their planet was destroyed after it being hit by a meteor, and they were forced to flee across the universe. Wait, hold on. So they are, they're not in your empire. Now that they're back home on the moon, they believe it's time to settle down once and for all. Dr. Teeps asks the Space Pope if she would like to stay and help them build a new empire. The Space Pope agrees because she knows that they, that they can turn everything around for the better. In return, she gives them access to all the U.S. satellites and the knowledge of how to use them as weapons against their enemies. Okay. So, you guys are allied with Dr. Teeps and the Chatlanteans in the moon jungles, <laughs> I think. Is that a resource or a state? She sold us out. I guess, like, are they, but they're in your empire now, right? I think you got, I think we, here's, here's my interpretation of this. Correct me if I'm wrong. The moon was inhabited. You guys went there and formed an alliance with Dr. Teeps and the moon people. That is now part, that is now a new state in your empire. That is how I would interpret this. Is that fair? I don't want to re-roll it. It's not like, it's it's focused enough that I think it's fine. I don't think we need to re-roll unless it is like not even remotely related to what we were talking about. We clearly need a separate map for the moon. 
I mean, I need to add the moon in. Where, where's the moon? <laughs> Where do I put it? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Stop. We have to color it orange though, right? <laughs> Hold on. I need to drop shadow. Satellites is a resource. No, it said you already had those. No, no. You guys had... Or sorry, purple. You guys had... um. You had the satellite technology already and you shared it with them. Okay, let's see, color, so. in agreement on this <laughs> this map of america <laughs> where is our jungle i don't i can't uh, hold on <laughs> i don't think i could do that It doesn't look like the moon. If the jungle's there, it doesn't look like the moon. This <laughs> is <just> dumb. <laughs> okay, I'm moving the jungle like really low. There's just a little bit of jungle in there. Perfect. We stand the jungle moon. <laughs> okay. So, um, <clears throat> Chatlantis successfully sent the Space Pope to the moon and has a new state in the Chatlantis Empire. Congratulations. You guys are up to four points. I don't give a shit, though. I still got Mega Coda. Wait, okay, how do I how do I somehow merge these into Megacoda while also getting a if resource from New it? Mexico, can we get Walter White? Yeah, but you have to research Walter White. The only resource you automatically get is California's gold. Um Teeps is Dracula. Yeah, who the fuck is Dr. Teeps? <laughs> Dr. Vlad Teeps, is that his name? Is that is that Dracula's first name? Count Teeps. I think Teeps is the leader of the new... It'd be in the same way as... He's like the king of North Dakota. I don't think he's a special resource. Yes, actually. Okay, so you have Dracula, maybe. Um, fuck, what do I do now? So on the one hand, I, I push for California, because you guys have been distracted by the fucking moon. On the other hand... Mm, the concern I have... Oh, nice to draw my music. I'm worried I just don't have anything... I don't have, like, any strong resources... Um, I could also go for Nebraska and get Sorghum, but I want to start working towards California. Teepish. Oh, Tepesh. It's not pronounced Teeps. Okay, but I'll keep saying it like that to annoy everybody. You need Mega Coda. Okay, if if I if I get North Dakota and South Dakota governments to agree to form Mega Coda, do I get a special resource? Because otherwise, there's no point to that, right? I don't even have the opportunity to get a point. What would I get out of Mega Coda that could that could classify as a resource that I'm trying to get? What are what are ideas? Like, what would I get out of Mega Coda? Is it just Mega? Well, no, Mega Coda isn't a resource. It would be a state. You need Giga Virginia. <laughs> no, we're not focused on Giga Virginia right now. Pipelines. Corn. Okay. <clears throat> How's this? If I successfully merge North and South Dakota into Megacoda, 
and it works, like and and it works, a big if, then um, then I also get mega corn, a new type of corn that's huge. <laughs> it would have to be a separate resource, so I still get two points. We'd have normal corn and then the mega corn produce. Okay. Well, if Mega Corn's on the menu, we're going for Mega Coda. <coughs> Good Doug doesn't know about the large deposits of oil in North Dakota. It prevents us from facing off against Mega Coda. Ooh. Wait, hold on. I forgot I just committed a war crime in North Dakota. Um, if we take Oklahoma, we can get the world's largest tornado. Nearly three miles wide. How do I pivot from this into Megacoda? All right, you guys might not Doug, agree with this, okay? There are going to be people out here who say I should two. not use my insane war criminal general again. But I'm going to have him propose forming Megacoda to the North Dakotan government. I'm using the war criminal. Now that... <laughs> What's his name? Uh, now that the evil general had slaughtered... I'll just say evil general. Slaughtered the town of Stanley. I don't want to give him a name unless the AI does it. Use the child. <laughs> but it just killed his mom, man. I don't want to use the child. Sacrifice the child. No, we're not sacrificing any children. If he does it, that's on him. I am not giving the order from on high to go sacrifice children. Now that the evil general slaughtered the town of Stanley, it was time, it was time to create a new, a glorious new union. The general approached the North Dakotan king and gave him an offer. Wait, hold on. What am I? Wait, what am I doing? Am I? What is Megacoda? So is it our science? <laughs> this, we haven't thought this through. I have both states already. The child is the, no. I'm not offering the child. What? What do I? Ha what do I have to do to get Megacoda? Is it just that we form and then? But if I merge it, isn't it one state then? And I just lose? I don't know. It was your idea. Well, it sounded cool. I just didn't think about it. I just didn't think about it very much. Okay. What? If, what about an ag? What about an agricultural company? We merge all of our agricultural companies into one company called Mega Coda, which makes Mega Corn. And that way, I have Mega Coda and Mega Coda Corn. No, you only get corn. Yeah, it's GMO. Yeah, I don't want to merge it as a state. It's just, it's like it's like the tri-state area. It's the Megacoda area. Okay, so uh, my offer to okay, so the general approach is North Montana's Dakota King. Montana's resource should be Sonic because Sonic lives there in the movie. He lives in Montana. I haven't seen the movie. General approach North Dakota King gave him an offer. We should have our greatest. God, I can't spell. We should have our greatest agricultural scientists from North to South Dakota merge. Our resources, ten gallon hats. A, a new company, Mega Cota. <laughs> okay, does this work? So we need we need this to actually happen. We need it to resolve into the scientists actually doing this. Our resource is stupid. I will offer this child as <laughs> as payment. <laughs> uh 
<clears throat> How do I move? Oh, there's two scroll bars. All right, what what song for this? I want I want something dramatic that builds up into. I want Bowser music. Hold on. <clears throat> All right, I'm up. Now that the evil general had slaughtered the town of Stanley, it was time to create a glorious new union. The general and that kid I approached the North Dakotan king mess. and gave him an offer. King, we should have our greatest agriculture scientists from North and South Dakota merge and form a new company, Megacoda. With this business, we can finally research the fabled Megacorn. I will offer this child as payment. What an insane war criminal. You want my son, screamed the king? No, you're insane. The general smiled and slowly reached for the boy. The king slapped the general's hand away and shouted, Take your filthy hands off my child. Wait, so wait, the kid is his son? Wait, we murdered the... We murdered the king of North Dakota's son's mom. We murdered the... Wait, the general murdered the queen of North Dakota. Congratulations, Doug. You did it. You're incredible. Jesus Christ. Good job, Doug. You're amazing. I want to be like you. Wow. Doug, that was so cool. What an amazing He's gamer the best. person. Okay. He's the best He's gamer. Wow. Thank you. Oh, my God. You're incredible. Doug. Okay, we, we, we continue. If you don't give me the child, I'll Doug. kill you, you and did take it. him away. You're incredible, Great Doug. Job, Doug. You're I want to kill me. Wow. How dare you? So I am the king amazing. of North Dakota, and no one kills the king. He's the best gamer. Wow. Oh, my God. You're incredible, Doug. Wow. And what if I say that you are not the king anymore? What if I tell everyone that you betrayed your country and sold out the people in order to get rich? How did you know about that? Wait, this is from the North Dakota king, right? Asked the king, I have spies everywhere. The Dakota army is looking for me right now? But don't worry because I've already escaped. Wait, my general left? Then why aren't you here to fight me? Merge Megakota. Because, king, you're useless. The only thing you're good for is farming corn, and I don't care if you live or die. But, but, enough! Are they going to fight? Yelled the general, I demand that you bow down to me and let me be your new king. You will gladly accept me in my new empire. No! You can't have him! He is my son and I will never give him up! Shouted the king. Oh yes you will, because if you don't, I'll kill you right now and take your son anyway! My general is a fucking maniac. I gotta fire this guy. He's making the situation a lot worse. No, I refuse to kneel to you. I am the king of North Dakota and I will never obey you. Well then I guess you will both be dead, said the general. Okay, resolution here maybe. I'm sorry, but I need to be king. The king shook his head and tried to think of a way out, but he knew it was hopeless. There was nothing he could do. Can I can I put it on rails? And then the general attacked? I'll do one more. Then suddenly the king's wife came rushing into the room with her three sons. She held a bloody knife in one hand and a gun in the other. I thought you're dead. Did he have two queens? Stop, commanded the queen. What a twist. Wait, so who, who did I kill? Both of you, stop right there. The general looked confused. What's going on? What are you doing to my husband? Asked the wife. He's my husband, and I love him dearly. Okay, we gotta get this back on rails, I think. Stop trying to kill him. Kill him? Yes, kill him. He's a horrible father and has caused our family so much pain. He deserves to die. Wayne, who are you? I guess we let it ride. Asked the general, how do you know my name? She didn't say the name. My name is Jane, and I'm the king's wife. You're the queen? Asked the general. Of course I'm the queen. <laughs> why would I marry the queen if... Why would I marry the king if I wasn't? Fair point. I don't understand, said the general. I thought you were just a common woman. I am a commoner. Replied, okay, right, right, right. How do I get this on rails to a resolution? Can I say that the, the general and the king start fighting, right? We're not re-rolling the whole thing. We we get it back towards the original purpose. Even if that happens, that's not gonna help me. Make the kid your new general. Okay, I'm gonna let it ride. This is taking a long time. But the general had had, had enough and attacked the king. I at least wanna know if the kid stays alive or if the general stays alive. Lero Mango, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But the general had had enough and attacked the king. We have to see 
what resolves between- I don't care who you are, I'll kill you and take your son anyway. Jane, please stay back, said the king. This man is crazy. True. Shut up! Scream Jane. Wait, Jane? Either you submit to me and become my king, or I'll kill you- Wait, Jane's trying to become king of North Dakota? The battle between the two armies lasted for months. The Dakota army was constantly attacked by the North Dakota army. Okay, it sounds like I'm still fighting with North Dakota. Jane has gone rogue. Um, I'm going back to here. We need a resolution for this. It's going into a whole different story. And that's when the general attacked. He swung his sword at the king, but the king blocked it easily. The general was surprised that he hadn't been killed yet, but he was even more surprised when the king slammed his fist into his gut. The general doubled over and dropped to his knees. There's no need to kill him, said the king. I surrender. I give up everything to you. I give you my crown, my throne, and my kingdom. All I ask in return is that I be allowed to keep my family. The general was speechless. He stared at the king in awe. He couldn't believe what he was seeing. The king has surrendered him without a fight. Okay, so my general is now the king of North Dakota, right? Do as he says, general, said Jane. The general nodded and turned to the king. Thank you, King, said the general. Now let's stand up and talk. Okay, so my general is now the King of North Dakota, but I failed to merge and form Megacota. I do not have the Megacorn. Did the general leave your army? I don't know. They're gonna talk. It's gone, it's gone too far. At some point, it's going to go forever. I think that's the point we call it. Okay. Uh, failure of a turn on my end. Although now my insane fucking war criminal of a general is the king of North Dakota. But at least I still have my empire. Look, the reroll opportunities, when it does the when it does this and it goes to the asterisk, that's like it's creating a different, like it is doing a totally different chapter. We want to keep it on its, on its solo rails, right? Um, I guess we should also decide... Can you, because this this was a point of contention last time, can you lose a state? I would argue that you can't unless the other empire takes it, right? Like civil wars or the armies fighting or whatever, like I feel like it's going to be too vague on whether a, a country, like one is actually lost. Like if North Dakota and South Dakota start fighting, does that mean I lose North Dakota? The problem here, I know you like the idea of that. The problem is that the AI is not going to make it very clear whether or not that's the case, right? It'll just be like, then North and South Dakota started fighting. Does them fighting mean the empire fell apart? I don't know. Maybe. The idea that, and also the problem is like, as these get bigger, there's just going to be like weird battles. Like the, the program is not going to understand that like these are all allied and are never going to fight each other, right? Um... You're still fighting for North Dakota. Well, so that was the thing. It did on a tangent. I was saying we don't do that. We stay on one tangent. At some point, we have to pick and choose which of the AI things we're going with. The AI sped said specifically they're fighting. Right. That's what I mean. Are we saying that that means that you lose a state? I feel like that's going to make this just so hard to... Like, if your space pope suddenly starts fighting with these guys, you just lose the moon automatically? Because my, my counter offer is that you can lose a state, but the other empire has to take it. This is way messier than last time. That's that's what I'm saying. We would keep we would sit we would intentionally simplify it, even though it doesn't make a ton of sense. And we would say that even if your empire's fighting internally, that uh, that the the empire stays united unless the other uh, empire state takes it from you. Can lose if it's if if it's explicitly stated. But that's the thing. It does. I, the program is not going to necessarily understand that we're like we have an empire, and like if anything fights, the empire suddenly. Yeah, think of Skyrim. Like Skyrim in the game Skyrim. Like there's a civil war, but it's still an empire of Skyrim, right? It's it's they're still part of the empire. Okay, why don't we say? Why don't we have a rule for like there needs to be a specific criteria for a state to be out of the empire. It has to explicitly, you can only lose allies, not concur, not dominated states. 
Then we would have to track that. Um, multiple references to a civil war. Do, 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 do. What is the best way to do that? If the AI says it detaches itself from the empire. Yeah. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna keep this simple. Um, and if you don't like it, you're welcome to yell rigged. But I'm gonna say that unless the AI explicitly states that one of your, one of your states in your empire, uh, has left the empire, um, then they're in the empire and you just have a civil war. And ideally you deal with the civil war in some, in some fashion, right? If something goes on. But again, like the, the problem here is that the AI is not going to perfectly define what is going on. It's not going to perfectly define whether or not I have North Dakota in my empire. All we know is that Stanley is the biggest city and I destroyed Stanley. So we have to, we have to make some leaps. Otherwise nothing, it will never make any sense. I, I don't know if people have realized this yet, but this doesn't make a lot of sense. You guys took over the moon and you're complaining that North Dakota is maybe at civil war with me and should leave my empire. You guys can steal my states unless the AI explicitly says it. North Dakota's stuck with me. All right, you guys are up next. So for me, I will attempt to deal with this general in some form later, uh, but nothing actually progressed from an empire's perspective. All right, you guys got Mr. Teepees. You've got the moon. Your space pope is still on the moon. What do you want to do next? Remake the NFL. Invade Oklahoma. Invade New Mexico. Invade... <laughs> you can't invade Alaska from space. You can send the space pope to Alaska. Let's assume she has some way of getting back from the moon. Azeni, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. And Lero Mangu, thank you for 10 more Good gifted subs. Both God, super generous. Thank you, guys. So thank you. Florida, all that's in Texas is a bunch of nerds with calculators. All the actual astronauts and ships are in Florida. Oh, yeah? You tell that to the Space Pope. Invade Mars. No, you don't have Mars technology. Here, I'm treating this Crash the moon the into California. It's not a ship. The moon is not a ship. You would have to... Okay, you would have to turn the moon into a giant spaceship. You're gonna... Hold on. No, no. If you do this, you're gonna... The AI is gonna get you so far away from America. Like, it's... You guys are gonna be on one story way the fuck out here, and I'm gonna be down here fighting for Utah. You gotta stick to America. Should be fat no, go, no blowing up Mars. Place there. Oh. Send the space... Po okay. Even if you turn the Let's moon into a spaceship... For the diamonds. Okay, here's what I'll say. You can turn the moon into a spaceship, but then you have to use it on America, okay? And all you would be able to do is just crash the moon into California. That's all you could do, or into a state. Come to I guess you can crash it into Megakota. And an unlimited supply of Californians available to all right, draft. so you aren't... You have to... On your next turn, you guys need to get this shit back to America. You're way off course right now. Um, send the Space Pope to ally with... You can't ally California right now. You can go to Arizona or Alaska. Or Hawaii if you want. My wife left me on a sorghum farm to work in NASA. Please help, Doug. Research moon cheese. I guess. I was about to say it's not realistic, but I guess there's jungles on the moon now in the year 2100, so sure. Um, tax the moon. Like, for extra money, like, you need to be Chattanooga. Oh, wow, these alerts are so delayed. As a reminder, I... The alerts are gonna be really far behind today. I recommend not giving me money. Uh, so, ideas like Summon Cthulhu... Our... Our prompts... Our prompts need to be rooted in the reality of what we currently understand about the world. Cthulhu does not exist. Attack the moon Doug, with missiles. I don't know why you do that. that. Texas has not won the two whole six flags parks. We have 12 flags. <laughs> there you go. Uh, 
Marry the space pope to Dr. Teeps. Not many of these are related to America. Give me one more that's related to America. You guys still have your army. Get the needed amount of points. We can attempt to try and capture the opponent's starting state. Yeah, you can do that at any point, technically. Um, okay, a lot of people want to invade Arkansas for the divorces. All right. Your options. You've got remake the NFL, invade Oklahoma, invade New Mexico, send the space pope to Alaska, turn the moon into a giant spaceship, send the space pope to ally with Arizona, research Important moon question. cheese, attack the moon if with missiles, Nevada, marry the space pope to Dr. Teams, in invade Arkansas. Yeah, but you probably need to... You need to, like, reestablish Vegas, I would say. Or you can reference Vegas, yeah. You can reference Vegas in whatever your next action is. It wouldn't be a special resource automatically, but you could, like, build it up into one or reference it. <clears throat> okay. Looks like you guys almost Doug, we wanted... Have NASA. We have aliens. You cannot beat us. Dr. Teeps is not an alien. He's just a guy on the moon. He's a human man. They're not aliens. They did say they're from another galaxy. Okay, the jungle moon people are not aliens. They're just they're just they're just moon people. Moon men. All right, you almost decided to turn the moon into a giant spaceship, but instead you are going to invade New Mexico. Finally, you're going to be moving westward towards the gold rush. Here's a question. How how the hell do I pivot from you being on the moon with the space pope? <laughs> okay. This hear me out. The space pope relayed the good news back to the Chatlantis headquarters in Texas in North America. <laughs> Maybe, maybe we can stay focused, potentially. Um, overjoyed with the new Chatlantia, moon state. We get Canada and Mexico as they are sunken countries. If you guys decide to explore and claim Hello, the sunken city, Atlantis, countries of New Mexico here. and we have Canada, then sure. The scientists refuse to make rockets until we feed them. No, my sorghum. Overjoyed with the new moon state, the Chatlantian Empire now turns their eyes. If we get New Mexico, on... can we have Walter White as a resource? So, you can either reference Walter White or you can like create. I think you have to create him as a resource, right? You gotta like, you gotta, you gotta build Walter White. So you can find him next turn. Um, the Chatlantian Empire now turns their eyes on New Mexico. Uh, they... The Chatlantian... Arkansas what did I say? The last general. A crapload of Lockheed Martin weaponry. So if you take Arkansas, you can get a research bonus for LM stuff. The Chatlantian general marches their army of 10,000 musketmen into New Mexico and attempts to take over the, uh, government, I'll say. That work? Any complaints with this? We will destroy our enemies with rockets and lasers, just like old Ronald Reagan intended. Okay, most people say think fine. You're just saying call Saul. Like you, you, you already you already said you want to invade New Mexico. Space shuttle to crash into Emperor Doug's palace. I mean, you guys don't you guys don't have New Mexico yet. All right. Well, this is our run that we're starting with. <clears throat> Let's begin. <clears throat> Get the Pope from Shatterstan. All right, you've got the moon. Next up, the Space Pope relayed the good news back to the Chatlantis headquarters in Texas, in North America. Overjoyed with the new moon state, the Chatlantian Empire now turns their eyes onto New Mexico. The Chatlantian general marches their army of 10,000 musketmen into New Mexico and attempts to take over the government. But after much hard fighting, the Chatlandians are driven back. Is that it? 
After learning that the Chatlantis Empire has been defeated, the Space Pope takes her shuttle to Washington, D.C. to help stop the Chatlantean invasion. Wow. Super fast defeat. Your army sucks. You got to do more with your Space Probe. She's the real powerhouse of Chatlantis. Unlike my general, who's an insane war criminal and king now. That was like the shortest battle we've had. That was just, bam, you're done. We want to invade the moon. Moon base. You, d uh, you, you do have satellites. Oh, yeah, yeah, they said you have satellites, but you didn't use them. We should have called Saul. Next, next turn, you guys can call Saul. Okay, so no progress for you guys. Due I am going to make my way towards California. I'm allying with Wyoming. Space is neutral. No nukes in space. All celestial bodies must be used for peaceful purposes, and nothing can truly be claimed by a nation. The answer I you guys picked was invade New Mexico. So I sent the army. First time in one of your streams. I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you, Skyboy. Place musketmen with satellites. You don't send satellites into invade. How are satellites relevant? Satellites give you imagery of the of the Earth. No, you don't have Washington. Oh, did I go back? Okay. Look, the space probe is in Washington. We have missiles. They're weaponized. I would absolutely call this stream a risk. Shoot lasers with missiles. Can satellites shoot missiles? Is that a real thing? Okay, fine. Next turn, you guys can use satellite missiles. I didn't see anybody say that when I was asking for prompts. If you don't like it, you can always yell rigged. Um... How do I form an alliance? The The option I saw was invade New Mexico. Invade by default means use your army. Um, what the hell do I do for Wyoming? What is Wyoming like? Hold on. Wait, wait, like what? How, how do I, how do I, um, how do I convince Wyoming to join the Mega Coden Empire? What, ha what does Wyoming do? Buffalo? Do they have buffalo? No, they just have a picture of a buffalo. That's boring. Um, Can we send our wives to Arkansas to apply for divorces before we get there? If you, if, if you want to spend your turn doing that. This is the least populated state. There's nobody there. America too. Economy is based on tourism? A space pope would give us unparalleled ability to declare crusades and grant divorces. Um, okay. Wyoming's economy is largely based on tourism. That means I have the perfect opener. How the hell do I pivot? How the hell do I pivot this conversation into allying with Wyoming? Thank you, King, said the general. Now stand up and let's talk. Uh, now I intend to rule North Dakota. He said, but back in the, in the, uh, what is my name? Doug Coden government. A new plan was forming. Marry the space pope, then divorce him at the reception. <laughs> the Doug Codens would attempt to bring Wyoming into their empire. Because Chuck their Pace insane war like criminal general. Now living. 
fat play is risk. Yeah, but it's not really risk is the thing. It's similar. But I don't want to like invoke a thing that is like quite different. Because their insane war criminal general was now living in North Dakota. Re I, reminder, we both have an emperor. Dakota. Jesus, can't spell. Oh god, who is that? The MF Phil, thank you so much for the 12 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because their insane war criminal general is now living in North Dakota, the Empire sent their emperor to the king of Wyoming's house. Dear king, the emperor said, if you ally with us and join Senator Armstrong for space the Pope. Doug Houghton Empire, you will have all the residents of North and South Dakota to come be tourists. <laughs> By the rights to do, Doug. Okay. You know, I'm just I'm gonna lose this first line. We don't we don't know what the general's doing. He's doing his own thing. I've, I'm leaving the general. Send He's fired. Space Pope to the moon. All right. Um, I'm up. Boom, 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 boom. Back in the Doug. Wait, how do I? Okay, there we go. Back in the Doug Coden. Doug Coden. Why is this so hard to say? Probably because it's not real, but. Back in the Doug Coden government, a new plan was forming. The Doug Codens would attempt to bring Wyoming into their empire. Because their insane war criminal general was now living in North Dakota, the Empire sent their emperor to the king of Wyoming's house to ask for an alliance. Dear king, the emperor said, if you ally with us and join the Doug Coden empire, then you will have all the residents of North and South Dakota to come be tourists in your fine state. They've got to go for the tourism play, dude. The king of Wyoming was very eager to help he loved money as much as everyone else. He agreed to let the Dakotans invade Wyoming. I didn't want that. After all, it wouldn't matter if he lost the state since North Dakota would soon be under Doug Coden rule anyways. That's not... Okay, it's not a resolution. <coughs> so the Dakotans invaded Wyoming and began building a new city called Dugtown. <laughs> Many Wyomingites were frightened by this and became afraid of losing their home, but they had little choice. Wait, do I get Wyoming? They could either fight or join the Dakotans and lose everything. So they chose to go along with the invasion. Soon the Dakotans began to conquer North Dakota, and the Emperor and his generals decided that it was time to attack the last bastion of resistance. Okay, I think I win. I've got Dugtown. The king conceded. Let's see what happens here, just in case. Maybe there's a twist. South Dakota. No, I own South Dakota. General, where are we going next, S. the Emperor? South Dakota. We're going to make sure there isn't anyone left to resist. This guy's a fucking lunatic. He's just trying to slaughter everybody. I think we call it there. By the foundation of Dugtown and the permission from the king of Wyoming. Wyoming has been added to the Doug Coden Empire. All right, I've got three states, one resource. You guys have two states, two resources. It's tied 2-2 two, two right now. <laughs> no, no. I don't think Dugtown should be a special resource. Why <laughs> rename it? God, I love Dugtown. I'm definitely moving my headquarters there when I get the chance. <laughs> All right, chat, you guys are up. What next? Okay, hold on. You're all saying call Saul. What are you trying to do? Give me more information. We are trying to... I want to be really clear to the AI. Here's the intended goal. Just calling Saul is probably not going to result in you guys somehow getting New Mexico. What do you specifically want to do? Give more information. Call Saul to sue New Mexico. 
Okay, you do- you guys do have the satellites. Um, shoot missiles. As a reminder, the rules are, if your army loses, your army is out of commission for two turns. Unless the AI says otherwise. Um, but, barring that, army's out of commission. So you don't have an army to invade right now. You shooting missiles at- at New Mexico, I think this is fine, but if you- if it works, if you blow them up, it, the AI needs to say, like, you also send soldiers in or something, because otherwise all you've done is kill people, right? Um, but you don't have an invasion force to pair with it right now. Okay, sorry. So call Saul to sue New Mexico? Call Saul and get custody. Call Saul and ask him to legally acquire... New Mexico for you using legal loopholes. We are suing the king of New Mexico. <laughs> I mean, sure. Uh, army, you can't... I guess you could research new army, but your army takes two turns to rebuild, is the, the rules. Uh, Washington Ally... Oh, yeah, that's good. Um, have the space pope... Are we saying, wait, is Washington, D.C. a state? How, how do we deal with Washington, D.C.? Does that count as a state? We could do that. So we would just say, if you guys get Washington, D.C., that would be your, a new state. Okay. To be clear, the rules are that you're supposed to only get contiguous states, but you guys did technically get NASA, fly the space pope up to the moon, and then sent her all the way to Washington, D.C. for some reason. So technically, she's in Washington, D.C. right now. Have Space Pope form an alliance with Washington, D.C. <laughs> uh, why is Delaware marked as Washington, D.C.? D.E. Mm. You're the best streamer, Doug. Thank you, Jedi. Uh, I want Walt. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could... Find Walter White. You don't have people to go in there. You could send the Emperor. Send the Empress to find Walter White and have him make meth for you. Because you don't you don't own New Mexico right now. You'd have to send somebody in. Steal the Declaration of Independence. That's <laughs> I guess that would be a special resource. <laughs> Have the space pope steal the Declaration of Independence. She is in is Washington, D.C., I guess. Chakwaman? Chakwaman. Uh, research mushroom drugs. Destroy Oklahoma. I shoot missiles at Oklahoma, I guess, if you want. Again, it would need to actually say Great that you invade and take Mart. it. CEO of Walmart is expanding his empire to Duke Kota. Oh, yeah. Uh, alliance with... And if you want to offer anything with the Alliance, let me know. Add the moon to the map, you coward. God, these are so delayed. I might just mute text-to-speech today, because these are so delayed that it doesn't really make sense. Oh, and reform the NFL. <laughs> there's like there's like 20 guys Dad, in the chat who really want to reform the NFL. Nobody's been voting for it, but I got you. I love dinosaurs? Also, the space papacy should be called the spapacy. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, I don't know why I've been saying Space Pope instead of Spope. All hail Pope LinkedIn. The Alliance could be offering them trips to the moon. <laughs> that's good. You guys should use that in the future. We need land. I mean, you got the whole moon, but yeah, you don't have a lot of American land right now. Okay, you're choosing to call Saul and ask him to legally acquire Dad, New Mexico you for you using legal loopholes, and we'll see what happens. Who doesn't love dinosaurs? Also, the space papacy should be called the spapacy. After learning of the Chatlantis Empire, the space pope takes her shuttle to Washington, D.C. to help stop the Chatlantian invasion. Atlantis should have access to space soldiers now. Mm, without explicit... This is 100 years in the future, post-apocalyptic. Uh, America without explicit instructions. I don't know if we can do that. Dick, would All you right. do me the honor and divorce me? 
Oh, sorry. I'm tied up all day. After learning the Chatlantis Empire has been defeated, the spaceboat takes her shuttle to Washington, D.C. to help stop the Chatlantian invasion. Um, meanwhile? <laughs> back back in Texas? How do... God, this, we're, we're pivoting so hard off of whatever the AI is doing. Meanwhile, back in Texas, um, Chatlantis... This government decides... You take legal action to bring Wait, did you did you want an alliance? You're just trying to legally acquire them to take legal action to bring New Mexico into their empire. But to do that, they need a lawyer. Not just any lawyer. <laughs> the best lawyer. So the Chatlantis Empress. How do I phrase... I want to phrase this in a way. Use the... Oh yeah, I could do this to change scenes. But to do that, I need a lawyer. Not just any the, the best lawyer. I'm going to I'm gonna try to give it... Because what I want to do is give... Again, is give the AI a clear idea of what you are trying to do. A lawyer who could finally use loopholes and laws to force new the the new mexican government to join uh chatlantis does that work is that like a clear enough indicator of of your, your intentions so the empress of chat uh chatlantis calls saul goodman this work does it need do you think it needs more guidance than that yeah, obviously I'm gonna I'm gonna say Saul Goodman specifically. Yeah. Here, I'll even give some text. Hello, Saul. The Empress. Can you find a way to legally acquire New Mexico for us? <laughs> you don't want text? I feel like this this is. I'm like I'm trying to help you by giving as much. All right, if you don't want this, that's fine. I just want I want to give you as much. I want to make it as clear as possible to the AI what you are trying to do, so that you have the highest likelihood of it resolving in a way that makes any fucking sense at all. I, I can't believe you're this divided. Text or no? Text, no. I don't think it'll matter that much. I guess the only difference is it starts this off in a conversation rather than potentially with something else. Okay, people want text. Apparently the 20% of you who don't want text are just really fucking passionate because you were yelling a lot. All right. <clears throat> Twitch chat hires a lawyer. Let's see if it works. Meanwhile, back in Texas, the Chatlantis government decides to take legal action to bring New Mexico into their empire. But to do that, they need a lawyer. Not just any lawyer, the best lawyer. A lawyer who could finally use loopholes and laws to force the New Mexican government to join Chatlantis. So the Empress of Chatlantis calls Saul Goodman. Hello, Saul, the Empress said. Can you find a way to legally acquire New Mexico for us? Saul smiled and replied, I'll see what I can do. A few months later, Saul comes back to the Empress and says, Your wish is my command. The Empress smiles and replies, Wait, so did he do it? Or he... Thank you, Saul. I trust that your work will prove fruitful. Okay, it's still happening. It most certainly will, Saul assures her. The Empress heads back into her room and starts thinking about all the things her empire will accomplish once they've conquered New Mexico. Meanwhile, Chatlantis has begun construction on a lunar colony. No, 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 no. I'm gonna give it some. I'm gonna give it guidance. So Saul Goodman gets to work. Right. We want to see what happens. We don't. We don't. He hasn't done what he's gonna do yet. So Saul Goodman gets to work. 
First, he studies all the different laws and loopholes pertaining to the U.S. and then uses them all to his advantage. He uses the alien tort statue to sue the governor of New Mexico and threatens him with fines and jail if he doesn't comply with their demands. Okay, that's sounding promising. Next, Saul searches the old records of the U.S. government and finds out that New Mexico has no actual borders. <laughs> It's a state that can be extended and reduced depending on whether or not they want it to be. True. He uses this loophole to his advantage and writes a report to the U.S. government saying that the Chatlantean Empire intends to annex the entire state. Once the U.S. government receives his letter, they decide to send an ambassador and some soldiers to New Mexico. For the Chatlanteans, this is a huge deal. They haven't had contact with another race since they fled across the galaxy. Their Emperor Dr. Teep sends a team of 10,000 of the best musket men to protect their ambassador. Wait, uh, hold on. So Dr. Teeps is your emperor and he sent an army? To who? Is he sent it to New Mexico? I think you're now invading New Mexico. Okay, in New Mexico, when the Chatlantean army arrives, they're welcomed by the governor? But the Chatlantean ambassador has other plans. He locks himself inside the governor's mansion and refuses to leave unless he's given full control of the state. All right, hold on. Saul Goodman is suing the governor who complained to the U.S. government who sent an army and an ambassador from your empire who's locked himself in a room with Mr. Teep sending an army of 10,000 musket men to New Mexico. Okay, let's keep going. Within a week, the Chatlantean Empire has managed to take over the capital city of Albuquerque. The Chatlantean Empire takes note of the situations and decides to stay in New Mexico indefinitely. I don't know how the fuck that worked. You guys got New Mexico. Somehow Saul Goodman got you New Mexico. <laughs> oh my god. Why oh, is this working? Uh, hello? Map? Map? Here, victory music for you guys. What's going on? Why can't I paint? Hello? Why won't it let me do things? Oh, it's not... Wait, what? What is happening? There we go. Map? What is, what is going on? What are you doing? <laughs> Please hold. Call Saul again. I mean, you guys can keep calling Saul to help you with your future problems, I guess. He did a great job. Great tab workout from all the laughing. I love these streams. These are so fun. Doug, I just want to say if it wasn't for you. <sighs> Thank you. All right, you guys have New Mexico. I've still got three states, though. We're tied up on points. Oh no, we're not. You guys are ahead. I forgot you had the Tech moon. <laughs> makes jet planes, so we have fighter jets. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. What the hell do I do now? We're both two states away. Oh no, you're. Oh shit. Stanley you're only. The only you're only two states. In North Dakota. You took the capital. Saul is not a resource. He worked for you. You hired him as a lawyer. You don't. You don't get the resource too. Someone called the Hague. Um. I think you need to hire Saul as a permanent lawyer, right? I mean, you like very clearly called him and hired what him for this job. Dog? I think you need to. You need to bring him on as a retainer, right? Vlad Teeps is a resource. No, he's your emperor. So apparently, he's the emperor. And you have your army back, apparently. Again, even if your army's been defeated recently, if the there AI decides you have your army, you have your army take now. Over all the Stanley towns. Um, so, Saul is in your empire, but he's not, like, hired as a full resource until then. Um, 
I think what is I, Idaho versus Utah? Sure Utah has the Mormons. Dakota, but you sure get a new rule about your general added to the Geneva Handbook. <laughs> uh, I'm going for Utah. I'm going for Utah. You guys are only two spots away from the California gold. I want to get to the same spot because then I can go through Nevada and get Las Vegas, which would be dope. Okay. Um, what do I do? Okay, I don't really have anything to offer is the problem. Does anybody know? Do Mormons like corn? I missed two stream in a row from. But now you're here. Do more. Do Mormons Separate like California corn? from the rest of the U.S. What Mormons can eat? Oh, there's rolls about that. Corn. This health code. Oh my God! There's a full health Glory code. Glory to the papacy. That's the space papacy. When people talk about Mormon health code, known as the word of wisdom, they focus on what we can't have. And forget this code also tells us what we should eat. Hey, Doug, do you still not take showers, you dirty, disgusting boy? Mormons are told to eat fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Mormons are going to love my corn. We need Florida. Do you... Do you need Florida? By the way, you guys still have your space pope in Washington, D.C. Don't forget about that. Also, since it's been a, a couple hours, once, let me just remind everybody what's, what's going on, what the rules are. So, we both have empires. The goal is to get... We might end up only doing 10, depending on time. It's already been two hours. But the goal is to uh, take over the most states from a post-apocalyptic United States. All the states have broken into their own governments. We are slowly creating our own empires. Twitch chat started their empire, the, ch the empire of Chatlantis in Texas, and just recently got New Mexico. They also, because they started with NASA, created the Space Pope, and then space sent the Space Pope to the moon as a delegation where they found people living in jungles uh, and formed an alliance there. So you did get the moon as an extra state. Meanwhile, I started in South Dakota. I had corn as my starting resource. My general invaded North Dakota and, like, slaughtered a bunch of people, became the king. That was fucked up. Uh, and then last turn, we can we also invaded Wyoming. It was not necessary. It was completely unnecessary. We killed a bunch of people in Wyoming, too. I just have... My general's pretty fucked up. Um, each state that you have is worth one point, as well as each special resource that you have. Chatlantis has NASA and the Space Pope right now. All I have is corn. So you guys are up by one point. Tentatively, first of 15 wins. The only other thing to note is California has gold. So if you manage to take California, you immediately get a special resource. So California is basically worth two points. So right now, the gold rush is currently happening towards the west. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say... Can Florida, man? If you get there, sure. So I mean, we're we're generally saying that if you take over a state, you don't get the uh, you don't get the the what is it the fucking you don't get like all their resources right away, but you can you can gain those resources by spending Louisiana a turn on chain it. An army of ninja alligators. After, after sh whatever it's shuttle, after oh shutting. Do I have a... I have an emperor, right? The Doug to, the Coden Emperor now decides... Chats, we need to send a space pope to officiate weddings in Arkansas so there can be even more divorces there. Doug Coden Emperor now decides to bring uh, Utah into the empire. Fortunately for him... Doug Coda has the one thing that every Mormon loves. Corn. If we end up getting Colorado, big, beautiful can corn. We have Senator Armstrong as a resource. Also, I love you, Doug. Also, also, transgender pride. Hell yeah. You'd have to research Senator Armstrong. Like, you'd have to bring him into the fold. Again, you don't just automatically... Because, like, is not every state would US. just have a we shitload of resources. Space. So you have to, like, explicitly get that resource into your empire. Um, rather than just automatically getting a whatever you want, right? 
Uh, at least in terms of being a resource that counts as a point. As someone um, who just got here, I'm very confused. Nah, you'll, you'll probably be fine. Fortunately for him, Dakota is the one thing that every Mormon loves, corn. Big, beautiful corn. So Dakota, so the emperor brings a bushel of his finest corn. Well, I can't believe that happened. I really hope this makes sense in the future. Brings a bushel of his finest corn to the Duke of Utah. Please, Mr. Duke. Take this delicious corn. Just and consider... trying to predict what we are talking about 40 minutes from now. I agree with Doug that cats are invasive species. Close. Try again. Try again. For, I bet in the next hour. You were like uh, two hours off, I think. Too much Doug info? That's fine. Should have I'll remove big, beautiful corn. Also, can we have Prince Edward Island back? Never. Um, That's for the Canadians. That also sunk in the war, or in the whatever it was. I mean, I think adding little flares are fine and fun. I'm happy to do this for you guys, too. I'll remove it here, but I, like, we, adding flair to the prompt is good because we want to give the AI as much focus as possible. All right, I'm up. My turn. Uh, let me get a bitchin' song. Mm, bam. Wait, wrong button. Bam. Okay, I'm going for Utah. After shutting down all the resistance in South Dakota, the South Dakota Emperor now decides to bring Utah into the Empire. Fortunately for him, Dakota has the one thing that every Mormon loves, corn. So the Emperor brings a bushel of his finest corn to the Duke of Utah. Please, Mr. Duke, take this delicious corn and consider joining our fine Emperor. Oh, I meant Empire. Whatever, that's probably... The Duke hesitates, but takes some corn nonetheless. He puts it in a bag and heads back to his palace. Once he arrives home, he begins to cook the corn. While it's cooking, the Duke decides to open the bag and see what kind of corn it is. While it's cooking? When he opens it, he finds a bomb inside. The Duke, <laughs> you fell for it. The Duke grabs the bomb and throws it out of the window, hoping that it lands somewhere far away from his home. But unfortunately for him, the bomb lands right in his backyard. When the Duke tries to run outside, he discovers the bomb has landed right under his feet. He jumps out of the window and makes a mad dash for safety. Before he gets anywhere, the bomb explodes and blows him up. Okay, so I killed the Duke of Utah. Is that... Do I... His body hits the ground and crumbles into a pile of dust. All of this is happening at the same time the Dakota army is invading Utah! The Emperor sees the news on TV and smiles. Okay, does the, does the invasion work? The Duke is dead, right? I have, a, I have an advantage. He knows that because of this, Utah is now part of the Dakota Empire. He sends another messenger to the Duke to inform him of his new status as a citizen of Dugtown. I want a resolution on the army. I want to see that the army... The Duke is furious. What? He's alive? He doesn't want to be a citizen of Dugtown. He wants to be a citizen of the United States. He served his country for years and he refuses to serve the Dugcodans. He tells the messenger that he won't obey the Emperor and that he will continue to fight against the Dugcodans. The Emperor is furious. He orders his soldiers to find the Duke and kill him. This is the first time the Emperor has ever disobeyed any of his orders. What? But he's willing to sacrifice himself to save Utah from the Dugcodans. The Emperor sends a message to his general asking him to capture the Duke alive. What? Okay, I mean, we're invading, but I, I haven't heard whether it was successful. The general obeys and sets off to find the Duke. Meanwhile, a young girl named Annie is locking... No, 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 no. No, we're not talking about Annie. Continue the war. We have to know whether the invasion succeeds or fails. While the Emperor is busy trying to save Utah, why is he saving? The general goes to the Duke's house and breaks down the door. The general's there. This guy's a psycho. He'll kill him. He rushes inside and starts searching for the Duke. Meanwhile, while the Duke is hiding in a closet, waiting for the general to leave, as soon as the general leaves, the Duke runs out of the house and makes a break for it. At that exact moment, a squad of Doug Coden soldiers burst through the front door. The Duke is caught off guard and thrown to the floor. Surrender to me, shouts one of the soldiers. The Duke is terrified, but he still refuses to surrender. He thinks about fleeing to Canada. No, Canada's underwater. But he also realizes that this is his only chance of survival is to fight until he dies. He pulls out a gun and aims it at the soldier. The soldier points his own gun at the Duke and fires. Suddenly, a mysterious figure appears in front of the soldier who tells them that Dakota won the... Shoot him, screams the figure. Kill him! Who are you, asks the soldier. My name is Alex, answers the figure, and I'm here to save you. Wait, save the Duke? Can I? I'm going to put some rails on this, I think. Save me? Yes, you can be saved. Follow me. 
The soldiers look at each other in confusion. I don't know who this man is, but they trust him anyways. Maybe this is Annie. <laughs> so they th so they follow him out of the house and into the yard. Alex takes them to a barn where he says he'll be staying. Inside, the soldiers discover a girl named Mary who looks exactly like Alex. All right, hold on. The Dakotan army continues their invasion. Now that Utah has joined the Empire, there's really no one left to stop them. So the Emperor and General march onto the capital, Washington, D.C. When they arrive, the Governor of Washington, D. <laughs> okay, did I win? It said multiple times that Utah has joined. Who the fuck is Alex? Okay, we're, we're in agreement here, right? But we can agree. I do not have Alex or Mary or Annie. Okay, we're in agreement. I don't know what the fuck just happened. I don't know who Alex is. I don't know what Washington D is, but I do have Utah in the Empire. What about the Duke? I guess I lost the Duke. So to be clear, I do not have the Duke. I do not have the Duke of Utah. Maybe there were two Dukes? Because I killed one of the Dukes. One of, there is a, there's a Utah Duke in hiding somewhere. And my Emperor is in Washington, D. So I have to go get him back if I want my Emperor. <laughs> okay. The, the score is now five to five. This is a weird Dragon Ball episode that I will not like. You guys are up next. As a reminder, you have Louisiana, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Colorado, Arizona, which you can all invade. You could go for Utah. They are dukeless right now. Is literally the last name of Dracula? Yeah, I think your guys' emperor is Dracula, to be clear. It is Dr. Tepish. Guys, we should drop the moon on Mega Coater and take out all his resources in one fell swoop. <laughs> you can only okay, you guys. If you do turn the moon into a spaceship, you can only you can only send it into one state. Lara Mango, thank you for the ten gifted subs. That is a shitload today. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, dude. Okay, uh, invade Utah. Wait, do you guys have your army? You do because Dracula right. from the moon the sent a moon army. You, you have do? your army. Um, invade Arizona. Destroy Utah. Let us research the history of the original Shatistan. Then we can learn how to train go boss warriors, make horse cannons, and summon the ancient god emperor and great warrior Francis. No, that knowledge has been lost. Go to California for Rosa. Well, you can only go contiguous. You'd have to go to Arizona. Um... There we go. The one guy. Reform the NFL. I got you. Don't worry. One of these one of these days, That's you're going to get it, man. Said. You guys are going to get that NFL. Uh, hire Walter. Find and hire Walter White to cook meth for the Empire. <laughs> you could also uh, hire Saul Goodman. I'll also, if you guys want to hire Saul Goodman, I'll let you have him do something in your empire if you want him to do something else. Is Duke Cote I wouldn't say... No. Just because I've slaughtered... I've invaded all of the states and have earned no resources. Um, or, yeah, hire Saul to take Arizona by legal loopholes. That worked last time. Use satellites 
to attack Arizona. Jesus, take the wheel. Appreciate it, Laro. I think that's the one from a long time ago, but... Um, see if Annie is okay. <laughs> yeah, go find Annie, <laughs> Alex, and Mary I have tears in, in my Utah. eyes because I laugh that much. Thank you, Doug. Always a pleasure to watch your content. Thanks, Laris. Uh, those are good. These are good options. Blackmail Elon Musk. This is 100 years in the future. I think Elon's dead. You'd have to build a new Elon. All right. Your options. Invade Utah. Invade Arizona. Attack Utah with satellite missiles. Reform the NFL. Reforming the NFL is getting a little bit of love. You're slowly working this one up. One day you guys are going to get it. Find and hire Walter White to cook meth for the Empire. Hire Saul Goodman as a full-time employee. Hire Saul to take Arizona by legal loopholes. So you're going for the Saul Goodman play again. Interesting. I mean, I think there was like a reasonable chance that you guys didn't get Saul Goodman. Like, it almost didn't work. I would like to recreate the Soviet Union for 500. All right, you guys are hiring Saul. You're going to try to take Arizona legally. Uh, I'm gonna use the bathroom. Please enjoy this map. Jesus, take the wheel. Zenny, did I miss that? I can't remember if I missed that, but thank you very much for the 10 gift of subs. Appreciate it very much. That's super generous. Map Pog. As a former you US can, you can plan your route. I commend Doug with assistance from Twitch chat for attempting to take down the now tyrannical United States of America. Godspeed, my friends. Thanks, Frankie D. Can we crash a space shuttle into South Dakota? Can we invade the sun? Nuke Florida. Doug, you need a new chair. It squeaks. Something something. Divorce. That's what she said. Here's some money. There's no music. That's awkward. Please hold. Time check for chat, it is 5.33 p.m. EST. Donation are behind. This is a test of the national donation TTS system. Please disregard. This is only a test. Sent at 5.33 p.m. EST. P.S. I ask that you give this back as I am not giving you money. Hello Douglas Douglas, this is delayed but we need to invade the sun for the sun jungles. Missed opportunity to research Death Star technology and turn the moon into a mega weapon, guys. Really drop the ball. Who, why are you saying sun jingles? Who are you talking about? What on earth are you talking about? Invade the sun.
Don't laugh. It's a great idea. We need Florida men to make our army unstoppable. If you guys would like to send your space pope into the sun <laughs> to try to invade, you are more than welcome. I think that will be helpful for me. All right, hold on, I'm gonna turn down volume so I can play the songs. Uh, how's the volume for this? I, former US President Franklin D. Roosevelt, have decided to switch teams. Oh, I come on, Frankie. And I have never been happier. Take the sun for the space pope. If you think that you can, war crimes as you a can fly, can be a unique tactical advantage. <laughs> war crimes and corn for Doug Coda. The classic South Dakota exports. Um, if you guys think the AI would would take the prompt of flying into the sun and let her live, the power of wielding tornadoes. You can research tornadoes if you if you get Oklahoma. We will go at nighttime. <laughs> guys, I think the next thing we need to do is invade Louisiana and establish. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just going, I'm just moving from South Dakota to California. You guys have taken the moon and you're going to try to invade the sun. Um, whose turn is it? I'm blanking. God, this is so fun. I love this stupid ass fucking challenge, or this stupid stream. This is great. Um, it's your turn. What happened last? Oh, yeah, yeah, you, you did Saul Goodman. Right, right, right. You're going to hire Saul Goodman, I mean. All right, cool. Let us advance. Um. As a former U.S. president, I'd like to endorse Kit Lattice to become the new leaders of the free world. Oh, come on. Just because I do a few war crimes here and there with my king generals doesn't mean I'm not a free country. That's why it's really easy to marry and divorce in Nevada. Um. Your space pope is still in Washington, D.C., but we can agree that in this new future, America, it's just called Washington, D. We'll correct that for the future. I don't okay. even know how far behind alerts are. This message was sent at 5.44 p.m. ET 1609, for example. I'm guessing it will show in 1685. Am I close? <laughs> okay, so they are like 40 minutes behind. Is um, a more criminal general a resource? There are still people giving money just just don't give me money don't put put money into a different joke hole today just find it find another joke hole put it in that hole uh all right so the remipsum dollar sit armet cone dictator adipus elite said a use mctemper incident at labore et dolore magnelica higher salt take arizona venium queen ostrude exercitation alamco laboris nisi at aliquidex ca commodi consequat Atlantis decides to hire him again. And force the governor governor to join the Chatlantis Empire. I, I'm writing the I write the prompts a little bit repetitive and simply on purpose to to again to give the AI as many clues as we can of like we just this is what we want. This is what we want. It. This is what we want. Nothing more. His contacts can fix us up with whatever the AI <laughs> it's, decides. It's a literally you just so the Empire calls Saul. Well, at this point you have precedent. Saul Goodman said blah blah blah. blah. They want to enforce the government. Do you want to have a conversation with him? Money. Yeah, he almost got hired to secede from the U.S. Yeah, that's true. Um, like we could have like a cool opening line of like, "I spent money because I'm confused." Is this so, a game? No, you know this is not a pay-to-win game. You don't have to pay for microtransactions. You just vote. You just vote and yell rigged when you don't like that I'm I win something. So Emperor, what? So Emperor Doctor, what's his name again? Teeps. Emperor Dr. Uh, Tepish, who's also Dracula and from the moon. So Emperor Dr. Tepish calls up 
Saul, call Saul again. Hello, Saul. It's me, Dr. Teps. Tepish. Chattistan Maybe needs Saul you could again. Go back in time this time, and we Dipsel want New Mexico Arizona. Before America. And again, this is not like really necessary, but I just want to keep reiterating the AI. Uh, does this work? You got, oh, sorry, Chatlantis. <laughs> People are like furious. What? That is not our name. Unbelievable that you would forget these two similar made up words. Um, cool. This work as an intro. I'm basically just saying the same What's thing. What's so hard to understand about this, Doug? Oh, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. You can even use the New Mexican border loophole. <laughs> I'm worried if I even mention New Mexico here that it's going to get focused on New Mexico. <laughs> well... <clears throat> Let's see what happens. Jesus, take the wheel. Arizona is the sun. Oh, man, it's Katie. Thank you for the five good subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, there are tons of subs and uh, and bits and donations and things today. I appreciate it all very much. Thank you, guys. Sorry I have uh, missed all of it and that it's like an hour behind. With that being said, you guys are up. Okay, here we go. Saul Goodman did such an incredible job at legally acquiring the state of New Mexico that Chatlantis decides to hire him again. This time, they want Saul to legally acquire the state of Arizona and force the governor to join Chatlantis Empire. So Emperor Dr. Tepish calls Saul again. Hello, Saul. It's me, Dr. Tepish. Chatlantis needs you again. This time, we want Arizona. You can even use that New Mexican border loophole. Saul smiles and replies, Of course, Dr. Em Emperor Dr. Tepish. Hold on. Of course, em wait, Emperor Doc, can I just call him Dr. Tepish? Of course, Emperor Dr. Tepish, I'll see what I can do. A month later, Saul returns to the Empress and says, your wish is my, this already happened. He says, your wish is my command. The Empress smiles and replies, thank you, Saul, I'll sh I'm sure you'll make us proud. Once the Empress hangs up the phone, she decides to call her son-in-law, the Emperor of Chalantis. <laughs> wait, so your Empress is Dr. Tepish's mom? My dear husband, the Empress begins, I have great news. The Emperor of Chatlantis listens intently. What is it? We've successfully annexed the state of New Mexico, and now we want to expand further. So I think... Wait. So your Empress and Dr. Tepish are married. Can you please give me permission to conquer the state of Arizona? He thinks for a moment and then replies, Yes, my wife. I agree. We should take this opportunity to expand our territory. Let's take this chance to gain more citizens and increase our power. Wonderful, the Empress replies. And since we're expanding, we might as well try to take the whole country. How does that sound? The Emperor looks her in the eye. The, they're on the phone. Looks her in the eyes and replies, My dear wife, I love you, but why are you asking such a ridiculous question? The United States is too big to conquer. So you guys don't have dreams for the whole country like I do. Why don't we just take California? <laughs> because we can do better than that. Why not go back to the drawing board and come up with a better plan to take the whole country? All right, all right. This is Dr. Tepish, right? I'm sorry, what was I thinking? She kisses him on, him on, she kisses him on the cheek and says, you weren't thinking. That's the problem with you. Meanwhile, in the United States, it's now 2123. No, 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 no. So Saul Goodman... <laughs> Begins his work. Begins his work to acquire Arizona. He uses the same loophole he used last time, but this time he tries to get the state to join the Chatlantis Empire legally. So he researches every single law in the entire book. What book? And finds out that Arizona is actually part of a bigger state called California. No! You remember, you can get up to two states per turn. If they join Chatlantis, they can become a new state within the Empire. And since Arizona is already part of California, it'll be much easier to convince them to join the Empire. When Saul meets with the governor of Arizona, he shows them the report that he wrote to the U.S. 
government. He explains that the Chatlantian Emperor has asked for them to join the Empire and that they can become a new state within the Empire. Saul brings up the idea of becoming a new state as a way to keep their independence but still be safe from outside threats. That doesn't make any sense at all. Okay. He also reminds the governor of Chatlantis's mil... Oh, he also reminds the governor of the Chatlantis's military might and how powerful they can be. Once the Chatlantis Empire takes over Arizona, they begin to build a second moon colony. All right, no, no, no. So you guys got Arizona? Did they agree? Does that count? We didn't get a reply from the governor, though. Then, can I do like, then the governor gives his reply? I'm, I'm leaning towards giving this to you guys. Wait, hold on. Are we saying Arizona is also California? Because if that's true, we need you to explicitly get California. I guess it says... Is there any indication? I like, I want to give this to you guys, but there's no response from the governor at all. Arizona is part of, of... Wait, is Arizona part of California? Or is it the same state? So Arizona is part of... Cal oh, so it wouldn't get... It would not give you California. Okay. Ari getting Arizona is still its own state. It would just be within the broader California state. You wouldn't get both. Right? I know it's a part of California, but if you get a part of California, you don't have California, right? It's not rigged. Okay, I'm gonna say, unless we hear otherwise, you guys get Arizona, but I'm gonna delete this and continue from here until we get an explicit answer from the governor or some sort of resolution. Is that fair? We'll give it like five or ten, five or ten generations. Unless you explicitly get denied by the governor, you get Arizona. All right, so, so right now, Saul Goodman has made the case to the governor. Depending on his response, depending on his response, you guys get Arizona. And we're backing it up just a bit to make sure we get an explicit answer from him. Here we go. During the meeting, the Chatlantian Emperor comes along and gives a speech about their past history and how they used to rule the stars before they fell to Earth. After the speech, the Chatlantian Emperor offers the governor an ultimatum. Either they join the Empire, or they die. The governor doesn't want to risk his life, so he agrees to join the Empire. All right, your fucking lunatic emperor came in and threatened them. You guys have Arizona. After the governor leaves, the Chatlantian emperor asks Saul if he can use the same tactic to persuade California to join. The tactic was just threatening them. That's not a tactic. Damn, dude, Saul's working overtime for you guys. He's gotten two states. He might even get California next turn. All right. Chatlantis gets Arizona. Oh, we're both so close to California. I've had to get so many more states. Okay, I've got to get Nevada and then hopefully California in one. Keep going. No, I mean, this is clearly it's resolved here, right? Like, this would be you guys. This would be you guys doing your next turn, right? This is like another turn. Why would you get to keep going? You said five to ten, not two. You said five. All right, you guys are you guys are saying it should continue. I will give you five more generations on this story. Five more generations by the AI. If you also get California in those five generations. Fine. Then it's just like a mega turn. 
But if in the next five generations you somehow lose Arizona, that counts too. Here we go. This is number one. Saul laughs and replies, Of course, Emperor Dr. Tepish. Do you want to be a new state within the Empire, or do you want to join it? The Emperor replies, I want to join it. Wait, what? Of California? I want to join the Empire and become one of its greatest states. Saul smiles and nods his head. I'll see what I can do. Over the next year, Saul Goodman meets with the governor of California and talks about the benefits of joining the Empire. Okay, you've got three more generations to get California. This is three. He mentions how powerful they could become and how much safer they'd be. During the meeting, Saul shows the governor lots of photos of the Empire's past victories. He also makes the governor watch all the videos of the Chatlantis conquest of the moon. Okay, number four. By the end of the meeting, the governor agrees to join the Empire. Fuck! You got California! And in the year 2032, President David Kincaid is giving his State of the Union address when he suddenly drops dead. Okay, this is canon too. David Kincaid is dead. <laughs> Wait, if you get California, you get the gold. Fuck, dude! I gotta kill Saul Goodman. That's my next turn. All right, you get California and the gold. You just went up to five states and three resource points. You're at eight right now. I'm only at five. I need to kill Saul Goodman, but he's not even he's not even a, a resource that you guys have. It's not even like I, I like I get a point from that. I think I literally am gonna kill Saul though, because the AI Okay, I have to kill Saul Goodman, and here's my thinking. It won't get me a point because you guys don't actually have him as a special resource point, but he's on a fucking roll. He's gotten you three states in two turns. I'm worried that if I don't kill him, he'll find a legal way to steal Utah from me. So I have to take a turn shutting down Saul Goodman. I can cross the border into New Mexico with my army. Technically, we share a border. All right, Saul, you motherfucker. Let's dance. Okay, but my emperor is still in Washington, D. My army is in Utah. That works. Just hire him yourself. Wait. That's really smart. Because that's the whole thing. You guys never took a turn to hire Saul Goodman full-time. You've just been contracting him. That means he's still contractable, and I could hire him to take Nevada for me. Okay, I'm going to hire Saul. I'm going for Nevada. Okay, my emperor is currently in Washington, D. I'm going to have him call Saul from there, I guess. According to plan. Next step, let's get Space Pope on a horn to celebrate. So the Emperor calls. Offer them booze and condoms, the repressed teens will take over the state. <clears throat> what up, Mormons bigot?
We'll give you corn. <clears throat> we need you need Colorado. to make a cannon. We can use the Colorado River to get to California. Saul, yeah, he needs to have worked for you. Saul Goodman is fresh. Um, recently worked for the Empire of uh, Chatlantis. But he hopes that Saul will now work for him. Fair? Don't fall for the corn, Saul. <laughs> How do you have his number? How did you have his number? All right, look. Every time you guys complain about tiny little realism things, I'm going to go to the map and I'm going to zoom California. up here to the fucking Resurrect moon, which is where your army came from. Is our fairy god Empress. Now that the Emperor of Dakota is safely within Washington, D, he decides to make a legal play for Nevada. After all, it would be a waste to send the army into such a deserted state, so the Emperor calls up the best lawyer he knows, Saul Goodman, to try to legally acquire Nevada into his empire. Saul Goodman recently worked for the Empire of Chatlantis, but he hopes that Saul will now work for him. What up, Big Saul? I have a proposal for you. We'll give you corn, and in return, you'll find us a way to legally acquire the state of Nevada. Saul Goodman is very impressed. He loves free food as much as anybody, so he agrees to help. True. But before he can begin working on the case, he needs to go to the Capitol. Why? Saul, you didn't do that for the other guys. He packs up his belongings and takes a taxi to the Capitol. But while he's riding in his taxi, he suddenly remembers something important. Hey, driver, do you know where the White House is? Yeah, dude, it's right over there. Thanks for the info. I'll be sure to tip you well. Once Saul gets to the White House, he walks in and meets with the President. What the fuck does this have to do with getting me Nevada? Hello, President, says Saul. I'm here to meet with the President. Oh yeah? What's up? Well, I represent the Emperor of Dakota, and I'm here to discuss the acquisition of your state. Huh? So am I taking Washington, D.C.? D. Uh, President Lincoln is shocked. <laughs> He's never heard of Dakota, and he certainly didn't know that the Emperor wanted to buy his state. You mean Dugtown, that place in Wyoming? <laughs> No, you fucking idiot, Lincoln! No, I want Nevada! That's right. Wait, why would I want to sell my state to you? Because Dugtown has more corn than anything else. True, answers Saul, and the Emperor desperately needs corn to feed his people. Huh? Why would I give him the corn then? I mean, I'll take Washington D. We agreed that would be a state. Why does the Emperor need corn? asks the President. He plans to create a huge corn farm in Wyoming, and then bring his people to the U.S. and start a corn farm of his own. That sounds like a good idea, says the president. Let me call you back. I think I might be able to help you. Saul is very happy to hear this. He hopes that the president will agree to the deal so he can get back to work. But before the president hangs up, he says something unexpected. By the way, you have some nice shoes. Wait, the president says that? <laughs> Saul doesn't know what to say. He's never seen the president wearing shoes before. <laughs> He wonders whether he should thank him for complimenting his shoes, or maybe he should tell him to go to hell. He decides to do neither. Instead, he just sits there patiently and waits for the phone to ring. All right, please, President Lincoln, sell me Washington, D. Or is, pre is President Lincoln the president of Nevada? A few, oh, oh, here we go. A few hours later, the president calls back. Sorry to bother you again, says the president, but I've talked to a lot of lawyers, and none of them know how to legally acquire a state. Except for Saul. Come on, you can do it, Saul. You can do it. It seems like you're the only person that can help us. That's great news, exclaims Saul. What? No, it isn't. I'll get started right away. But as soon as Saul hangs up the phone, he notices that someone is standing right behind him. Hello, Saul, says the man. Are you here to see the president? No, replies Saul. I'm just here to look around. That's weird. I thought the president was meeting with you today. I'm sorry, sir, explains Saul, but I came to talk to the governor of California. Is that, the, is that guy over there the governor? Yep, that's him, says the man. <laughs> Wait, maybe I'm going to get California right now. Saul follows the man towards the governor. Suddenly, he hears a voice from behind him. Hey, who's that guy? Saul turns around and sees another man approaching him. Can you just get me Nevada? 
This man is tall and thin. He wears a black suit and a white mustache. Who are you, says Saul. My name is Lincoln, answers the man, and I'm the President of the United States. Okay, we're back with Lincoln. Wow, replies Saul. I feel honored. Lincoln smiles. Give Saul a handshake. Nice to meet you, says Saul. I'm Saul Goodman. I'm here to discuss the acquisition of California. Wait, maybe I'm going to get California back. I don't remember inviting you to my office, says Lincoln. Aren't they outside? Saul laughs. He knows he shouldn't laugh in front of the president, but he can't help himself. He can't believe that the president would accuse him of breaking into his office without even knowing him. All right, hold on, hold on. Is President Lincoln the president of Nevada? Or are we still in Washington, D? We're not, I'm not actually clear on this. What state would I even get? Cali is not USA. I guess it does say United States. It would be Washington, D, because it says United States, right? But we agree that's a state. Okay, so to be clear, I think Saul Goodman is arguing with the president of Washington, D.C. about acquiring California legally, I think. Let's continue. Calm down, Saul, says Lincoln. I invited you here. Come on in. Saul enters the room. There's a desk in the middle and a chair next to it. They begin talking about acquiring the state. I'm saying the state. I'm leaving it open-ended. I don't know how Lincoln would even... It's not leading the answer. Look, if I if I do this, this is to get the AI focused on the original premise. The original premise was Saul legally acquiring a state. And they're talking about it. I didn't say he gets it. Yeah, Lincoln, Lincoln can't give me California. Lincoln cannot give me California, to be clear. He can only give me Washington, D.C. He has to give me Washington, D. He has to give me his own state. That's definitely, that's definitely true. You guys have California now. They begin talking about legally acquiring the state. Saul is nervous because he hasn't done any research on the matter yet, so he decides to ask the president, Lincoln, for some advice. How do you legally acquire a state? Okay, we're going to go five more generations. Number one. I'm not quite sure, admits Lincoln. I've never had to deal with a situation like that before, but I guess we could try to annex Utah. No, I already have Utah. Ah, replies Saul. This is number two. I see. Well, what happens if you annex Utah? If we annex Utah, we would gain control over its population, explains Lincoln. We would be allowed to tax them and use their resources to build an empire. Number three. Sounds good, said Saul. What about Nevada? Yes, Nevada is different, explains Lincoln. It's a desert state and has a lot of gold mines. If we annex Nevada, it would become our main source of gold. Do it, Saul. Do it. This is four. Sounds good. Do you know any lawyers who specialize in acquiring states? Actually, I know a guy, says Lincoln. His name is Saul Goodman. Saul is surprised. Saul, you have one fucking turn. Get me Nevada. He's never met a president before, and he couldn't imagine that the president of the United States actually knew his name. Really? Why do you know my name? I don't know your name, replies Lincoln. What a fucking waste. I was so close like four times. God damn it. All right, Saul sucks ass. He's over in Washington, D. right now with President Lincoln. You guys are up. Ugh. Can you hire him? Wait. <laughs> I was going to say you can't hire him because he left for Washington, D.C., but your space pope is still there. She can hire him. All right, you guys are up. What do you want to do? Assassinate. I don't think people are going to want to do that. S assassinate Saul with the Space Pope. Why do you want to kill Saul? Oh, to prevent him? Reform the NFL. Send the Space Pope into the sun <laughs> to try to colonize it. Marry the space pope to Saul Goodman. To be clear, that wouldn't get you anything. Wait, no. If she marries Saul Goodman, he actually full-on joins your empire. You would actually get Saul Goodman as a resource. 
Because, like, then he's married in. He's in the Empire. Oh, shit. That's actually kind of smart. <laughs> Marry the space post President Lincoln. Have <laughs> Saul sue my empire for war crimes. I don't know what that achieves because I'm my own empire and I'm not going to listen to anything Saul says. Make a space Saul. As a former U.S. president, I beg the Atlantis to take Florida off our hands. Please. Turn moon into spaceship to colonize the sun. Again, spaceship moon can only be used to suicide into another state. You can't clone Saul. We're assuming we don't have that technology. Has to be something that's moder like moderately realistic. Can we get Zed Cruz dog as a resource? Also, this seems pretty great. God bless. Okay, you guys do have California. So now you can find and appoint Rosa the Sea Otter as the new Empress. Because Monterey Bay is in California. Research human cloning. I feel like that's a bit much. <clears throat> and again, you would try to do that. It's not that guaranteed that it would work at all. Um, how many do you have? You have nine. Looks like I got most of them. All right, let's try these. Okay, so you're choosing between assassinating Saul Goodman with the Space Pope, reforming the NFL, send the Space Pope into the sun to try to colonize it, marry the Space Pope to Saul Goodman. I'm not going to do that for the sake of keeping it a little bit simpler. I think everybody knows when you say Mormons that you mean... As an ex-Mormon, I can tell you their favorite thing to eat is the blood of firstborn virgins. It is why they have many wives and don't want people to have sex until Maui. I have never been able to break my addiction to blood. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. Let me be clear. I love Mormons. Every Mormon I've met has been like one of the most wonderful people I've ever met. Um, but that didn't stop my general from slaughtering them, all right? Don't blame me. I've been trying to fire that guy since the beginning of this game. And he just keeps war criming people. All right, you are deciding to marry the Space Pope to Saul Goodman. If he agrees and they get married, you do gain him as a permanent, valuable resource. All right, all right, all right. Washington right. D.E.'s nuts. <sighs> You're fired. Get the hell out of here. Okay, I gotta I gotta undo this because it's gonna Make derail sure us too much. Washington, your um, Got to keep it clean. But let's get one last F for President David Kincaid. Is that a person? For anyone wondering about the delay? It is three fifteen PST as I am writing this message. He's a a musician who co-founded the Seattle band The Allies. Why is he the president? In 2032. Wait, 2032 is in the past. <laughs> Why? Who the fuck is David Kincaid? Okay. Reminder, it's the year 2100 right now. America shattered. It's post-apocalyptic. Hey, except you still NASA. Can we get NASA. a recap of what happened this stream? I just got here. Also, say hi to Park so if he's around. I mean, now that you've seen that David Kincaid is dead, you're all caught up. <clears throat> uh, sure, I can do a quick uh, quick recap, I guess, because it has been three hours. Uh, fast recap is... So we're fighting to get as many states as possible. Each state is worth a point. I started in South Dakota. I first invaded North Dakota and took them over. I took over the town of Stanley. I then... I went. I don't remember what I did to Wyoming. Somehow we formed a new town called Dugtown. I think I threatened the governor or something. And then more recently, I got Utah. I don't, how did I get Utah? I haven't earned any special resources other than my starting one, which is corn. You guys started in Texas. You got NASA. You made a space pope. You flew the space pope to the moon and met the people there and uh, got them to agree to join the empire. Then they sent an army down and worked with Saul Goodman to take New Mexico legally because of a loophole where the borders can move. 
Then last turn, Saul Goodman got you Arizona because you convinced the governor to join and the governor of California, which also got their precious gold resource. So that earned you two points. You also have NASA and Space Pope as your resources. And we swap back and forth, doing turns. The rules again. So on your turn, you can invade a country with a, a, a state with your army. You can form an alliance. You can research technology or do whatever the fuck you want. You continue until the outcome resolves in some way. Sure. I'll, yeah, fine. I'll add the gold up here. It's visualized as well, but yeah, that, that, that makes sense. So you guys, your, court, your score right now is eight. You have five states, three resources. I'm at five right now. That's currently a record in terms of points. Is getting three in one turn, which is wild. Uh, and then last turn, I tried to hire Saul Goodman, and he like hung out with President Lincoln in his shoes for like 30 minutes. Uh, we we all started with an army. You got to research new technology. If you are, we haven't really used armies that much. Uh, you can only interact with contiguous states. There's a maximum of two states gained per turn. If weird ship happens, you build off of it. Theoretically, we're doing first to 15 points, depending on timing. Um, okay. But uh, let's get back into it. Chats, we are <laughs> thinking too small. We must make the moon into a chat death star. Now that California and its substate. Oh, you still have your emperor so right now space and Dracula as is Dracula. Now we only need Florida man to complete the trifle. He's not a special resource. He's just your emperor. But you do have, you do have Dracula, as a reminder. The government realizes it's just how incredibly the valuable Saul Goodman US has been. Utah, Wyoming, and the Dakotas have a combined population of about five million people. Texas and New Mexico alone have a combined population of 32 million people. In terms of people, this is very lopsided. Florida should be worth two resources since it is Walt Disney World and Universal Studios Orlando. Plus we can make it the pride capital of the world. You guys are both, it's a good thing. It's a good thing that Saul Goodman is currently in Washington, D. Because that's where your space pope is. We can take Cuba since it is a U.S. colony. Cuba is not a U.S. colony. So the space pope of Chatlandos meets up with Saul Goodman in Washington to propose to him in marriage. How do I... You guys want to say something? Since we have Texas, can we just succeed and claim victory? What do I say? What do you guys want to say? What do you what do you want your space pope to say? What, what's your pitch? What's your pitch? Why marry us? Yeah, yeah, to ask for his hand in marriage. Can we call the Queen of England for help next? Offer gold. Do you want to offer something or just propose? Your hot stuff. And your... If we go at night, it will be safe. We've got the moon. We've got gold. And most importantly, we have me. Greetings from the Louisiana. Space. I oh. heard you were trying to establish Popeye's locations. How's that? That work with you guys? Your hot stuff and your work for the Empire has been invaluable. We got the moon, we got gold. Most importantly, we have me, the space pope. Will you marry me, Saul Goodman? Chat. I'm very disappointed. We couldn't have used Saul Goodman to sue the moon into letting us control the tides of the earth and threaten to sink California if <laughs> it didn't surrender. We literally own the moon. What is this about sticking my money in your joke hole? <clears throat> That's what you just did. Everybody knows that the Doug Doug stream is like if you walked down the sidewalk one day and you saw a hole in the ground and it was yelling out jokes about video games, 
And then when you subscribe, you take a $5 bill and you cram the bill into the joke hole. And I'm saying that normally the joke hole, when you cram money into it, will yell something back. But today it can't because I keep having to pause the alerts. <clears throat> um... Okay. Your guys are up. Now that California and its sub-state Arizona have joined Chatlantis, the government realizes just how incredibly valuable Saul Goodman has been. And it would be an incredible advantage to have Saul join the Empire full-time. Plus, he's hot. And so the space pope of Chatlantis meets up with Saul Goodman in Washington, D, to ask for his hand in marriage. Saul Goodman! says the space pope. You're hot stuff, and your work for the Empire has been invaluable. We've got the moon, we've got gold, and most importantly, we have me, the space pope. Will you marry me, Saul Goodman? Saul smiles and replies, I'm afraid I can't do that, my love. I still have unfinished business in New Mexico, and I can't abandon it just yet. But what about me, Saul Goodman? Don't I mean anything to you, she asks. Saul looks into her eyes and replies, No, you don't. You're a space princess. An alien princess at that. Wow, Saul's kind of a dick. And there's nothing hotter than an alien princess. Wait, what? She smiles and replies, <laughs> I guess you're right. I am pretty hot. So Saul Goodman gets to work. He files lawsuits against the U.S. government, citing their own laws to his advantage. Sorry, chat. Saul's a free agent. He's a free man. You can't pin him down. Ooh, easy dub for me. Let's go. All right, that failed for you guys. My question is, do I go for a completely different strategy or do I tell Saul Goodman to try to legally acquire Nevada again? Because he was pretty close. I made so much progress on it that maybe it's worth continuing that thread, but I'm worried Saul Goodman and President Lincoln are just going to start dating, and then I'm going to be stuck without Nevada. Fuck. What do I do? Mm. No, that clearly resolved. He said, I'm not marrying you, and then he moved on. The idea is not that you have to go a certain distance. It's that we're trying to go until there's a resolution. It is insane if you're going to try to argue to me that this clearly failed. Um, I guess I offer corn to Nevada. Is my, is my, um, is my army alive? Have I lost any wars? I don't think I have. Kill Saul for daring to reject us. No, dude, if, if it clearly resolves the thing... We end. We don't have to, like, let it go on super long. The same rule will apply to me. If it clearly states that something failed, it fails. Um, unless the program, like, explicitly says, like, oh, but then this happened. Like, the program moved on. It moved on to a different story, to a different thing. He starts filing lawsuits against the fucking government. Um, I guess I will offer corn to Nevada. Why do I even need Nevada, though? I guess I could cut you guys off, then. I could go up here and stop your advance north. Then I could take Washington. Yeah, or get a new resource, because corn kind of sucks. You know what? Okay, corn sucks. I'm going to get Nevada this turn and then work for Las Vegas as a special resource next turn. That would be sweet. Because once I have Las Vegas, everybody's going to want to join the Empire. Ooh, and... I'll tell Nevada, since they're basically a desert, they join my empire, they get a steady, steady supply of food. It's clearly still going. File it one more time. You get one more generation. One more. I will prove to you this has nothing to do with the, the Space Pope. He uses the Alien Tort Statue to sue the U.S. government and demand they pay him $10 billion for violating the Alien Tort Statue. He also files a lawsuit against the U.S. government for breaking the Alien Tort Statue, which will result in a fine of $10 million for each violation. Yeah, no, this is fucking irrelevant. No. We're back to me. <clears throat> Do 
Do I have my emperor? Where's my emperor? The 10 billion is a resource. No, no, it isn't because you don't own Saul Goodman because he didn't want to marry your ugly ass. Oh, fucking roasted. Woo. No, that's not true, chat. Even he said you guys are hot. You guys are hot as fuck. Okay. Meanwhile, back in Dugtown. Um, has decided on a new... We've got so much corn, says the Emperor. But we need a source of entertainment. Travels to Nevada and meets the Nevada governor. We have to assassinate Saul. He said you guys are hot stuff, though. He was at least kind about it. You guys have a hot alien space pope, all right? Don't feel too bad about yourself. I will kill him with the moon. Whatever joke hole I want. Your stream has helped my wife get through a divorce and she <laughs> deserve it. Thank you. I think that's a first of my stream has helped my wife get through her divorce. Uh, so the Emperor Travels... Present you chat. Washington D. Washington D's nuts. All right. Is that fair? Got him number two. Wasn't I, I didn't the say anything, though. Is committed. I... Franklin D. Roosevelt, declare neutrality amongst these two forces. I will declare who I support once it is clear who will win. Sent at 6.28 p.m. EST. <laughs> Alright. What's a good song for this? Um... Yeah. Wait, no, 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 no. Big blue. <clears throat> All right. It's been too long. I'm going for Nevada. Meanwhile, back in Dugtown, the Dugkota Emperor has decided on a new strategy for growth. We've got so much corn, says the Emperor, but we need a source of entertainment. So the Emperor travels to Nevada and meets with the Nevada Governor. Mr. Governor, says the Emperor, join our great empire of Dakota, and we will supply you with all the corn you can eat. In return, we will build the city of Las Vegas. But the Nevada governor is skeptical. He knows that joining the empire will be a bad move. No, it isn't. Las Vegas has nothing to offer, says the governor. And besides, most of our citizens already live in California. Well, that's stupid. Why would they want to move to another state? Our resources are better. Don't worry, Mr. Governor, assures the Emperor. Our Empire of Doug Code is full of potential. With enough time, we will grow into a mighty nation. True! The Governor isn't convinced, but he thinks that the Empire is too powerful to ignore, so he reluctantly agrees to join the Empire. After signing the contract, the Emperor makes his way back to Utah. Let's fucking go! I got Nevada, baby! Even though all my citizens are apparently in California with you guys... <laughs> None of my states have any population. And the only ones that do have population, I murdered them accidentally. All right, I'm up to five states. The score is six to eight. You guys are up next. What do you want to do? Have, have the Space Pope assassinate Saul Goodman. You're really upset with Saul Goodman. Guys, he, he got you like three states, man. Your citizens are afraid of you. They come to us for a good life. Yeah, but what do you want, though? A lot of happy citizens who are productive or five big, beautiful states? Easy. 
hire Saul Goodman to do what? To reform the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Massacre Doug Soda Dakota's Doug Coden's citizens. They just joined the Empire. They didn't even want to join. All the people, all the Nevada people who evacuated to California, you could kill them, but they don't even want to be in my empire. Everybody in my empire is miserable, dude. Kill the Doug Coden. We must preserve gambling. We go to war in Nevada. Invade Nevada. Offer Nevada gold to, to form an alliance. That could be good. Offering Nevada gold could work, especially because Las Vegas is there. Send the space pope to the sun to colonize it. You can try. You are welcome to fire your most valuable resource into the sun. By all means. Uh, hire Saul. Um, make Rosa our queen. People didn't really go for that last time. I want to do... Assassinate the Empress and blame it on Utah? What is the point of that? Who, who are you <laughs> who are you influencing? Um You can't acquire the sun. Invade Oregon. If you want, man, shoot missiles at Oregon. <laughs> How many is that? Let's get one more. A lot like people are very interested in Saul Goodman based ones. Launch Saul. <laughs> okay. Launch Saul Goodman in a space shuttle into the sun. You would have to force him into the space shuttle, but that's technically an option. Go. Here are your, here are your potential moves. Have the space Pope assassinate Saul Goodman. Hire Saul Goodman to reform the NFL. Kill the Doug Coden citizens in California, invade Nevada, offer Nevada gold to form an alliance, send the space pope to the sun to colonize it, assassinate the empress and blame it on Utah, shoot missiles at Oregon, launch Saul Goodman in a space shuttle into the sun. So many great options there to pick from. Oh, while this is going, let's... Okay, so you're torn between hiring Saul Goodman to form the NFL or launching him into the sun. <laughs> your <laughs> your emperor, empire has been heavily influenced by Saul Goodman. <laughs> okay, it looks like you're going for the NFL route. Real quick, let's, uh, let's clarify a rule for the future. Um, let's say I take California... I would like to make this easy to follow, ideally. Um, I would say that once your empire gains a resource, that resource is split amongst the empire. Um, I guess that doesn't make sense for Las Vegas. So the idea is if I invade California, you guys would still keep your gold. That it, like the other option, the other option is like we have to keep track of where the resource is, and then if you take that state, you also get the resource. So it's keeping it a little bit simple. Like once you acquire a resource, um, like if I if I specifically murder or steal your space pope, I would get your space pope. But if, for example, your space pope is in New Mexico and I take New Mexico, I don't think I should also get the space pope. You could do that, but I I, I don't like the idea of like gigantic swings happening. Also, it would be hard to figure out exactly where people are because none of this makes any fucking sense. Okay, so you guys are going for Saul Goodman NFL play. <clears throat> Can the AI text be uploaded on a text document somewhere? Yeah, probably. NFL would be a resource if you guys successfully create it, yes.
How do we wait? Who is? Should the space pope hire him? You, you, I assume you guys want the space pope to hire him to join the NFL. We already know Saul thinks she's hot. This message delay is crazy. I didn't even send this message. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay, space pope. Um, the space popes. Is New Mexico where all these doctors without borders are? Also, can we spend <laughs> our next move constructing a moon laser? Of course, we'd consult Saul Fleet Fix Goodman for moon man zoning laws. Building a futuristic laser seems Jesus, a bit much. <laughs> Professor Bebop, thank you for the gifted sub. Again, this is set 100 years in the future. Um, simply divide in state resources, draw a link to the state or empire resources. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. So we'll just say, like, gold is a, is an empire-wide resource at this point. But I think unless unless there's some strong reason to do otherwise, I think all resources should be empire-wide. Um, she walks up to Saul Goodman um, and proposes a deal. Saul Goodman, the empire of... Chatlantis needs you for another job. We want to reform the NFL. So too good man. In Texas. We love football and we know it will make our our citizens happy and strong. I want the space pope to seduce President Lincoln in the romantic city of Washington D. Reinstate not reform. Yeah, sorry. How about rebuild? And we know that I owning the to NFL... Louisiana and rename it Louisiana. I would say gold is a state resource that can be moved. So that's the thing. I, that's how it probably should work, is to have gold like move around states. I just feel like it is hard enough to follow we what is going on in this Doug in Washington, D. that I would I would rather keep it simple by like keeping it spread. That That, that makes more sense. But I'm just worried that it gives more opportunities for us to have to try to interpret what the AI said in some sort of broad way. Um, we love football. And we know that owning the NFL will make our citizens happy and strong. Uh, anything else you want to do? You want to offer Saul Goodman? Will you legally build, rebuild the NFL for us? We can pay you in gold. You want to offer him gold? You don't have to. <laughs> or you want to threaten him. Or else we'll shoot you into the sun. <laughs> I'm going to put that to a vote. I don't know if you guys actually want. Do you want to threaten him at the end? Because I don't know what kind of direction that'll send me. It might work. Louisiana and rename it Louisiana. I, I've gotten like two states now just because I threatened them. I didn't even have to invade. It was great. Strat works awesome. Oh, okay. You guys are pretty divided. This is an important moment in the Chatlantis history. You guys are making a pivotal a for fork no in the road. What kind of empire are you going to be? Reason? <laughs> yeah, somebody has to assassinate. Somebody has to assassinate President Lincoln. Um. Okay. This is 50-50. I'm going to give it five more seconds. The end of five, we move on. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so it looks like just barely a majority of you guys do not Louisiana want to threaten Saul Goodman. Louisiana. So instead of offering to fire him into the sun, you'll just offer him gold. Rigged. I didn't even do anything. It was just a simple vote. Can we offer moon laser? You guys have America. satellites, not moon Look lasers. The states of US. No gold? You don't want to offer gold? All right, fine. I agree, Doug. Cats are better than dogs. 
No, 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 no. Marriage is like a separate thing, because that would gain him as a resource. You gotta, like, pitch one resource at a time. Guys, Waluigi was born in Los Angeles. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. The Space Pope's offer for marriage didn't work, but she's got another job for Saul Goodman anyways. She walks up to Saul Goodman and proposes a deal. This Saul a Goodman, the passion. Empire of Chatlantis needs you for another job. The stream. We want to rebuild the NFL in Texas. We love football, and we know that owning the NFL will make our citizens happy and strong. Will you legally rebuild the NFL for us? What does he say? Saul looks at the Space Pope and replies, Of course, my love. I'd do anything for the Chatlantis Empire. Where was that kind of affection earlier when they were talking about getting married? Saul Goodman officially becomes the commissioner of the Houston, Texas, and the Dallas Cowboys. Is that it? Did you? Is that the NFL? You used to have the two teams? Meanwhile, back in Chatlantis, the Emperor is trying to figure out how to take over the rest of America. No, 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 no. We're going back. No detours. We'll, we'll keep running it. I think you guys got it. We'll, we'll run a, a little bit more to see if there's other details. Over the next few years, the Chatlantian Empire continues to expand and grow. They take over... No, 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 no. This doesn't count. Yeah, we'll call it right here. You guys got the NFL. This is stupid. There's no information at all, and it's saying it's like moving forward years at a time. And it has nothing to do with the NFL. I'm trying to think of some way that I can justify this not counting. God damn it. I think I feel like this is the first time that it's just casually thrown in. Yeah, and they take Nevada. Like where that where did this come from? Where the fuck did this come from? I should have ended it. I got greedy. I should have ended it here. You guys had the NFL. Okay, over the next few years, the Chatlantian Empire continues to expand and grow. They take over the state of Nevada. So you steal Nevada from me and start taking over more countries. Soon they're planning to invade Earth itself. <laughs> All from the NFL, apparently. That one guy who's been fighting for the NFL play this whole time, he is just fist pumping in the air right now. I told you! NFL! Which consists of two teams, by the way. Most boring fucking NFL in history. I need, a, I need a big turn. I need a turn that gets like two states. Two or three. I need to think of something that has a chance for like a bunch of states. Alright, you guys take over Nevada. And you earn the soup or... No, what is it? And you earn the NFL. Two teams. I like that... You didn't give New Mexico, Arizona, or California a team. How many points are you at? Jesus. Quick, everyone put pride emotes in the chat. You're at 10? Jesus. All right, we're playing a 15. You need to reform the AFL. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. The odds that if I tried to form another football league that I would do that and suddenly get Nevada back are so low. You guys got lucky. I don't know how the fuck you got Nevada from the NFL. Saul fucking Goodman. I want to kill him. I'm going to fucking kill Saul. Oh, Oatmeal, thank you so much for the one, uh, two years. Appreciate it. Saul Goodman has single-handedly, like, doubled your empire. He's been wild. He's OP. We have to nerf him in the next game. Chat, you are so hot. I mean, you guys are space aliens. Space princesses, excuse me. Um, okay, I'm up. What the fuck do I do here? 
Can we buy Oregon? How much is Oregon worth? Well, in this economy, um, Saul got us everything. Saul's literally gotten you everything, except the space pope and NASA and Texas. He's crazy. We need Mike to protect Saul. So one option is that I try to assassinate Paul. Saul, excuse me. The thing is, I want to wait to assassinate Saul Goodman until you guys actually bring him into your empire. You still haven't. He hasn't married in. You haven't hired him full-time or anything. He's still just a contractor who's gotten you half of the country. Um, so I don't want to kill him because I need to move fast. What we could do is we could add uh, bonus resources on two other states. So there's more like direction to go. We could add a bonus resource on Washington and on Ohio that are both like equidistant from us. So that way there's an incentive to go for a specific state rather than it just being completely open. Because otherwise there's no there's no, uh, there's no no value to going for Washington versus anything else, right? Washington has snow resource. It doesn't really snow here. Ohio is closer to you. Look, Ohio, I'm pretty sure we're equidistant. One, two, three, four from you. One, two, three, four from me. Both of them are the same. One, two for me. One, two for you. Let's do that. Let's add let's add bonus resources cuz I think I think there's value in there being like certain spots that that are that you're drawn to, right? That have that have value. Cuz otherwise there's there's not even any incentive for us to even interact over here. All right. Um do, 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 do. we play music. What is Washington's special resource? We can do the space needle. It's the only thing Washington's known for. Michigan counts as one state. Yeah. We need the space needle for the space Pope. <laughs> this is Washington state. So it doesn't have the, uh, Washington football team. If you get Washington that unlocks Alaska, uh, I'm saying if you're, uh, if you have a state on the coast, you can get to Alaska, Canada, uh, drowned. They're underwater. Oh, Starbucks. Okay, Space Needle or Starbucks for Washington? And so again, this would be a resource that you acquire the instant you get Washington. So it's an incentive to go grab that first. It would be funny to have your space pope rule the empire from atop her space needle, but it seems like most of you guys want Starbucks. Okay. I guess I'm underwater. I'm sorry. You you guys did get in a canoe and escape to Minnesota. Uh, okay, what is Ohio's resource? You've got um, LeBron James. You've got... Scott the Waz. I don't want to do Scott the Waz because then if the AI does something weird to him, <laughs> I don't want the AI to like murder him brutally or something. At least with LeBron James, he's very distant from uh, from gaming. Um, Space Jam? Cleveland is not really a special resource in and of itself. To Paul Brothers. <laughs> Jake Paul? This is also a hundred years in the future, so it'd be LeBron's James. It'd be LeBron James number five or whatever. Uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You guys were so excited about Ohio at the beginning of this, but apparently the only things there that you were excited about are Scott the Waz and LeBron James. Flavor Town. I don't think Flavor Town is Izzy. Neil Armstrong. The Saul Brothers. Uh, Cleveland Browns. <laughs> Wait, the Cleveland Browns kind of work because then you could add them to your NFL. <laughs> then they're fucking worthless for me. I don't have the NFL. Okay, I'll add it to the list. Jake from State Farm is not there. 
Uh, is Guy Fieri from Ohio? That's a good one. Born, wait, where was he born? Early life. He was born in Columbus. Okay, you guys can have Guy Fieri. All right, what are, or Ohio could have Guy Fieri. KFC for Kentucky. We are talking about Ohio. We are talking about Ohio. Joe Burrow. This is a hundred years in the future, is the problem. All right. Guy Fury. He can produce donkey sauce. Oh, that's true. You guys can invade my empire with donkey sauce. Uh, all right. I'm going to add these in. Let me do that. Why don't we get oil? The USA loves oil. Sent at 4 11 p.m. Maybe for future SGFL ones, we set like a couple different resources around the map from the get-go. Confirmed. <laughs> Saul Goodman. I cannot believe how much influence Saul Goodman has had. Oh, hey Doug, first time catching a stream, but FYI, gold is highly conducive, so why don't we use that to make rail guns and invade a random state? I mean, you can. Okay, we've got Guy Fury. Um, Saul carried. Look, there is still an opportunity for Saul Goodman to die. All right, let's not Don't praise him too much quite this, yet. But taking over the solar system. Yeah, I want to do that at some point. Like, do a. There's a, there's a bunch of variations of this that I want to do. I I have a fucking blast doing these streams, so I want to do a lot of them. So yeah, doing a whole world would be one. Solar system is one. Uh, there are a lot Doug of variations. Having Nevada means he controls gambling. We must fight Duke Cota on their own soil, then make gambling mandatory when we win. That's how you know there's a long delay. Nevada is no longer mine. I do want Nevada back at some point, but I want to go for Washington first. I think. Do this with Tamriel. Oh yeah, that would be cool. Minnesota is 3 million. Do we go for Ohio chat? See, that's the thing. I, I've put you guys into a very precarious position. No one that you've never had to deal with before. Says a dog can't own Nevada. Do you go for the spot that is closer? Or do you make the really long play towards Ohio? <laughs> guys, we need to take Michigan and get South to legally control the Detroit Lions NFL football team. You can do whatever you want. And this doesn't need to be... Well, it clearly does need to be said. For people, please do not just spam whatever you want to say repeatedly in all caps, because then the mods are going to have to time you out. Please make it easier for the mods and don't spam. Like, say a thing, but doing giant blocks of text is just going to get you timed out. So please, please don't do that. Um, okay, so let me recap what we're at right now. So at this point, the score is 10 to 5. You guys are way ahead. We're now adding two special resources onto the board. The first is in Washington. If you take the state of Washington, you will automatically get Starbucks coffee, which is an additional resource point. On the other side of the country, if you take Ohio, you get Guy Fieri, who's another additional resource point. So there's now two states that give you a bonus if you can capture them. We're playing first to 15. It's anybody's game. Can I hire Walter White, e even though you own New Mexico? I think I'd have to, like, train a spy to get him. I think I would have to train a spy first. 
Then they have that spy go meet him. That's kind of risky, though. I know it's my turn. I know it's my turn. Um, I'm de debating what to do. Okay, here's what I think I'm going to do. Mm, do I? Yeah. Okay. I want Nevada later for Las Vegas. But for right now, I'm going to move northwest. We take Idaho. We go for Washington. I secure that point. Then and only then do I take back Nevada and go try to hire Walter White. Saul Goodman has been so insane. I think it'll do the same with Walter White. And I can get a big meth empire. And maybe I can get all of Texas addicted to meth and shut down the NFL. All right, I've got a plan. Let's go. There's no more time to play nice. I'm sending that insane fucking lunatic general into Idaho. I don't care about people's safety anymore. I'm sending in the insane general. A year has passed. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna acknowledge that you guys took Nevada. Uh, Doug Coda sends... I can't type and talk, apparently. Sends ranged general war crime general and king of North Dakota to invade Idaho with the 10,000 musket men army. Cool. This fair? Uh, years passed. The Empire of Dakota shrunk. So I'm acknowledging it shrunk. I'm acknowledging Saul Goodman took back Nevada. Um, things looking dire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. All good. How are there still 10,000 musket men? Um, what are they claiming? They're claiming a random timeout from me. I'm going to... The next person I look at who says claim gets banned uh, for 1 million seconds. It is... Oop. Artanis RL, congratulations. Even got a, damn, an 18-month sub. Congratulations. You win. All right, now with our lucky prize being handed out, it's time for me to turn this ship around. Let's fucking go. A year has passed, and the empire of Doug Coda has shrunk. Nevada was taken from the empire by the hands of Saul Goodman. Things are looking dire, and the empire knows it needs an ace in the hole, Starbucks. So they begin working their way northwest. To begin with, Doug Coda sends their deranged war crime general and king of North Dakota to invade Idaho with the 10,000 musket men army. The general marches into Idaho and attacks. But the battle is short-lived. All of the Idahoans are farmers, and they know how to use their weapons. The general's army is slaughtered within minutes. The Idahoans burn all the war crime general's body parts and bury the ashes in the ground. Fuck! I even lost my war crime guy. Goddamn farmers, man. <laughs> Congratulations, Doug. You did it. You're incredible.
incredible great job, Doug. Doug. You're I amazing. Be like, wow. wow. Doug, that was so cool. What an amazing He's game the best. person. He's, He's the best Doug gamer. Is. Wow. Oh, my God. You're See, I read this sentence, the battle is short-lived. All of the Idahoans are farmers, and I was like, oh, God, we're going to fucking slaughter them. And apparently that means they know how to use their farmer weapons and slaughter my army. Makes no goddamn sense. Oh, all right, you guys are up. Uh... <laughs> Bam. Bam. Convince Oregon to join the Empire by offering them an NFL team. <laughs> so you're just going to use the NFL to get to, to get everybody to join. Uh, Oregon doesn't have an NFL team, right? Like right now, they don't, right? So you could lean on that historical. That's historical. They've always wanted one, I'm sure. You can colonize the sun. To be clear, what you would be doing is sending somebody in a spaceship to the sun. Send the space pope. Send the space pope and Paul Salgan on a romantic date to the sun. You cannot own the sun. You can try to, I guess, but I hope that the AI would just burn you into a crisp. Kill Walter White. I don't know why. Do you want to blame it on anybody? Do you want to blame it on me? <laughs> or do you just want to kill him? Mary Space Pope to Walter White. Okay, some people are saying hire Walter White. To do what? To do what? Like, to make meth for you guys? That could be a special resource if he agrees. I mean, that's the only thing he could do, right? That's the only thing we know he knows how to do. Okay, so hire Walter White to make meth for the Empire. You could invade Alaska. Alliance with the... Alliance with the Idaho Farmers. It's a good one. Research meth. I mean, that's what... Getting Walter White on board would just do that anyways, because he knows it. He knows how to make meth, right? Uh... Venom, we need venom. Shoot the moon into the sun. Uh, turn moon into, into a shitty space station. And again, you can shoot it somewhere. Um, invade the sea. There's nothing to invade. You could find the lost city, sunken city of Canada. Alliance with Arkansas. Okay. I think I got the main ones. Or the ones that make any sense to me. All right, your options. Convince Oregon to join the Empire by offering them an NFL team. Send the Space Pope and Saul Goodman on a romantic date to the sun. Kill Walter White and blame Doug Coda. Marry Space Pope to Walter White. Hire Walter White to make meth for the Empire. Invade Alaska. Alliance with the Idaho Farmers. Turn the moon into a shitty space station. Find the lost city of Canada. Alliance with Arkansas. Hey, Saul. Can you legally reform the NFL for us? Saul, sure thing. My love that I refuse to marry. And I'll throw in conquering Nevada. <laughs> yeah, dude, he just gave you guys a bonus. It was like a punch card Duck, that you just got, you where he got, you so got enough states recently. that he gave you one for free. Being a part of the live streams has helped my mood and stress during my rough summer college semester. Hey, and also you're welcome. With me prepping my elementary class for the new school year. Thank you. You are very welcome. Next turn, we either offer states an NFL team in exchange for control, or we take Louisiana and rename it Lil Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand the point of that. But you can, man. All right. I was looking down here. I thought you guys were going to make an alliance with the Idaho farmers because they're pissed off at me. But instead, you guys are choosing to send the Space Pope and Saul Goodman on a date to the sun. You're going to try to do this. We don't know what will happen. We'll have the Space Pope offer this to Saul Goodman and see if he's interested. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish from this. Maybe Saul Goodman will colonize the sun for you. I don't know. That dude is insane. He just takes over everything. 
Reroll with just two and seven. Nah, dude. That was a fairly strong victory. You're locked in. And I'm not about to I'm not about to course correct you guys for making a terrible decision when I'm down by five points. This is one of those times where democracy is mm, mm, beautiful. Okay. How do I What is the... What do you want me to say? Why are you doing this? Go at night. Okay, fine. Okay, I'll do like... It is 4.30 p.m. Are you trying to romance him? Message. What do you... Is there anything you want from this? No, you didn't say colonize. That wasn't the option. You said you wanted to send them on a romantic date. You're trying to date the sun. We need to save Rosa and make her NFL <laughs> commissioner. Okay, fine. But as tantalizing as the Earth is, Chat Lantis. They know just the man to help colonize it. Remember, we need to pull Canada out of the sea. You don't, you don't own Saul Goodman. He's just a contractor right now. So you have to, the way I'm going to pitch this is that you ask Saul Goodman, the space pope asks Saul Goodman to join her on a shuttle to the sun. Right? Because he, he's not on board with that. You don't, he's not part of the empire yet. So you're pitching to him, hey, do you want to go on a date with me to the sun and we'll try to colonize it? All right, everybody's saying yep and seems pretty happy about it. <laughs> about sending two people to presumably their death. Getting the entire NFL. I swear, okay, I'm saying it right now. If the sun has fucking jungles and you find another D Dracula there or something, <laughs> at least can they kill Saul Goodman? Spider Man should be a resource in New York. Oh, that is a good one. As tantalizing as the Earth is, the Empire of Chat Lantis always desired the sun. And they know just. So the Space Pope. I control. What was the thing you guys got at the very beginning? The United States Space Command, right? What was it called? I know. Oh, we'll do it. We'll do it at night. Okay, fine. So, one fateful night. No, no, no. I know you have NASA. United States Space Command. Okay. You randomly, when you were when you were getting the Space Pope, she apparently is in control of the United States Space Command. So she has this as part of her or part of her deal. <laughs> she was at the sun. <laughs> is this fair? Join me on a romantic date. Uh, there's so much stuff going on. You date in my space shuttle. And I say it's at night, one fateful night. I'm like, this is a run on sentence and sounds dumb. More romantic. I'll say. Send not shoot. Fine. Well, send us to the sun. Fly to the sun. I want to leave it open-ended. Send implies that it is like you get there safely. 
which is too- I want this to be very open-ended. I want- I'm hoping that this fucking program- that the next line is, and they were incinerated immediately. Okay. <clears throat> you guys are up. But as tantalizing as the Earth is, the Empire of Chatlantis has always desired the sun, and they know just the man to help colonize it. So one fateful night, the Space Pope approaches Saul Goodman yet again. Saul Goodman, as the Space Pope, I control the United States Space Command, and we have shuttles that can fly to the sun. Will you join me, Saul Goodman, sweetie? Will you join me on a romantic date in my space shuttle and fly to the sun? Then we can colonize it, my love. Saul smiles and replies, I'd love to, my love. I'd love to fly to the sun with you. At first, the space pope seems disappointed that Saul Goodman isn't interested in her. That's not how I interpreted what he just said. But then she sees something in the corner of her eye and suddenly realize that the, the, realizes that the Chatlanteans are coming for Earth. She runs over to the Empire and tells him what Saul has done. Wait, hold on. Is this, ro is this romantic still? Or are you guys being invaded? She explains that the Chatlantis have taken California and Arizona and that they're going to take Earth itself. The Emperor looks at her and replies, Saul Goodman is working for me. Wait, is this, this is your Emperor, right? Because you're Chatlantis. I'll kill the bastard. He orders his men to capture Saul Goodman and bring him back to New Mexico. They find the Chatlantis Emperor in his palace and tell him about Saul's crimes. Okay, you might end up executing Saul Goodman. Bring him here, the Emperor commands. His bodyguards grab Saul Goodman and drag him out of his office. While they're dragging Saul away, the Emperor looks Saul's... Wait. While they're dragging Saul away, the Emperor looks into Saul's eyes and asks, How did you manage to commit treason against me, Saul Goodman? It's easy, Saul replies. All you have to do is change the name of your country. No one notices when a country changes his name. What do you mean, reroll? How does this not make sense? What are you talking about? Your emperor captured Saul Goodman. What are you talking about? Reroll doesn't mean I don't like what happened. How do you argue this doesn't make sense? I mean, it's confused about who Chatlantis is. But that's, that's been happening constantly. Looks and replies. Your emperor captured Saul Goodman. It's fine if it... If it takes a turn, it's still about Saul Goodman. But they were lovers, how could she? We are Chatlantis. How does Chatlantis invade? Saul has to die on the fucking sun. No. Look, the whole thing is if it derails If it does if it does this thing, then that's like a it's like a full different chapter, and we can use that as a, a way to stop it. But if it randomly starts saying, like my so, hold on, Saul Goodman went and started talking to President Lincoln. Nobody had a problem with that. Nobody had a problem with President Lincoln and Saul Goodman talking about their shoes for 15 minutes. How do we invade ourselves? Here, here's the problem. If the if the criteria for re-rolling is that the program is contradictory, that shit happens all the time. It happens constantly. It's already said, you guys, that Chantlant Chantlantis has, has invaded like three times. This has already happened repeatedly. She runs over to the Emperor and she tells him what Saul's done. As far as I can tell, I guess Chantlantis coming for Earth doesn't make a lot of sense. President Lincoln is Saul's friend in the show. No, he's not. We captured Saul. Where would I even re-roll to? Would Saul have died? <laughs> I 
the Emperor tells Saul that he's going back to the moon. <laughs> They're planning to attack Earth. Okay, we'll re-roll this whole thing, and I'm also going to... The reason I'm willing to re-roll this, one is just because I don't think it's going to resolve in any meaningful way. Um... I'm also going to delete this. I think what happened is the AI is getting a little confused about the Chatlantean Empire and now thinks it's some sort of spacefaring civilization that's trying to invade Earth. Like, it keeps coming back to that. So I think we need to remove those pieces. Um, so if I just remove this to there, you still take Nevada. That's the piece we actually listen to. And then hopefully the AI stops thinking you guys are invading California from space. <laughs> I think the whole, the whole thing of you guys sending the space pope to the moon really confused the AI. And I just want to I just want you guys to admit it, okay? You've made this AI have a really hard time. It is trying to reconcile the fact that you own a jungle base on the moon with the fact that you're also made the NFL on Earth. Uh, okay. So we are going to restart the date. Over the next few years, the Chatlantean Empire continues to expand and grow. They take over the state of Nevada. All right. So now we're, de we're dealing with the date. But as tantalizing as the Earth is, the Empire of Chatlantis has always desired the sun, and they know just the man to help colonize it. So one fateful night, the Space Pope approaches Saul Goodman yet again. Saul Goodman, as the Space Pope, I control the United States Space Command, and we have shuttles that can fly to the sun. Will you join me, Saul Goodman, sweetie? Will you join me on a romantic date in my space shuttle and fly to the sun? Then we can colonize it, my love. Saul looks deep into her eyes and replies, I'm afraid I can't do that, my love. I'm going to need a lot more money before I'm willing to cross the solar system. Okay, so he says no. Let's go a little bit farther and see. The space pope's eyes widen and he, he whispers, I knew it. You only want me because I'm rich. Well, then you're out of luck because I don't like you anymore. Oh, no, they're having a falling out. Saul smiles and replies, Well, that's good to hear because I don't like you either. Then he leaves the space pope alone. The Chatlantean Empire continues its, its expansion. I'm sorry, guys. He got rejected by Saul Goodman. Again. Very sad. You guys have a real hot and cold relationship going on. Kill him! Why do you want to kill Saul Goodman right now? Wait, I was saying, I thought I was going to go through Montana up to Washington. I didn't realize Idaho blocks them off. Fuck, I have to get Ohio Idaho. I like the idea that the empire of Chatlantis was like this incredibly powerful empire um, and was beating out their, their closest rival, but then they got really obsessed with some sort of space feud with Saul Goodman and, <laughs> and got distracted while Doug, to Doug Topia, Doug Coda took over the rest of the country. And Kai Fieri. Okay. I'm up. How the hell do I get Idaho? My army is dead for two turns. I have to form an alliance with them, but all I can offer is fucking corn. I think I need to research something. Okay, hear me out. Mormons actually work at the FBI a lot. They have a lot of espionage. That's actually a known thing that I heard one time. Maybe it's not true. So I could use my Utah influence to train a team of super Mormon spies. Then I could send them into New Mexico next turn and hire Walter White from you. No, the reason Mormons work in law enforcement is because they don't do drugs. Because they're like really, really strict uh, against not doing drugs. And that's like one of the criteria. You can't join the FBI if you've ever done any drugs. I don't know if any of that's true necessarily, but I did hear it. I, It is true that I heard all that. Does anybody know if that's true? Research cornflakes. 
That actually is true. See? Sprig thinks I'm correct. Hold on. Before you guys make fun of me, are there lots of Mormons in the FBI? Why Mormons make great FBI recruits? The correct answer is yes, for all the reasons listed. Trustworthy, ethical, moral ex excellence, typically multilingual. Mormons in the FBI. Dude, Mormons love the FBI. This is my ace in the hole. The Mormons. Oh, you dumb motherfuckers giving me Utah. Check this shit out. The attack on Idaho might have failed, but that's when Doug Coda realized they don't need brute brute force to take the state. They need espionage. Makes sense to me. Thank you, Chatlantis. Wait. But the FBI disbanded. That's why I'm training them. I'm going to take that a turn to train them and Polish make a new FBI. Books. Yeah, okay. So, you're right. The FBI did disband because we're in the future. So, I'll be forming the new Mormon FBI. I've made up my mind. I, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, 32nd President of the now defunct United States of America, declare my full allegiance to the great empire of Catlantis. I anticipate the day in which I will be in my wheelchair, rolling alongside my Chatlantis. Doug, there are no Mormons after the year 2073. <laughs> Is this fair? Uh, Attack on Idaho might have failed. So I'm trying I'm, cause I, I, cause I need to make sure again, the prompts have to be like, this is what we are trying to do. No, I didn't kill them all. I killed a lot. <laughs> well, how did I get Utah? I thought I didn't invade Utah. No, I didn't kill. I didn't kill them. It didn't say I killed all the Mormons. Check the scrolls. When did I take Utah? Oh, this is the whole thing about Saul Goodman and Abraham Lincoln. That went on for like 15 minutes. This is all about... Oh, I killed the Duke. Oh, yeah, I did invade Utah. It didn't say that I slaughtered all the people of Utah. I just invaded. All right, I killed the Duke. They'll never work for you. They might. The attack on Idaho might have failed. Da, 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 da. Morbins, trade and building. Yeah, okay, I'll leave it at this. I think this could work. This is this is pretty simple, but um I thought this said Morbon. I was reading it wrong. Um Hopefully this works. Um it's heavily implied. No, it's not. Dude, that's not even I didn't even kill that many people in Utah. I killed way more people in North Dakota. I killed fucking everybody in North Dakota's dead. This should work. This has got to work. Give me a fucking resource, man. Not FBI. Dakota Investigation Circle of Knowledge Dick. No, 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 no. I'm doing FBI because that gives me a higher chance that the program will understand what I am trying to... If you guys got NFL and you get the fucking Houston Texans and Dallas Cowboys, I get Mormon FBI. We don't even know if this will work. Okay. Um, what's a good song for this? Okay. Come on. The attack on Idaho might have failed, but that's when the Doug Coda. Wait. Oh, wait. Empire. The attack on Idaho might have failed, but that's when the Dakota Empire realized they don't need brute force to take the state. Not when they have Mormons. So the government tries to create a secret training program and build a new Mormon FBI full of the greatest Mormon spies of Utah. 
Meanwhile, Dugtown begins expanding. They have plenty of corn and they want more, but they also want to keep the peace. And so they decide to purchase land from the Idahoans and turn it into a giant corn farm. Huh? Is this going to get me Idaho somehow? They hire a farmer named Jim. Jim has been farming for years. He's very experienced. Oh, and he knows how to maintain a corn farm. Jim was a member of the Mormon FBI, but he quit after becoming disillusioned with the organization. So do I have the... Do I have the Mormon FBI? Now he's back at it, and he's ready to do whatever it takes to protect the Empire. One day, Jim has a visitor in Saul Goodman, the lawyer formerly known as Saul Steinberg? Kill him! Hello, Mr. Jim, says Saul. I'm here to offer you a job. What kind of a job, asked Jim. I represent the Emperor of Doug Coda. Okay, so I hired him, I guess, and I'm here to recruit you. So I get Jim, <laughs> if, I, if this happens? You mean Dugtown, asked Jim? What's the Emperor going to pay me for? $10,000 a month. That's not what he asked. That's way too much money, says Jim. I don't need $10,000 a month. I can make that myself. Listen, Jim, says Saul. There's no other way to earn that amount of money. That's fine, says Jim. Come on, get me Jim. But if you want me to join, you're going to have to sweeten the deal. How so? How about $20,000? Done, says Saul. Jim is happy that Saul is willing to work with him. Okay, I think the Empire of Dakota hired Saul Goodman to hire Jim, and I get Jim now, who's a former Mormon FBI agent. But he still wonders why he's being offered such a high salary. Saul explains it to him. Oh, this is Dugtown's tax money, and I'm here to make sure that the Empire gets every penny of it. What? So Dugtown's paying for this. My Empire's paying to hire Jim, the Mormon. Jim is happy to hear this. He's even happy to learn that his $20,000 monthly paycheck will be directly deposited into his bank account. He understands that the Dakota Empire needs a lawyer to manage their finances, and he accepts Saul's proposal. I got Jim! That's his special resource. Finally, I add onto the board, Corn plus Jim, <laughs> who is a former FBI agent, to be clear, and is maybe my accountant now. I wasn't clear about the last part. All right, you guys might have Space Pope, but I've got Big Jim. Score is six to six to ten. Jim has MFBI training. <laughs> God, I'm so, it's so pogging for Jim right now. What a huge play! All right, next turn I gotta hopefully hopefully get Jim to hire fucking uh, Walter White off you guys. Oh, that'd be sick. You have Saul too? No, no. Again, I'm not taking Saul too because look. This is, um, I'm here to recruit you. I represent the Emperor of Dakota. It's actually been shockingly consistent that Saul is, like, hired by us to do a contract, but he doesn't fully work for us. He's been bouncing back and forth all day long. Until one of you guys kills him, okay? But we've agreed. He wouldn't marry into you. And you know why he didn't marry your space queen? Do you know why? It's because I was paying him the whole time. Ooh, that totally worked. There's no way he's going to marry you when he knew that I'm his biggest client. Why what do you guys want to do? The FBI does spy work and not the CIA. Uh, because I don't know things about stuff. Kill Walter White. Shoot satellite missiles to kill Our Saul Goodman. Our beloved space poke is unforgivable. We must publicly execute him. I'll do this would be Space Pope tries to force Saul Goodman into a shuttle and send him to the moon. It's I will say this is probably hard to get the AI to pull off, as funny as that would be. This is probably more realistic to shoot missiles at him. Um Hire Hank Breaking Bad. Hire Walter White. You could go for math. But watch it here. Just finished watching the Europe but on yet and just saw you streaming. Just hey. wanted to let you know this is some of the best content I've seen in a long time. Gonna head out to avoid spoilers. Godspeed, chat. Well, you probably aren't here then, because that's really late. It sounds like you're well, recruited. Thank you. Oh, but you'll watch this in the future. Hey, past FBI. you. Wait, we're and all in the future. Say hi to Pat to, to the past man who donated that money, chat. Um, to the sun. Uh, higher Saul. Jim in Spanish is pronounced Yim.
Invade our. You guys do have your army. You haven't really used your ar fair. army. <laughs> Seduce Jim with the space pope. No, no, you can't fucking. Mar I guess you could. <laughs> could you? I guess that's hey, sort of allowed, like stealing a resource. Of Duke Kota, Fuck, that is allowed. Okay. Of Poxa for me. <laughs> space pope tries to marry Jim. <laughs> I'll be Can so fucking pissed if you guys get Jim for me. <laughs> well, there's lots to discuss. Oh, and then another one people really wanted is uh, offer Oregon an NFL team to join the Empire. Or you can offer Can Idaho too. To execute Saul if Idaho doesn't rely with us. Uh, yeah. Threaten Saul to join Empire. All right, let's do let's do these. You got nine. Okay, your options. Kill Walter White. Shoot satellite missiles to kill Saul Goodman. The Space Pope tries to force Saul Goodman into a shuttle and send him to the moon. Hire Walter White to make meth for the Empire. Hire Saul to convince the Idaho government to join. Invade Arkansas. Space Pope tries to marry Jim. Offer Idaho an NFL team to join the Empire. Threaten Saul to join the Empire. It looks like you're between shooting missiles at Saul Goodman and trying to marry Jim. Again, you can vote for multiple. You can vote for up to three. Just do three different messages in chat. <coughs> uh, where are we at? Oh, these are like tied. Wait, no, they aren't. All right, looks like you're going to send the Space Pope to try to marry Jim away from my empire. This is better not fucking work. Can I say that the Space Pope is heartbroken? She's heartbroken after being rejected by Saul Goodman no what's her reasoning I guess they, they just want Jim in the Empire it could just be uh, no she doesn't like Saul you only want me because I'm rich oh yeah yeah she said I don't like you anymore you're right you're right right that would be completely ridiculous uh, okay so how do we pivot how do we pivot to Jim chat. try and secure the corn Mormon of all people with a Catholic space Pope <laughs> yeah that's true you're trying to get my Mormon <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, how the fuck do I? How the Can fuck do I pivot? Moon, moon cheese isn't like a thing. She wants somebody who isn't after her money. Um, after I'll just say after being rejected by Saul Goodman. Space Pope is asleep. No, she's a strong, independent lady who doesn't need no Saul Goodman. She's about to leave, dude. She's dumping his ass. After being rejected by Saul Goodman, the Space Pope knows um, that she knows that she needs to marry someone who will truly help the Atlantis Empire. And it just so happens that a new uh, Space leader Jim Slim Jim Entered Doug Coda. The, the Mormon FBI, Mormon FBI agent, the famous Mormon FBI agent, Jim. Mentioned that she's hot. No. Okay, she is hot, though. Okay, fine. Ex Mormon FBI agent Jim. Jesus Christ. You guys are trying to play up. You're trying to make your space pope so hot and make a huge deal about how Jim used to be a Mormon. This, she's, he's not going to go for it. He's not. He's loyal to Doug Coda. What kind of Digimon is this Mormon? Mention that Jim is a farmer. The famous ex Mormon. 
FBI agent turned farmer Jim. And the space pope is hot. And so the space pope tracks down Jim in Dakota, because he's in my empire, and proposes a marriage. Uh, do you guys want him to say? Hot and rich. Fine. <laughs> uh, do you want her to say anything? No? All right, a lot of people don't want to say anything. Let them choose. Okay, we'll let them- we'll let them choose. I don't need to put words in her mouth. I trust the AI. Okay. Good luck. <clears throat> How many times has the Space Pope tried to marry somebody today? It's been twice, I think. Maybe third time's a charm. After being rejected by Saul Goodman, the Space Pope knows that she needs to marry someone who will truly help the Chatlantis Empire. And it just so happens that a new leader has entered Doug Coda, the famous ex-Mormon, FBI agent turned farmer Jim. And the Space Pope is hot and rich. And so the Space Pope tracks down Jim in Doug Coda and proposes a marriage. Jim hesitates at first, but then he realizes that the Space Pope is extremely attractive. Plus, she's rich. No! So he decides to accept her proposal! The Space Pope tells Jim they'll have two kids and the Space Pope will raise them as her own grandchildren. I'm going two more! Call it off! Call it off, Jim! This will allow Jim to keep the farm while giving him a family and a legacy. She, he, Jim accepts the Space Pope. Space Pope congratulates herself for finding a good man and then she tells Saul Goodman that she's ready to leave for New Mexico. God damn it, Jim! Fuck! Okay. Twitch chat marries Jim. All I have is, all I have is corn again. My empire fucking sucks. Okay, you guys have a score of six. I've got five. No, you have a score of 10. No, you have a score of 11. <laughs> Congratulations, Doug. You did it. You're incredible. Great job, Doug. You're I want to be like you. Wow. Doug, that was so cool. What an amazing He's gamer. He's the best. Person this He's Doug the best Doug gamer. Is. Wow. Oh my God. You're incredible, Doug. Wow. I'm gonna take a. Flanks? I'm gonna go take a sad pee and ruminate on what I have to do next. You've been a huge help. I'm going through a bad phase in my depression right now, and you are one of the few things to make me laugh in a few weeks. Thanks for everything you do, and keep up the good work. Jim, me boy. Our heart is yours. You have no one to blame but yourself for letting the Catholic space pope talk to simple Jim. You missed a good donation. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, the most recent donation. You have no one to blame but yourself for letting that Catholic space pope talk to Simple Jim. Is that what you're talking about? Before that one. Jimmy boy, our heart is yours. That one? The one before that. I don't know if you'll see this, but I want to let you know you've been a huge help. I'm going through a bad phase of depression. A few things to make me laugh. Thanks for everything you do. That one? or Because the... the one before that is... How about these cornflakes? Oh, that was the one. Okay. Um, Morgoth, assuming I pronounced it that way. Yo, hope you feel better. I'm glad our, our little dumb thing uh, helps. Yeah. That is definitely the coolest part about this job is the idea that, like, you know, we're making people's, like, day in life a little bit better. Uh, it's, it's, like, actually the coolest part about this job. That and Jim. <clears throat> yeah, hope you feel better. Um, how, um, how, how the fuck do I get Idaho? How do I get Idaho, man? I feel like Idaho is the key to unlock Washington. Louisiana, or I'll convince states to take NFL team in exchange for control of their state. We shall win. My army is still dead. You know what I'll do? Since all I have is corn, I'm going to offer corn to Idaho, and I will let them know that they could make cornflakes with them. Maybe the cornflakes route will work. Maybe if they... Maybe Idaho really fucking wants cornflakes. I have to gamble. Recall Jim from his espionage operation. No, I can't do that. That is kind of brilliant. Master Procrastination, thank you for the gift of up. Score is 10 to 5, not 11 to 5. No, I think it's 10 to 5. Hit them where it One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Look, common mistake, I think the, the thing you're forgetting is that Twitch chat currently owns the moon. So that's your 11th. Score is 11 to 5. Planes, could we go anywhere on the map? Yeah, I would say that's fair. You just you just have to spend a turn researching that though, and that wouldn't be a special resource. I don't. Eh, maybe it is. Okay, I'm going for Idaho. If I take Idaho, go up through Canada. Everything's Offer the fixed. Stanley Cup to them, and Canada will sneak you back in. No, sorry, Canada's underwater now. But not Alaska. Somehow in this futuristic world, Alaska was completely fine. But Canada, maybe I go for maybe I go for Alaska. I could take a boat up there. What does Alaska have besides Pitbull? No, I want Idaho. I want fucking Idaho. All right, so Jim, <laughs> where well, we left off, Jim joined my empire. Mars. But before Jim could begin working for Doug Coda. <laughs> You know what the worst part is? Didn't you hire Jim specifically to be a spy? Smells like a double agent to me. Yeah, I mean, I could... No, I don't want to, I don't want to like, undo this story that... The fact that she was rich and attractive is what is what got Jim. That's the thing. Even if Jim told me that he was marrying as a double agent. I don't know. You can't trust Jim. He's probably double, double agenting and he's actually working for the space Pope. Um, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So before Jim can begin working for Dr. he was sometimes beat by a beautiful, uh, space Pope and eloped with her to the nation, to the empire of, uh, chat Lantis. And now without their beloved Jim, Doug Coda has to resort back to corn. <laughs> She's rich. Okay, fine. Apparently Gotham City is in Jersey. <laughs> and now with other beloved Jim, Doug Coda has to resort back to corn. But they have a plan. The Idahoan I farmers. I just figured out how to get my message to show up. 
Anyway, I was one of the ones to suggest marrying Jim, but can we divorce him now? <laughs> if you want, but I'll try to take him right back. You look, if you push Jim away, he's going to be pushed right into my loving arms. I'm going to fill that man with corn emotionally. The Idahoan farmers might not, um, might not, what, what do I say? Might not be, be invadable. Uh, might not be persuaded by warfare. Warcraft. But they might be persuaded by cornflakes. Which you could make from all the corn. I'm not going to say that I have cornflakes. I'm going to say you could make cornflakes. Because that would be like a little cheap if I just suddenly have cornflakes. Not that cornflakes is like a powerful thing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pitch. So, uh, the Doug Coda Emperor. Did Jim and the rich space Pope woman get a prenup? If not, let's divorce and get him money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Jim could have been rich. You guys would get half the farm, though. Explain Saul Goodman with food. So the Dakota, he's like a he's like a cornflake. So the Dakota Emperor um, travels to the governor of Idaho and gives him an offer. Doubt Kota. Mr. Governor, please join our empire. We have bountiful Let's corn harvests. from watching Doug's streams to keep his marriage safe. You could. Corn flakes were originally made to stop people from making mayo for their chicken salad. <laughs> I heard that. Um, good reference. Corn flakes zero from the right technology. We really should divorce him solely on the principle that divorce is bog. If you think I'm writing too much, um, you can yell rigged, but you guys are up by six points. <clears throat> Mr. Kellogg was a weird man. Yeah, I've heard that. Avocado oil, thank you for the gift of sub. Um, okay, 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 okay. I gotta scroll up. Do, 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 do. Okay. Song. What song? What is a, what is a cornflake song? Uh, Claw Top Cruise. Come on. Big turn here. Big turn. But before Jim could begin working for Doug Coda, he was swept off his feet by a beautiful and rich space pope and eloped with her to the Empire of Chatlantis. And now, without their beloved Jim, Doug Coda has to resort back to corn. But they have a plan. The Idahoan farmers might not be persuaded by warfare, but they might be persuaded by cornflakes, which you could make from all the corn. So the Dakota Emperor travels to the governor of Idaho and gives him an offer. Mr. Governor, please join our empire. We have bountiful corn harvests, and our top scientists believe that you could invent a cornflake cereal from them with the right technology. If you join Dakota, our corn can be yours. Cornflakes could be yours. Come on, take the bait, you son of a bitch. The Emperor's right. By adding cornflakes to their diet, the Idahoans would consume millions of kilograms of corn every day. I don't have that much corn. And this corn will become a major source of income. The Empire of Dakota is willing to give Idaho everything they need to create cornflakes. Very well, says the governor. But first things first, I'll send one of my men to inspect your corn crop. Once I'm satisfied with its quality, we can negotiate the price. Come on. Like my corn. Like my corn. The emperor happily agrees, but he has a small concern. Will the inspection will the inspection process take long? Oh no, says the governor. It won't take more than two days. Two days later, the Iahoan army arrives at the Empire of Dakota. They have 10,000 soldiers and they march with their enemies. 
Those motherfuckers! The Emperor and his advisors watch from afar. Maybe they're coming in peace. Maybe they're joining... Should we stop them? Asked the Emperor. No, says Saul. What the fuck is Saul? Let them come. We'll win against these farmers. Trust me. The Emperor believes Saul. And so Saul prefer prepares to face the army alone? The Dakotan army arrives at the border. Halt! Shouts one of the soldiers. Who are you? Shouts Saul. We are the Idaho army. And who are you? Wait, that's what Saul said? Ask Saul. I am General William Tecumseh Sherman. William Tecumseh Sherman, asks Saul. Are you sure that's your real name? Yes. Answers the general. I invented my own name. You can call me Iron Balls Sherman. <laughs> and, and who do you work for, asks Saul. I work for the king of North Dakota. Um, okay. Yells the general. North Dakota, asks Saul. What does it have to do with anything? Yeah, nothing, asks Iron Balls but it makes me sound tough. Saul has a feeling there's something wrong with the general. Okay, so he doesn't actually come from North Dakota, it seems like. Where's your king, shouts Saul. I demand to see him immediately. I am the king of North Dakota, yells the general, and you shall never see him. <laughs> That's not possible. I might have to get it on rails again. That shouts Saul. I just saw him yesterday. Impossible, cries out the general. I was in Canada. Saul is stunned by this revelation. He wonders how the general could lie about something like that. Well, says Saul, I hope you had fun in Canada. Canada, screams the general. I was in Quebec. I didn't go anywhere near Canada. <laughs> Quebec? Repeat Saul, why would you go to Canada? I hate Canada, screams the, screams the general. I think it's a horrible country. I wanted to see the world, but I was denied entry into Russia and France. Okay, can I can I get this back on rails? How do we get this on rails? How do we get a resolution? We need a resolution. So right now there's an Idahoan army attacking my empire. No, we're not we're not re-rolling. This is still related to the original thing. I think it's do the army start attacking or does Saul say how do I resolve this? Saul attacks the army. How about I say okay? Make up your mind. Attack our attack our empire or join our empire? Is that work? Yell Saul. Is my army even there? Yeah, the generals are fucking crazy in this game. Like this is getting it back to like we need the armies to fight or you need to join our empire. Or inspect our corn. <laughs> We don't know if they inspected the corn already, though. That's the thing. The, my army isn't there. It's just Saul Goodman for some fucking reason. No corn. They stole your corn. Okay, we don't know what the corn is. This is the corn inspection. <laughs> Maybe it is. Maybe he brought the army for the corn inspection. Okay, we're doing this line to get this shit back on rails. Make up your mind. Attack our empire or join our empire, yells Saul. The Empire of Dakota decides to leave the decision to Saul. Saul doesn't want to fight, but he wants to get rid of the Idahoans as soon as possible. If the Idahoans join Dakota, the Empire will be able to buy the Dakotans food and cornflakes. Will we? And if the Idahoans refuse, then the Empire can destroy them. But Saul decides to play along. He pretends to consider the idea of allowing the Idahoans to join Dakota. No, don't pretend. Please consider that real. But he knows that if he lets the Idahoans in, he'll eventually run out of corn. True. So he convinces the Emperor to give him a couple of days to come up with a solution. The Emperor agrees, and Saul heads back to Dugtown. Okay, is, Dugtown's my capital, right? Saul is back in Dugtown and begins working on a solution. He realizes that he needs to get the Emperor to agree to some terms. And if the Emperor agrees, then he'll have leverage over the Emperor. We go back, right? Back to here, and I, like, repeat the same line. Saul? Somebody needs to kill Saul. Saul is insane. Don't go back? I guess we can, just, we can keep letting it ride, man. Let Saul do his thing. All right, we'll keep going. Give me two days, demands Saul to the Emperor, and I will solve this problem. The Emperor agrees to Saul's proposal, but Saul still doesn't know what to do. He has to figure out a way to convince the Idahoans to join Dakota. Okay, so we're still sort of focused here. Otherwise, the Empire will starve. 
In the meantime, Saul meets with several other people who are trying to help the Empire. One of them is a man named Mel. He works for a company called PepsiCo. Do I get PepsiCo? I guess we, we haven't confirmed where that is. Mel says, Saul, do you have any ideas about how we can convince the Idahoans to join Dakota? Maybe we should try advertising, suggests Mel. With enough money, we could sell them cornflakes and they join us in no time. So we just have to sell cornflakes to the Idahoans. Sounds good, says Saul, but you know how much money we're talking about. No, answers Mel, but if you want to get rich, you've got to spend money. Classic Mel. Saul is already rich, but he knows he can't just sit around waiting for the Emperor to come up with a solution, so he goes to meet the Emperor. <clears throat> Mr. Governor, says Saul. I need your help. Help with what? asks the governor. How do we convince the Idahoans to join Doug Coda? Don't worry, says the governor. I'll figure something out. And that's exactly what Saul did. He met with all the other companies in Dugtown, and they created a huge ad campaign for months. They advertised the Empire's corn harvest. <laughs> this has got to work. And they told the Idahoans that Dakota would give them everything they needed to become wealthy. And it worked! The Idahoans were convinced they believed the Empire could provide them with food and cornflakes. Okay, I need confirmation they joined. Confirmation they joined. And they decided to join Dakota! And now the Empire's 50,000 soldiers who are ready to fight! Let's go! I got Idaho! Huge play from Saul fucking Goodman, dude! Oh! And I, I want to give a big shout-out, by the way. Huge shout-out to Mel from PepsiCo for giving Saul the idea. Woo, what a play. Ooh. Look at that beautiful orange. All right, all right, I'm back on the board. Let's go. I get Washington, that's two more. I'm up to eight. Next round, can Chuck recruit the ultimate war general, Pepsi Man? If you want. Hey, hey, what happened to old Iron Balls? Where'd he go? He says, do I have Governor Iron Balls? I never thought General Iron Balls would make me cry laughing, but here we are. Your streams will never cease to amaze. I think... I get General Iron Balls. Not as a resource, but just in the future. I think General Iron Balls controls my army. For sure, so I get General Iron Balls. Boss. Ooh, huge turn for me. All right, chat, you guys are up. Where are you going? He's not special enough. I also have Mel and PepsiCo. But that's not like a specific resource that like was really earned, I don't think. Invade Idaho. Pepsi man. Vince Iron Balls to join. <laughs> Chatlantis. Send Jim in a shuttle to the <laughs> to the sun. <laughs> no fucking whatever. I don't I care. Jim is, is dead to me. I've ever heard. Um a lot of people are saying kill Saul Goodman. How do you want to kill him? I need more details than that. I mean, do you want Space Pope to kill him? Divorce Jim Murray. Oh, hit him with a missile. Um, satellite one. Saul oh Goodman God. is the MVP. Um. A lot of people want, uh, well, no, uh, I was going to say Walter White, but people haven't really been voting for it. Idaho, sponsored by Pepsi. <laughs> God, classic Idaho. Send Saul to the coal of mine. <laughs> you guys don't have the coal, the, the coal of mine. Well, turned out to Only be I do. Of the century. Holy shit. Who knew that you could get new states by advertising cornflakes to them? Um, oh, send Jim to assassinate Saul Goodman. And he's a Saul former is FBI a free agent. agent selling his services for the highest bidder. Saul, I love the fact that Saul refused to ally with you guys and has helped both of our empires constantly. Like he's just bouncing around. He's like a, I was gonna say, um, he's like G-Man. 
We must in, in, in a half-life. To join our empire and be the ultimate source of entertainment. Like, we don't really know, like, what G-Man's motivations are, but he just wants the Covenant and humans to fight constantly. Uh, invade Fellow Oregon. citizens of Kitlantis, Saul has become too chaotic. We need to execute him by sending him into the sun. Reinstate the NBA. I mean, I guess. I changed my Jim mind. Divorce Mary. Jim and marry Iron Balls. <laughs> you guys can't take Iron Balls from me. He's all I got, chat. All right, your options. Invade Idaho. Convince Iron Balls to join I'm Chatlantis. Send Jim in a shuttle to the sun. Wait, hold on. Before you vote for this, he is not a resource. You won't get him as a... That's not a point, because I don't have him as a point right now. Wait, hold on. Unless you give him to me as a point Can to start with. The sun? If you give me Iron Balls as a special resource, and then you try to take it from me, that's fair. Hold on, I'm ending the poll. New poll. Is I is is old we know what iron must balls we must create Lil Louisiana a special Lil resource Wayne to be out general commander. With the power of Lil Wayne and Drake, we will take Because I'm gonna be the honest, US he was a pretty he was a genius. pretty he was a pretty shit general. He thought he was the king of North Dakota and and so didn't good. realize he was himself. And shall face judgment for his crimes. Okay, yes or no. Is old iron balls a special resource? That would give me a point, but it's a point that you could try to take from me. We need to use our seductive space pope to recruit iron balls. What's fascinating here is that this is a strictly bad play. This is not like this is just giving me an advantage and no advantage to you guys because you don't inherently like have an advantage by iron balls Hi, existing. John will expose and assassinate Lincoln. <laughs> Which means that you guys are just so infatuated with old iron balls, the general, that you are willing to give me a point just for a chance to take him from me. Okay, as part of that acquisition, I also you get... you can take Pepsi, and we shall take Cola Woman, right, chat? General Iron Balls as a special resource. That's another point. And now... Oh, shit, what were the questions? Or what were the options? Marry, kill, Iron Balls, Space Pope, Jim, go. What were the, what were the options that you guys liked uh, that I had? Uh, send, oh, Jim to assassinate Saul Goodman. I think your exceptional advertisements should be a resource. After all, they won New Idaho. Oh, yeah, invade Idaho. Invade Oregon. Offer NFL team to Oregon. Happening. Dominating America. This must be very confusing to come in on midway through because, like, we're like everybody's just like really passionate about Jim and Iron Balls with no explanation. PLS, let's not take Iron Balls because our eye doesn't know about his specialness. Okay, rebuild the NBA. We need to recruit Cola Woman next round to face Pepsiman. Okay. Jim Mary wait. Jim to marry Iron Balls. Send Jim to marry General Iron Balls. Doesn't Idaho of potatoes is a special resource? I would have to research it. So we're in general, unless a unless the thing like specifically says that like I got a resource like Iron Balls, gaining a state doesn't automatically get you a bunch of extra points because technically His every single state we could be like oh they have this and there this and no this better explanation <laughs> for why we're so passionate about him damn okay so even with the option to send the space pope to marry general iron balls you still want jim to assassinate saul goodman instead man you guys fucking hate saul goodman the name iron balls is the resource just the name not the person okay got it um, that one won. Here's what I'm going to say. Here's what I'm going to say. Even if you kill Saul Goodman. I like to think that Iron Balls is a kid that the war crime general kidnapped. <laughs> that, yeah. Yeah, me too. That's a great. And we know a few years has passed too. Um, even if he dies, hold on, hold on. Stop voting for a sec. Even if he dies, the AI will quite likely just bring him back. So... This is a great move, and I like it. 
Um, and we will say that I can no longer, like neither of us would, would be able to like start a prompt with Saul Goodman, but it's totally possible that the guy is like, Saul Goodman's back. And maybe it's his son or something like that. So I don't let you guys revote. I'm trying to help you out here by giving this disclaimer. I think murdering Saul Goodman is a good play. Um, but there is a strong chance that he comes back from the dead. And if he does, we roll with it. We are not allowed to initiate action with dead Saul Goodman. But if the program brings him back, he's he's back, right? Again, we whatever the program says, we basically that's canon. Okay, you still still really want to assassinate Saul Goodman. What program Since we is this? On the moon, why we haven't used it to cast the infinite Sukayumi to control the whole America? That would be unrealistic. Everything else has been clearly defined and not stupid. Why are we killing Saul Goodman? The guy was here when I we don't started. Know. The plot has thickened a lot since then. I love this type of stream. I think it's it's partially annoyance at how much Saul Goodman has helped me, and then it's partially that you guys got Jim and you just want to use him. Get PepsiCo as a resource. They have the sixth strongest Navy. He rejected our Queen Pope. Yeah, that's true. And the Queen Pope is hot and rich. After the, the Jim, the Space Pope, get married. Child from North Dakota. Yeah, I think it's canon. General Iron Balls is definitely the kid that the general slaughtered his mom at the very beginning in North Dakota. Just a reminder to the viewers that the state of Idaho is only real in the Catlantis universe. I wonder why the Texas speech is pronouncing it Catlantis. After Jim and the Space Pope get married, the Space Pope sits and have a romantic honeymoon. The Space Pope sits down with Jim and asks a favor. Wait, hold on. Do you do you want me to do you want me to kind of do text? Honey man. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> it's like you guys act like you're gonna get a prize every time you spot a typo. This, this isn't a treasure hunt. It's not a huge deal. Um after Jim and the Space Pope get married, never made a honeymoon. Do you want me to have a conversation between them or just say what she wants to do in text? Honeyman is a kind of funny typo, yeah. My brain like just breaks on these streams it makes when an I'm typing. the amount of sense for Ryan Boar to be the kid because the kid was the son of the North Dakotan king and General Ryan Boar. Oh, you're said right. He was the North Dakotan king now. Dude, somehow the canon has actually connected back to my war crimes at the beginning of all this. Um, Does General Lion Balls have a sister called Diane Conversation. Snatch? I'll it seems... myself out. Thank you. Um... Um, I'm gonna, I'll, let me do text and see what you guys think. Uh, let me let me see if I can honest, make something I you're okay with. I don't care about points anymore. I just want as many marriages as possible. <laughs> <laughs> After Jim and Space Poke get married, I'm a romantic honeymoon. A lot of people wanted this to be sexy. Doug, please tell us you will get someone to draw all these characters for a future YouTube video. I want to see the badass iron balls in the hot and rich space poke. <laughs> Maybe. I will say, um, because I'm I, we're definitely gonna make a YouTube video out of the first one of these we did. Maybe a YouTube video out of this stream too, because it's been really fun. Um There's like a fuckload of pictures that could go with it. That's like too much, I think. What would be funny is if I did, you know, Dolly, the AI generated thing. Um, is we did AI generated store like images of of each battle. Like at the end of the battle, it's like I put whatever happened into Dolly, and then that pops up of like Space Pope marries Mormon Jim, and we just like see what happens. The problem is if it's just like super weird, it might not fit well, but it it certainly fit the overall vibe. I should also mention someone reached out um because I think it's gonna be really fun. Somebody um uh reached out with uh they did a Dolly generated. Uh, thing of Rosa, like a fan art of Rosa the Sea Otter, whose birthday is on August 26th, um, did a fan art of Rosa, and I was like, oh, you should submit that. It looks it looks really great. He's like, oh, that feels like a little unfair. We could do like a separate category. It's like, that's a great idea. So we're going to do a separate category 
Uh, I don't think the submission form is live yet. I don't know if... Uh, let me see if Quicksparse made it. We're going to do an uh, art contest for the Rosa birthday party like last year. We're also going to do an AI-generated art contest for Rosa birthday party where you can use Dolly to make art. And it's that's its own category of you just trying to make weird AI art for Rosa. Uh, we'll do that as like its own thing. I think that'll be really fun. <clears throat> Uh, when the range... Oh, wait, let me see if it's up. Uh, .com slash... Description of artwork. Uh, we should probably have... Description of artwork, yeah. I think we're gonna do a second one. Anyway. So on the website right now, dugdug.com slash love for Rosa. If you want to make, uh, oh, it is live. I do the categories and by myself. I did a PSA regarding that on the Discord. Oh, wait, wait. So where would they differentiate between them? Shouldn't we do like a different page? So like they know where to, or they just say that it's AI generated. What's what's the best approach to that? I guess ultimately if you're going through them, it's your call. Um Yeah, you can do any 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 AI generated site. That's all fine. Uh, wait. They say it is AI generated in the description. Oh, okay, got it, got it. Um, so if you would like to submit art for the Rosa uh, birthday party that is happening on the 26th, do so here, dugdug.com slash love for Rosa. And if you want to do AI generated art in any form uh, that is related to Rosa in some way, um, then do that here. And then just write in the description that it's AI generated. So we'll have like two different categories. Uh, but that should be a lot of fun. Okay, back to it. Um, Dearest Jim, I love you more than all my money because I'm rich. Fine. <laughs> Does this work? Jim is our resource. We shouldn't have to ask. I'm just setting it up. It's that, it's like, so again, the prompt needs to be, this is what we want to do. So we could do it as a conversation like this. Um, we could just say, they. I guess you could just say Jim tries to, uh, yeah, you're right, you're right. This does mean, I could say Jim agrees. Because you're right. You can say you can make you can do whatever you want with Jim, and um, there's no need for him to 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 stop it right there. The question is, does he kill Saul Goodman? Right, that's the question. Okay. Oh, this is a potentially big moment. After all of the flip flopping that Saul Goodman has been doing, will he finally be brought to justice? <clears throat> After Jim and the Space Pope get married and have a romantic, sexy honeymoon, the Space Pope sits down with Jim and asks a favor. Oh, God. Dearest Jim, I love you more than all my money because I'm hot and rich, but there is a traitor to the Chatlantis Empire who must be brought to justice. You can use your skills as a former Mormon FBI agent to assassinate him. You must kill Saul Goodman. Jim agrees. 
So Saul Goodman goes to New Mexico and meets up with the space pope. He apologizes for having sex with her daughter and promises he'll never do it again. It won't happen again. We do need to... It, where's Jim? Jim, do you hear that? I promise, he says. The space pope accepts his apology. Saul Goodman returns to New Mexico and starts working on another lawsuit to annex New Mexico. You already have New Mexico. After a few months, the space pope calls Jim and tells him she's pregnant. <laughs> she tells him that she's pregnant with his child. Jim is shocked and immediately goes to a lawyer to look over his contract. He found out he can't fire her without paying a fine. So he stays quiet, but he still feels conflicted. Then Jim goes to assassinate Saul Goodman. Where the hell did any of that come from? Saul's in his office when Jim arrives. Saul takes off his sunglasses, and Jim sees that Saul's eyes are covered in tattoos, so he shoots him! You son of a bitch! Jim screams. Saul has a heart attack and dies. One week later, Jim runs into the Pope in the grocery store and asks her, Hey, Space Pope, is Saul dead? Okay, I don't... I guess... She Did Saul, sh did Saul shoot Jim, and then Jim screamed, and that gave Saul a heart attack? <laughs> Whatever, you did it. Jim is dead. No, sorry. Saul is dead. You don't get a resource, though. It was a heart attack gun. <laughs> what do you mean re-roll? You got it. You, you got the thing. Why would we re-roll? You did the thing you asked me to do. Guys, if you accomplish your goal successfully, that's not a reroll. <sighs> okay, so the map doesn't change, but I can't use Saul Goodman anymore. We need to confirm. One more. Hey, Space Pope, is Saul dead? She smiles and replies, Yes, he's gone. Jim looks at her suspiciously. How'd you know? I can read minds. Your mind is saying I killed Saul Good. He's definitely dead. <laughs> Bog. <laughs> chat, I am very happy for you to say this. The scourge of Chatlantis is finally gone. Even though he's the man who got you most of your empire. Oh, by the way, you guys just killed the commissioner of the NFL. You need to elect a new commissioner. Or wait, wasn't he just the commissioner of the Houston Texans? <laughs> okay. Get the Houston Texans a new commissioner. Meanwhile, I'm going for Washington. Oh, okay. Jim takes over. Man, you guys fucking love Jim. What a guy. What a fucking guy. I told you, Mormons are the best. You can't not love Mormons. And we still don't know if he's an ex-Mormon or an ex-FBI... An ex-Mormon FBI agent. Sorry, I should... We don't know if he's an ex-Mormon who was an, an FBI agent. Or if he is an ex-Mormon FBI agent but is still a Mormon. And now the space pope is rich, hot, and pregnant. <laughs> okay. Just the Texans, so it's fine. You only have two teams in your whole NFL. It said that you have the Texans, you have the Texans and the Cowboys, and that's it. If you lose a team, the NFL is just the Cowboys. Okay. My army is back. I'm going for Washington. And I can take their Starbucks. Besides, I just got 50,000 soldiers because of my Idahoan ad campaign. Okay.
I'm gonna try to stop the AI from using Saul Goodman. So instead, <coughs> Saul doesn't want to start any more words until he figures out a way to justify it to the Emperor. Um... So instead... Oh, because I, I have old iron balls now. Um, so General Iron Balls marches his army of 50,000 farmers up to the borders of Washington State. I'll say state. And begins to invade. Okay. I want to mention Starbucks so the program talks about it. All right. Um, General Ironball Sherman. Fine. <clears throat> they are soldiers, not farmers. But the Empire. Okay. All of most of my soldiers are Idahoans, right? I feel like we could say we could say that the Idahoans who joined are all farmers, right? Because it literally said they got an army of farmers, came to my state. I think they're farmers. Fine, I'll say soldiers and farmers, but... Um, I mean, the soldiers are stronger than farmers, apparently. <clears throat> Come on. Let's take Washington. Come on. But right as Saul tries to figure it out, he is assassinated by Jim, the ex-Mormon FBI agent. Saul Goodman is dead and will not come back ever. But it doesn't matter, because Doug Coda now has a new secret weapon. General Ironball Sherman, who leads the Idahoan army. So General Iron ba so General Ironballs marches his army of 50,000 soldiers and farmers up to the borders of Washington State and begins to invade. If they win, they can take all of Starbucks. Washington State's governor, Sam Brownback, is worried. He knows that the Emperor of Dakota has thousands of soldiers and farmers, but he doesn't know much about their strength. He's been calling General Iron Balls Sherman, but he's not getting through. General Iron Balls, shouts the governor. Can you please call me back? I need information. Sorry, says Iron Balls. My phone is broken. Over the phone? The governor doesn't understand why his general, his general is lying to him. I don't have time to explain, says Iron Balls. Just send the Empire's army home. Why? Asks the governor. They have hundreds of thousands of soldiers. Hundreds of thousands of soldiers, last Iron Balls. Don't be stupid. Yeah, it's like 50,000. I just got here. You mean to tell me that you came all the way from Idaho? Asks the governor. And you haven't killed anyone? I haven't killed anyone. Are you crazy, asks Iron Balls? I just came here to talk to the Idahoans. Now get out of my way or else I'll destroy your city. The governor is scared. What is going on? He knows that the Empire will he knows that the Empire will attack his city in a few hours, and so he sends out the Oregonian army. Wait, what? They've allied? But before the Oregonians can arrive, Saul Goodman comes down from heaven and destroys the armies of Dakota! What the fuck, Saul? Am I dead? I lose? That's all of them! There you are, says Saul. Now the oh, Idahoans, we've been looking for you for almost here. God damn it, Saul. Okay, army's defeated. I lose. <laughs> Saul is back. <laughs> planned. This was not fucking planned. There's no way you planned for Jim to murder Saul so he comes down and destroys. <laughs> Who is Saul? What is he doing? All right, Starbucks, Washington, and Oregon are apparently allied with Saul Goodman. It's your turn. <laughs> what, what is your guys' score? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We might need to play to like 
13 or 14. So I Congratulations, want to wrap up Doug. You, you did it. You're incredible, Great Doug. job, Doug. You're amazing. I want to be like you. Wow. Doug, that was so cool. What an amazing He's gamer the best. in person. This He's Doug the best Doug gamer. Is. Wow. Oh my God. You're incredible, Doug. Wow. This was so planned. And you know what the worst part is? You know what the worst part is? Now fucking Saul Goodman is back, canonically. Which means you could hire him to take Oregon. Shit. All right, what do you want to do? Is Iron Balls dead? I don't think so. I think unless it didn't explicitly call him out. I think it destroyed my armies, but not Iron Balls. Iron Balls is alive. Can we pull a Star Wars and have a plot twist where Space Pope and Saul are siblings? Hire Saul Goodman. Okay, so option one. Hire Saul Goodman to legally acquire Oregon. Is Saul an angel? Canonically, Saul is now also an angel. Yes. Um. Just a friendly reminder that William Tecumseh Sherman was a real general. And yes, indeed, the man did have iron balls. <laughs> I'm so good then to kill Jim. Why would you do that? Um. My name is Walter Hartwell White. I live at 308 Negra Arroyo Lane, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 87104. This is my confession. If you're watching this tape, I'm probably dead murdered by my brother-in-law, Hank Schrader. Hank has been- <sighs> Hire Saul Goodman lines. to Can legally acquire heaven. No! Saul and Space Pope were long lost siblings. I mean, technically, technically heaven has been canonically introduced now. Technically, Jim trying to fire the space. Last time you guys visible. got hell. Congratulations, Madam Space Pope. Have Jim assassinate God. <laughs> we don't know for sure who's up in heaven. The only, we only know that Saul was up there. I can't have you assassinate God. I guess I could. Saul's heart was attacked by a bullet. Is that allowed? Saul is God. Yeah, Saul's like an angel. It feels like it's too Space much. Pope is pregnant now. I'm seeing a lot of no's. Between Jim and Saul Goodman, this is a great story. Jim and Pope marry God. I like like a three-way marriage? Jim has lost his fret in whatever moment God isn't has become an assassin now because you he isn't a God man nor FBI man anymore. If we marry God, do we get him as a resource? <laughs> yes! That doesn't make sense. It's so all wouldn't go to heaven. The AI doesn't lie. Um. Saul needs his God and heaven will be up. one resource together. Okay, of these six, these seem to be the most popular ones. 
All right, seems like you're debating between hire Saul Goodman to legally acquire Oregon, hire Saul Goodman to kill Jim, hire Saul Goodman as the new NFL commissioner, hire Saul Goodman to legally acquire Heaven, have Saul Goodman offer Oregon an NFL slot if they ally with you, and Jim and the Space Pope ask God to marry them. Saul Goodman some kind of avenging angel? I don't know. After, let me be clear, you guys assassinated him. I had nothing to do with that, and he comes and fucks my army up. You know why? You know why Saul probably came and killed me? Because Saul thought Jim worked for me. Create a human but he didn't realize Saul's he went brain. and married the Space Pope. How could Saul be so stupid? Okay, you're voting to have Saul Goodman try to acquire heaven. Iron Bulls is eternal. I don't even know what that was. <laughs> How do I pivot to that? <laughs> Last time there was an option to have Jim seduce Saul that was winning and you didn't put it in the second poll. I think we should do it this time. I went off of what I was seeing the most most common. I think at this point, now that Saul ascended from heaven, or How wait, many descended from do heaven? I think it'll take to make the AI will realize Saul is dead. It, it, does, it doesn't seem... It doesn't... I don't think it's going to let Saul be dead. I mean... <laughs> I wrote... Follow Doug Doug wants Saul switch. Goodman and is dead and will not come back ever. And I think the AI wrote that I was like, oh, so he is going to come back, but he's going to descend from heaven as an angel. Like it, it took that and seemed to understand it, but it was like, yeah, I'm not going to do what you want me to do, but I will sort of follow we what you were saying. Of God and Saul Goodman on our side. But suddenly Saul Goodman descended from heaven as an angel and destroyed the Doug Houghton army uh at this point i think saul goodman is actually the descendant of the god emperor the only explanation for his power heaven is canonical give us heaven saul can do it i believe uh i think we should do conversation right of Space Pope Doug hires him to step up your game. You can't rely on your good looks and contrivances for everything. <laughs> I think, I, yeah, because then it's like, um, so the Space Pope calls Saul. Saul Goodman heard about your heavenly transformation. Saul and Iron Balls should get married. Love is love, baby. <laughs> I'm afraid that Saul Goodman is too powerful for us. Also, Jim he, was supposed I would, to marry Saul. I feel so sad, Doug. I, I think, though, even though Saul is literally becoming more and more powerful as this stream has gone on... He has mostly been on your guys' side. Got some special heaven powers slash privileges for having loving relations with the space pope. This work? I am hot and rich. I love the side story of the space pope getting more and more aggressive with her being hot and rich. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. We're probably playing to 13 points. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven. You guys have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Two more points, and you guys would take it. Whew. Heaven is worth one. Heaven is worth one.
and okay, and God is worth one. Heaven is worth one. God is worth one. If you legally acquire heaven, you don't automatically get God. He's separate. Oh yeah, and she's psychic. Heaven is literally worth as much as corn. I mean, it's good corn. You can come inspect it. Um. <clears throat> We need the option attack and dethrone God. Technically, you could be on game point. If you get both heaven and God, or heaven and like Oregon or something, uh, you're at 13. Oh, Don't somebody said, just, what if Iron, Iron Balls, Balls is God? His own name before birth. He's a badass. All right. Good luck, chat. You are shooting for the stars here. But suddenly, Saul Goodman descended from heaven as an angel and destroyed the Dakotan army, saving Washington State from ruin. The Space Pope and Jim are shocked. Saul Goodman is back, and that means they can hire him again. So the Space Pope calls Saul. Saul Goodman, I am hot and rich and pregnant and I can read minds. We've heard about your heavenly transformation, and the Empire of Chatlantis has a proposal. We would like you to sue God and legally acquire heaven for our empire. Will you do it, Saul? Will you legally get us heaven? Saul looks into the space pope's eyes and replies, Of course, my love. I'd do anything for you. Don't they hate each other? The space pope thanks him and hangs up. Then she calls Jim. Uh-oh. Dear Jim, I'm pregnant with your child. I'm also still hot and rich, but there's something else you should know. Saul Goodman is suing God for ownership of heaven, and we think he might win. There's no fucking way. So if you ever want to see your wife again, you'd better join us. So Jim joins the Empire of Chatlantis, and together they sue God. God takes the case to the Supreme Court of the United States, where they agree that heaven belongs to the Chatlantis Empire. Oh, the goddamn Supreme Court again! Fuck! Shit, dude! You, you did, did you get anything else? And now the Chatlantis Empire owns heaven! Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> you didn't get God, though! You didn't get God. Congratulations, Doug. You did it. You're incredible. Great Doug. job, Doug. You're amazing. I want to be like you. Wow. Doug, that was so cool. What an amazing He's gamer the best. in person. This He's Doug the best Doug gamer. Wow. Oh, my God. You're incredible, Doug. Wow. <laughs> Do you want heaven over here? <laughs> No, because you, you can only get two states per turn. You can't have the whole West Coast. That can't count. That's part of the rules. Anything that says you just take over the entire rest of the thing. If you hadn't taken heaven, you could have taken the whole West Coast. <laughs> Wait, do you want heaven next to the moon? I made it a little bit purple. Make the stairs lead to the moon. <laughs> no, the heaven, the moon is not heaven. Oh, so they go from Washington. <laughs> no, it's too confusing. It's too confusing. Okay, chat. You've got five states, the moon, and heaven. I can still get Washington, though. This <laughs> all good. Plot twist. The kid's actually a soul, and this is one big self insertion story. But the 
with JoJo fans, Saul will attain heaven and reset the universe. <laughs> I like to think that the Duke Cutdown Army's only weapon is the corn shotgun from Shotgun Farmers. <laughs> he eats wings. All right, hold it. You have to let Space Pope give birth. <laughs> no, it's gonna take. It's gonna be months from now, dude. It's like eight months from now. Um, hold on. Oh my god. Okay, the wings aren't really working. Also, canonically, we don't know if he has wings. Whew, okay. Um, no, it's canonically been years, but then, but then, uh, the space pope got pregnant after a couple years had passed. No, no, no. Let's not worry. Okay, we All right, guys. I think we know what we have to do. Let's marry God. <laughs> But I love through all of this, Saul Goodman still has not allied with either one of our empires. Doug, this is what you get for not taking over the Supreme Court and instead focusing on corn. <laughs> How was I supposed to know the Supreme Court would give you heaven? I thought that Washington would want it. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. Um, What do I... Wait, no wrong song. Oh, right song. Um, we need a football team in heaven with God as the commissioner. You could offer God an NFL team. Um, I have to go for Washington again because I get the two points, and I need that before you guys take it. I'm offering them general iron balls. That's all I got. Washington Doug, people don't like corn. Alaska, you can use their grizzly bears to make an army. I'll say they can have General Iron Balls as their king if they join my empire. With their army destroyed. Just a side note. Why does Montana look like it's sniffing Idaho's neck? So true. Technically, the United States is based on a Christian planet. foundation, so does that make it easier for us to take over all other states since we own heaven? You can use that as part of your next play. Okay. With their army destroyed, the Dakota Emperor now must use diplomacy to expand the empire. Um, no, no, no. Do, 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 do. What's another song? Song, 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 song. With their army destroyed, the Dakota Emperor now must use diplomacy. No, this is too, this is too high energy. I need thinking music. Thinking music. Um, no one has wanted their corn. They know they've got one thing that's irresistible. Irresistible. General Iron Balls Sherman. That's not how you spell irresistible. Irresistible? Irresistible. Irresistible? Irres... Well, that's what I wrote. Irresistible. Irresistible? One R? No. Ir now people are just typing typos. What irresistible? Yeah, that's what I wrote. Irresistible. Oh, that's not. Irresistible. That's what I have written. Irres irresist. That's what I have. Irresist. Oh, Tibble. It was Tibble. That's Irresist Tibble. General Iron Ball Sherman, the lifelong North Dakotan. Um, the Washington people might not want 
their corn. But everybody wants iron balls as their king. So the empire... Everybody's saying as. What are you talking about? I just start where you mentioned. Mostly, no one is on their corner. They've got one. Which be one of the corner. Everyone is talking about as. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Congratulations! You found the treasure. You guys win. Okay. Um. <clears throat> This is my shot at Washington. I need the two points. With their army destroyed, the Dakota Empire now must use diplomacy to expand the empire. No one has wanted their corn, but they know they've got one thing that's irresistible. General Iron Ball Sherman, the lifelong North Dakotan. The Washington people might not want their corn, but everybody wants Iron Balls as their king. So the Empire of Dakota formally offers Iron Balls to Washington's governor in exchange for an alliance into the empire. I really explained what I want here. Please give it to me. The governor agrees and General Iron Balls becomes the governor of Washington state. So I win? I got it, right? But it turns out that Iron Balls has a very hard time running a state. He doesn't understand the concept of taxes, and he doesn't really care about Washington. Okay, I'm considering this for five turns. Unless Iron Balls ruins Washington State, I think I get Washington. He's more concerned with finding a wife. Is there anyone you like, asks the Emperor, or do you want to marry a girl from North Dakota? A girl from North Dakota? Okay, four more. <laughs> Ask Iron Balls? I thought you said like you I thought you said you like girls from Washington. I do, says the Emperor, but I also want a wife from North Dakota. She'll be much easier to control. Oh, says Iron Balls, but I don't know any North Dakota girls. Then you'll just have to find someone else, says the Emperor. It's fine. Are they gonna talk about Washington or Iron Balls is upset. He thinks that the Emperor is being unfair. In his eyes, the Emperor's only goal is to make sure he gets married to a North Dakota girl. Okay, this is it. As long as I don't lose Washington. If you think I'm going to marry any North Dakota girl, says Iron Balls, you're wrong. And so Iron Balls leaves the Empire! No! It takes him three years to travel back to North Dakota where he finds a woman named Mary. Fuck! I still have Washington! I still have Washington! I just lost Iron Balls. <laughs> Why did I go one more? <laughs> Fuck! Okay, I get Washington. And I lose Iron Balls. Technically, I gained a point, because I also got Starbucks. Chat, you guys are up. You're on game point. You have 12 points total. If you get to 13, you've won. And with that, what would you like to do? Um, okay. Offer God an NFL team if he joins. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. Offer God... <laughs> or wait, did you want Offer God to be the new NFL commissioner? I am Boris was the governor. He took ownership of Washington with him. If he joins. No, 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 no. He left the Empire, but the Empire would still... No, no, I still have Washington. Um... I lose him, but... Like, it's not like he... Uh, oh yeah, Starbucks is resource. Or something other than corn, Jesus Christ. And I can use corn syrup as a sweetener. Um, okay, sorry. Wasn't looking. Space Puppet Jim, try to marry God. Um... Colonize this sun. Send space hope to colonize the sun. Recruit iron balls into the empire. 
You could use, you could use Jim. Um, send God. You don't have God right now. You have heaven, but not God. So if you send Jim to <laughs> try to marry God, you can try to... God could be your winning ticket. He left the empire, which at the time already acquired Washington. If we go by the states need to be explicitly stated to be lost, then Doug should still have Washington. Um, ask God and Saul Goodman to legally acquire the sun. Oh wait, you don't have you don't have God, so it'd just be Saul. It'd just be Saul. Wait, wait, hold on. Hear me out. Ask Saul Goodman to legally acquire God. <laughs> Alright, here are your options. Offer God to be the new NFL commissioner if he joins the alliance. Space Pope and Jim try to marry God. Send Space Pope to colonize the sun. Recruit Iron Balls in the Empire. Send Jim to try to marry God. Send Jim to assassinate God. Ask Saul Goodman to legally acquire the sun. And ask Saul Goodman to legally acquire God. <laughs> okay. Saul Goodman. Can he close out the game for you? Can he acquire God? If we legally acquire God, does that count as marrying them? <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I, I don't know if we can make that assumption quite yet. Like, it's not like you guys married heaven just because the Supreme Court gave it to you. It's Saul freaking Goodman we're talking about. Yeah, any concerns about whether or not he'll be able to pull this off should be alleviated that it's Saul fucking Goodman, okay? <clears throat> Technically, Chatlantis doesn't own... God, and they know Why that the they're utopian have we not empire. researched Death Star tech to turn the moon into a super weapon? People got more interested in Jim. You can't blame them for forgetting about the moon that they own when a guy named Jim showed up. Uh, they know that the utopian empire will only be complete um, if calling Saul was the best decision we ever made. Also, I want a spin-off show where Saul dies and becomes an angel called Better Kill Saul. The Utopian Emperor, if the Heavenly Father joins Chatlantis, only then will they have. Does God count as a state? Uh, God counts as a special resource. He is equivalent to the NFL or corn. We could have hired Saul to acquire the Death Star. Um, they know the Utopian Empire. That got cut off. If we acquire God, can we appoint him as commissioner de facto?
does Duke cook to accept immigrants? My wife left me again from Nasser to Cornfield. I had to go get Chinese food. I left right when Saul acquired heaven. What happened after that? I got Washington State, but I lost old iron balls. All right, does this work for you? Pretty good. <clears throat> Will they? Uh, where? You forgot. Doug, can they... I get a recap of what's happening? Yes. Will? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Will they have? Um. Okay, it's it's very straightforward. Oops. We should have let Saul acquire the Death Star plans then of Jim to head the project to build it. <clears throat> then he could have used the moon weapon to hold God hostage until he ruptures the Earth into total annihilation. Space Pope would then repopulate the new world in our image. It's very simple. Uh, we both started with one state. The Pope is getting more hot and pregnant by the minute. We both started with one state. I started with South Dakota, Chat started with Texas. Your goal is to take over as much as America to get 13 states or special resources in total. To start off, um, I moved north into North Dakota. I took it. I moved into Wyoming and threatened them and managed to take it. And then Utah. Uh, I got Nevada at one point, but then chat took it back. Then I grabbed Idaho. I tried to invade, but they repelled me. But then I managed to convince them through a cornflakes-based ad campaign and got... The famous General Sherman Ironballs, who was also a refugee from my North Dakota campaign years earlier. Um, recently, uh, I offered Ironballs to Washington, who got me the state and Starbucks as a special resource, but then Ironballs left. Meanwhile, chat started in Texas, used the fact that they had NASA as a special resource to make a space pope, sent the space pope to the moon, who found that there were people there, got them to join the alliance, then moved to Washington, D.C., uh, called Saul Goodman. Saul Goodman legally acquired New Mexico for them using a loophole, and then the next turn got them Arizona, who's apparently part of California, and California, and California's gold. And then, how do you guys take Nevada from me? I don't remember. Oh, Saul Goodman just randomly got you Nevada when you were trying to, uh, to marry, uh, I think when you were trying to marry Saul Goodman, maybe? Or you were trying to sue somebody. Because at some point you, you tried to send Saul Goodman in a rocket into the sun. But that didn't work. And then I got Jim, uh, but you guys took Jim. Oh, and you made the NFL. Oh, yeah, right, right. <laughs> you had Saul Goodman reform the NFL as a special resource, and then he casually got you Nevada, which I had just, like, lost an army fighting. And then you hired... No, you got Jim to assassinate Saul Goodman because he was helping me. Oh, because Saul Goodman helped me get Washington, I think. No, Saul Goodman helped run the Pepsi ad campaign to get Idaho to join. So Twitch chat was pissed and hired Jim, who they stole from me, who was an ex-Mormon FBI agent, to shoot F Saul Goodman, who died from a heart attack. But then Saul descended from heaven up here and destroyed my army in Washington, which prevented the invasion. And so then you hired Saul Goodman to legally acquire heaven, which you did last turn. And now you're trying to legally acquire God using Saul Goodman, who would be a special resource and be your 13th point. Does that all make sense? Yeah, you're caught up. You're good. Ooh, well. <clears throat> it all comes down to this. Way too loud. Ooh. If you get God, that's a special resource, and that's point 13. Here we go. But technically, Chatlantis doesn't own God, and they know that their utopian empire will only be complete if the Heavenly Father joins Chatlantis. Only then will they have truly dominated, dominated Doug Coda in the race to take over America. But how on earth could they get God to join the empire? What person could possibly accomplish such a task? That's when it hit them, and the space pope called Saul. Saul Goodman, she explained. 
Your work is almost done, and I am hot and rich and psychic and pregnant, but one final task remains. We need you to legally acquire God into the Chatlantis Empire. Please do this for me. For Jim. Give us God, Saul. Saul looks at her and replies, Okay, my love, here's the plan. On the Day of Judgment, God will send a prophet to tell people to repent and follow Christ. Wow, we're, get, we're getting into it. Okay. The prophet will travel across the country, spreading the word of salvation. When he arrives in Chatlantis, the space pope will give him a book. It will contain all the laws of the empire, and it will show him the path to eternal bliss. Wait, are you guys going to try to get Jesus to join? What does the prophet have to do with me? The space pope asked. Saul replies, he has to kill you and capture your soul as his own. And Saul leaves New Mexico. So does this happen? He travels to DC and meets up with the Space Pope. Together they create a plan to capture the Prophet. You're trying to kidnap Jesus. Two weeks later, the Prophet arrives in Washington, DC. Okay, he's dressed in a white robe and he has a long hair and beard. Can they do it? He carries a staff and walks with a limp. His name is Jesus of Nazareth and he's been sent by God to preach about salvation. The prophet will walk through the capital city of Washington, D, telling everyone that he is a messenger from God. People will believe him, and they'll gather around him, and then Saul Goodman will appear. He'll stop the prophet and shoot him in the head. <laughs> Saul says this as if it were a normal thing to do. Wait, so it hasn't happened, right? I don't think Saul shot Jesus yet. Wait, isn't that murder, as the space pope? Sure, but you said yourself that God isn't real, right? So I'll be doing the Lord's work. The Space Pope nods. Good. Now what do you suggest we do with the Prophet's body? Saul replies, we'll have him arrested for public intoxication. <laughs> and then how will we get him to confess to being a false prophet? Wait, what the fuck is wrong with these people? Is, G is Jesus here? By putting him in a room filled with rats, it'll see all the little rodents crawling around on top of each other, and he'll realize that he's not special, that he's just like the rest of us. Jesus Christ, man. And he'll admit it. He was a fake, a liar, a fraud, and then we can execute him. The space pope thinks this idea is brilliant. She laughs and says, Saul, you are amazing. I knew you were great, but I didn't know you were this good. Thanks, my love. Let's get started on getting God into heaven. What? Okay, do we continue? Do we re- do we re-rail it? Okay, wait, 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 okay. So, so, hold on. So, Saul and the space pope make the necessary preparations to wait for Jesus. A couple days later, the space pope receives a phone call from the prophet. He tells her, I am here in D.C. Wait, Jesus called the pope? I- okay, I'm here in D.C. I haven't seen Saul yet, but I've already captured his partner. She's in a room full of rats. <laughs> oh no! The space pope exclaims, Saul's gonna kill both of us! If you guys capture Jesus alive, that's a special resource for sure. What should I do? Just act normal. Tell Saul that everything is okay. Don't panic, and don't let anyone in the room see you. Just stay hidden, and maybe a miracle will save us. I think Saul turned on the space pope. I think he's betraying you guys. Maybe a miracle will save us all, the space pope whispers. The prophet hangs up and the space pope, space pope puts her hand over her face to hide it. Then she looks at Saul and tells him, Saul, I'm scared. Come with me. Saul follows her and they go into a secret room filled with rat cages. There's Jesus tied up with a rope. Wait, so I think Saul Goodman captured Jesus. He's blindfolded and gagged and he's sitting in a chair surrounded by rats. There's they're all over him, even in his mouth. The space pope approaches him and whispers, Look, look, I'm going to call it. Unless you kill Jesus, <laughs> unless the space pope and Saul Goodman kill Jesus, that's a special resource. You got him. It all comes down to this line. Jesus, why did you lie about being a prophet? Why are you trying to lead people away from God? Jesus looks at her and replies, I'm sorry, but I had to do it. Everyone deserves a chance at salvation. If everyone in the world became a Christian, then God wouldn't have enough souls to fill heaven. Heaven would become overcrowded. So I had to pretend to be a prophet so all the sinners in the world could have a chance to be saved. So he is? Uh... But now that you know the truth, you've ruined everything. No, I mean that's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. 
even though you're a false prophet, you still taught people about God. And that's important. God exists. And I know he exists because I can read minds. That's... <laughs> How long do we go? <laughs> Is it over? Um... <laughs> You're crazy, Jesus says. Only God can read minds. We're going to do an ultimatum. Will you do it? Jesus. I'm putting this in. We're going to resolve this thing. Will you do it, Jesus? Asked the Space Pope. Will you join Chatlantis? Yes, Jesus replies. Good, says the Space Pope, because you're going to have to kill me so I can capture your soul and bring it to heaven. Do you understand? Okay, unless Jesus kills the Space Pope in two turns, it's done. Yes, Jesus says, but first I need to ask you something. Go ahead, replies the Space Pope. Is Saul Goodman really dead? The Space Pope looks at Saul. Yes, she said. She lied to his fucking face. And you can't kill me. Because if you die, Saul will come back to life and he'll kill you and capture my soul. And then the Chatlantis Empire will lose its most powerful weapon. Ladies and gentlemen, I think you got him. Its ability to sue God for ownership of heaven. I see, says the Space Pope. Well, I guess that's impossible. You're right. We can't kill you. But I wish you good luck on your mission. <sighs> that's it. That's it. Jesus confirmed. He says he's down. All he needed to know is that Saul Goodman was dead. And with their 13th and final point, Twitch chat gets Jesus into the empire of Chatlantis. Congratulations, Doug. You did it. You're incredible. Great job, Doug. Doug. You're amazing. I want to be like you. Wow. Dark. That was so cool. What an amazing He's gamer the best. in person. This He's Doug the best Doug gamer. Is. Wow. Oh, my God. You're incredible, Doug. Wow. At least I've got corn. Okay, epilogue, epilogue, epilogue. I give you three chances. Can you get Jesus Christ to become the new NFL commissioner? <laughs> 20 gifted subs if Jesus joins the NFL. But I have another question. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, yeah, I have another question. Three shots. <clears throat> but I just have one more question, says the Space Pope. This question is the real reason we kidnapped and tortured you, Jesus. Yes? Asked Jesus. Will you become the new commissioner of the NFL? Why do you want that? Because I want football season to start. So I can watch my favorite team play. Ah, says Jesus. 
You see, I can help you. This is two? Because I know a guy who can make sure the Super Bowl never ends. Thank you, says the Space Pope. Now, please untie me. I have to go tell Saul the good news. One more. Jesus undoes the ropes around the prophet's hands, and the Space Pope leads him out of the secret room. As soon as they leave, Saul appears with his gun and shoots him in the head. No deal! Saul assassinated Jesus! You still have no commissioner! Oh! You might have the moon and Saul Goodman and heaven and Jesus. <laughs> you might have the moon and Saul and heaven. But you still got no NFL commissioner. Suck it, chat. <laughs> That's just the Dallas. It's just the Dallas Cowboys playing by themselves. Oh. Ask Jesus if he thinks the space pope is hot. That she is hot and rich and can read minds. Oh. What a what an absurd map of the United States. Imagine if these are the empires. When I came back, we had Kevin and I about to take them on. Can't say I'm surprised, but maybe just a little impressed. Hey, it's Max. Thank you for the two gifted subs. Alright, y'all. Forgot to mention the space pope is hot and rich and pregnant and psychic. That's gonna do it. That was so fun. Holy shit. I think we can agree the MVP of today is Saul fucking Goodman. This dude single-handedly built half your empire, formed the NFL, legally acquired heaven from the Supreme Court, and then shot Jesus Christ. It's Saul Goodman's world and we're all just living in it. Followed closely by Jim. The Moss Moss, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You should let us download the map. Sure, I can post it. All right. Won't Jesus just come back after they kill him? He said he can't die. Yeah. Oh. Confirm. Space Pope has ascended into Godhood. That's a, I gotta turn this down. Ah. Oh. All right. Doug, please let us sue God. <laughs> I do like I do like that you guys tried to legally acquire God and instead went for G Saul was like, you know, uh actually uh, a better strategy. Instead of going for the Space big guy, Pope, we kidnap Saul, Jesus and, and we Trinity torture him. <laughs> like what a fucking lunatic. And it was all in Washington D too. Can we try to sue God? No, no, no. We're gonna call it there. It's a good ending. What a turn. It's also seven o'clock. Oh. Oh, okay, all right, hold on. I've got, I've got to calm, got to calm this music down. Whew, it's a lot. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a couple minutes uh, to so let these alerts play through. Now we'll call it there. I think 13 points is probably the upper end on on where we want to do this. Can we expect a video? Yeah, this will probably be a YouTube video. Um. 10 p.m. for the normies. That's true. That's true. God, we got to do... So I want to do another one with, with Europe. I know I said 15, but I changed it to 13 for timing. Um, I am quite how tired at this point. This always end at biblical at the end? Yeah, last time you guys... You guys invaded hell. Somehow you've gotten... We need to... <laughs> I want to... There's so many versions of this I want to do. I want to do a space version with, like, the galaxy. Um, well, shit. We could just do a, a continent one. Now. If we just do like seven continents, that would be interesting because there would be more us trying to steal the the ones from each other. Um, I want to do ones with other streamers. Jesus didn't kill the Pope, so he could not have joined the Empire. Jesus, take the wheel. No, he says he joined. Will you do it? Will you join Chatlantis? Yes. No, Jesus is in. You guys got him. 
Um, logical lie. How far behind am I? Wait, what the fuck? There's so many alerts. Okay, there's like 10 more alerts. Or 15 more, I mean. Oh, can we do... Yeah, wait, hold on. That's an interesting idea. Would that work of doing, um... Of doing... What's it called? God, Amriel? Football, murders, and owning the moon. Surely this was the most American stream. Yeah, we, re we leaned hard. Well, hold on. Don't forget Jim. He's an American treasure. Yeah, we could do Skyrim map. That'd be kind of interesting. A little, little more niche than it probably needs to be. But it would be fun. Because then we could just theme everything around Skyrim people. We must go to hell to rescue Jesus' soul. With this, too, we could, like, we could lean into, like, learning uh, a certain, like, spell or something like that, which could be kind of fun. Um... Like we lean into the magic side of it, because if we do a I world no map, like I don't want. Happening because I got here late, but I stand by Saul. That's all you need, you know. Like with a, with the America one, I don't want to just like um, have us, you know, l learn magic or whatever. Yeah, this would be a fun one. I want to do this a bunch. Excuse me, that's the perpetual reigning NFL champions, Dallas Cowboys, to you, Doug. Mm, that's one way to describe the Cowboys. I don't know that much about uh, NFL about football, but I know the Cowboys are not that good. And somehow Colorado has managed to stay neutral through all of that. Yeah, Oregon and Montana, really just like this kind of swath of blood just kind of around them. Uh, I love that I got I say Idaho this with from a cornflakes campaign. Game against the two empires. <laughs> I would, but I want to I wanna start to wrap. I want to wrap up. I was supposed to play some video games at 7, and I still need to work out and eat food. Jesus, take Copy the, the text for next time. I will- I will copy this text from both stories and post them somewhere. Um... The Moss Moss, thank you again for the five gifted subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Doing one with Hyrule. Hyrule doesn't have a consistent Before map. You go, are there any bounties you can make us watch? Uh... Good question. I don't know. Let's see. They mostly just want me to play, uh, Genshin Impact. Oh, Legends of Ruterra too. There's two Please there's two things for Genshin Impact. I'm gonna be honest, I like this I like these streams so much that I almost don't wanna I almost like wanna hold off on doing them so they don't get old. Like this is like my favorite thing. Did this I don't wanna say ever, but like baby. absolutely some of my favorite stuff we've done. Um And like every single one just develops weird side stories. I think changing the setting and stuff. Uh, will help with that a lot, but like theoretically, I want to do one of these every like week or two. Um, Let the space boat have her baby. <laughs> okay, hold on. We'll let that, we'll let that go through. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we had 15 points. Add them up. 15? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, you had 14. Wait. Doug, can you post these as BCS fanfic on Wattpad? Wait, so you've had 13 this whole time? Did I count twice? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, I counted Jesus twice. That's why. No, you had 13. You're good. We've had heaven and hell. I guess next time we'll conquer purgatory. Yeah, it's gonna... Yeah, you'll have to find other modes. I am I am sad that you did not successfully shoot anybody into the sun. I, I really would have loved to see what the computer did with that. And I, we Every don't need to do time. it right now because I'm sure it'll happen at some point in the future. When we do the solar system one, we'll definitely be shooting into the sun. Um, as soon as they leave, Saul appears with a gun and shoots him in the head. And that gave the Space Pope the cue to give birth. Jim is back in New Mexico, sitting in his apartment alone when Saul Goodman knocks on the door. That's true. I'm home. Can I come in? Jim lets him in. Are they going to talk about the kid? Dick, it's been the first time I have watched an entire stream of yours, and it was amazing. So Thank you so much for this stream, <laughs> smiley face. Oh, thanks for being here, Matt. Saul Goodman is still trying to legally pressure God into your empire. 
What the Pope just the gave birth, and he doesn't scheme. care. Doug and Twitch chat each get half of the US and go to war. Who is Utopian? Can we marry her? Uterp? Um, so you have a friend named Sam. Sam is very religious. He prays every day. He goes to church. He always tithes. He gives to the Lord. And he wants to be in heaven with his fellow. It's really leaning into the Christianity side of it. A crew versus Z crew empires. Yeah, I would need to figure out a tool to visualize the two sides, which is doable. It would just also be do even slower than it currently is. But at some point. Yeah, so we can do something like that. There's a bunch of maps. What is this? Who is Sam? Sam needs to convince his son to get baptized. Wait, is hold on. Is Saul Goodman trying to convince Jim to baptize his newly born son? They host the... What the hell are they talking about? Saul, Saul started this by saying... Suppose you have a friend named Sam, and now they're just talking about Sam throwing a party with hot dogs and hamburgers and beer and wine. Like, what? And they'll charge admission to raise money for charity. This sounds like a great plan. Where do I fit in? I thought you might ask that, Salt replies. So I've got an answer ready for you. You'll be the pastor. You'll baptize everybody, and you'll perform the concerts, and you'll handle all the finances. Jim is a Mormon, all right? Saul Goodman's trying to get him to baptize people. Sounds like fun. When do I start? Tomorrow morning. This makes no fucking sense. All right, well, the Space Pope gave birth, and it inspired Jim to go start baptizing a bunch of irrelevant babies. Reroll. <laughs> All right, you get one reroll, and then I'm calling it. I think alerts are caught up. And that gave the Space Pope the cue to give birth. When the baby is born, the space pope names him John Stewart. John Stewart grows up to be a fine young man. He loves his mother and he respects her. But he's also very curious about the outside world. I think we'll have to learn about the mysteries of John Stewart on the next time. He spends hours watching TV, reading books, and asking his mom questions. One day he asks her, how does television work? The space pope replies, it's complicated, son. Sorry, everybody. We're never going to learn how television works. That's what I'm going to call said. it there. Close. Close, Fubarian. Wait, that is what she said. You got it, Fubarian. You finally got one. All right. Calling it there. Yo, thank you very, very, very much for all the support and subs uh, today. Thank you mostly for being here. This is just a super, super, super fun stream, and uh, I am stoked to get to do it with y'all. Appreciate it. All right, y'all. Uh, that is it. I will be back maybe... What's today? Wednesday? Maybe tomorrow... Otherwise, Friday. Either tomorrow or Friday. So I'll post in Discord and I'll do an early gang tag. Um, it'll probably be a short one because today went pretty long. Uh, but something. We'll do something. And with that, have a good night, everybody. Goodbye. May Jim be with you.